And we're live, Raider Nation. What's going on? It's Mitchell Renz here, host of the Raiders Report. And you are tuned in for our live 2024 NFL free agency frenzy. So the way that today's show is going to go, we're going to keep you guys up to date on all things going on around the Raiders. We're going to keep you up to date on all things going on around NFL free agency. And if I'm being honest with y'all, I plan on being live here just about all day. And the way that I think about today's show going for the next seven hours me, Jeremy Chuggs, we're going to be locked and loaded with you, keeping you up to date on all the things that go on around the National Football League. So right before we were re getting ready to go live, Jeremy Fowler reported that the Raiders have been trying to re-sign Josh Jacobs, but it does appear that he is going to be hitting the open market. And according to Fowler, he expects Jacobs and Barkley to end up getting a deal done rather quickly. So that kind of makes me wonder, is Jacobs not going to be returning to the Las Vegas Raiders? So we got a lot of games, we got a lot of shenanigans that are going to be going on today. But I do want to know this first thing, because this broke late last night. Also, that free agency clock, it starts in an hour. It's noon Eastern. Some big-time free agency news dropped late last night. Andre James, he ended up signing a three-year, $24 million deal with $16 million guaranteed. I want to know from all of y'all, I want you to grade the signing of James, A, B, C, D, or was it an F? We'll give some shout-outs here on today's show. If you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. There's going to be a lot of different games that we're going to be playing today, but if you appreciate what Chugs and I are doing Smash that like button if you're hoping that the Raiders crushed free agency today. Seriously, man, hit that like button. One of the things that I did find pretty interesting in this move here by James is he's going to be at a $6.3 million cap hit for this upcoming season. Then the next two years, it's $8 million, and then another $8 million right over that. I know that I was told at a source by a source at NFL Media Row that James was not going to be returning to the Las Vegas Raiders. However... James ended up hiring a new agent. They figured out a deal, and I'm really happy that my source at the or at the uh, what call media row was wrong because getting James back here that really secures your left side of the offensive line with Colton Miller, with Dylan Parm, Andre James, and now if you're the Raiders, you got to figure out what you're going to do at right guard and right tackle. I was told by a source that it's very unlikely that Jermaine Illuminor ends up returning to the Raiders. They like what they have in Thayer Munford. So to me, it sounds like the Raiders are going to put a large concentration on building that right side of the offensive line in free agency, but mainly in the draft. I'm seeing a lot of Bs. One's rolling in here from Don. Jose Romero says a B-. minus. Raider Invader is going to go with a B+. Plus. King Sanchez has a B. Raiderville 13 is giving it an A grade, and I see the Queen Sarah Otto. Shout out to the Queen. If you haven't hit that like button, don't do it for me. Do it for the Queen. You know who's always here for a good time, Chugs? Always trying to send in the good vibes, and today we need as many good vibes as we possibly can. Raider Muerte. Woo! I need the good vibes today. I could barely sleep Give last night. Could barely sleep last night. Give I have not me. been this excited for a Raiders offseason in a long time. Two claps in a Ric Flair. Woo! I'm telling you, man, when you have to deal with Josh McDaniels the past two seasons, now you got Antonio Pierce, you got Tom Telesco, but the move here of deciding to bring back Andre James, it gives me a lot of confidence, and it gives me a lot of hope that they're going to do the right things. I want the Raiders to build in the trenches on the both sides of the football, One and I'm second. hoping that happens. What do you got for me? Venom Sosa. What's up? Real Cowboy said, let's Go! Let's go, Real Cowboy. Remember, if you want to get those questions, comments here on the show, hashtag Raiders, or you can super chat to skip the line. I am really counting on you guys today to be helping this show go forward. Why? We're going to be live for about seven hours, and that's if nothing happens today. If nothing happens, we're going to be live for seven hours. So here's really important. I need a lot of questions from you. Doesn't have to be super chats, but I really want you using hashtag Raiders. There you go. And you know what else helps this show move forward? Let's hear it. Our sponsors like Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. And Mitch, I actually didn't stutter there. It's a $100 deposit match. Did you know that? Uh, I'm actually done this read before and believe it or not yes i did know that i also know that it's the number one daily fantasy sports app out there and it's super easy simple if my dad can do this 
I promise you, you can do it as well. All you got to do is choose more or less, and even though football season is over, the action on the floor is heating up, whether that's tournament season or the fight for a playoff home court. There's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of the year. So, Nation, if you want, use America's number one fantasy sports app, and you can turn your hoops knowledge into some serious cash. Now, for some of you, you know that I'm not the biggest hoop head, but we do got some good people here at the office that know a little bit about the NBA, college, basketball on top of that. So I asked some of our NBA guys, said, all right, man, give me, give me a winning recipe for tonight. So I got Luka Doncic more than 33 and a half. Cade Cunningham, 24 and a half. Give me the more on that. And then Vassal, 10. Give me the more on that as well. Is it Vassal or Vassell? I think it's Vassell. I think it's Vassell. As you can tell, not the biggest hoop guy, but you know what I do like? I like money. And on top of that, it helps me actually learn a little bit more about basketball just because, like, you can get locked into a game. And, again, I'm not going to really ever just sit around and just watch basketball unless it's, like, March Madness. Yeah. You know what I'm going to be doing tonight? I'm going to be checking my scores. I'm going to be like, how many points does Luca have? How many points does Cade Cunningham have? It helps you learn a little bit more. So if you want to get started, again, that link's going to be available to you all down in the comments and in the description of today's show, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Who do you want the Raiders to sign? Who do you want the Raiders to sign first? 52 minutes. Let me know. We will officially be able to sign free agents in 52 minutes. Now, I guess I shouldn't say official. But the way that free agency works is that there is something that is known as a tampering period. So when the Raiders, hang on a second. Okay, I just saw something. Um, when the Raiders decide that they're going to end up signing a player, they can't officially sign that guy until the new league year begins. The new league year begins March 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. However, today, March 11th at noon Eastern time until March 13th, 4 p.m. Eastern time is what is known as the legal tampering period. So last night, Russell Wilson, he ended up signing with the Denver, Denver Broncos ended up signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Essentially, though, that deal is not officially official until March 13th. So what it is, is they just come to like a verbal agreement, but it's basically both sides have just gotten that deal done, and that, that way we're moving forward. Yeah, that was surprising. Did you, did you see the Steelers signing him already? I, I thought it was going to – I was leaning more Giants or Raiders, to be honest. Our Steelers guy was pushing it hard. Yeah. I was – I didn't I mean, know. I looked at it as I knew that the Raiders were going to be at least somewhat in the mix, though it was reported by Diana Rossini that the Raiders were not interested in Russ, which again just kind of hints at the idea that this is going to be a football team that aims for the draft in terms of finding their quarterback. When I got the reports that the Giants and the Steelers were the two teams that Russ was going to visit, when we did that show, I want to say it was on Friday, I said the top three teams would have been the Raiders, the Giants, and the Steelers. I do think it makes sense for Pittsburgh to sign him, bring him in on a one point. It's actually 1.36, I want to say, million dollar contract. But even that I for I a quarterback believe, uh, of Russell yeah, Wilson's stature right is pretty here. damn good. Yeah, so signing one year, 1.2 mil. But there's also something in his contract where he gets like an extra 167,000. So it ends up being like 1.3. But 1.3 million for a quarterback, a top 16 quarterback in the NFL. That's it's a really good deal by Pittsburgh. I am... Curious to see how it all works out over there, but hey, that's what we're here for. We're going to be talking a lot. So again, if you want to get those questions, those comments in, it's hashtag Raiders, or you can super chat. And I want to know all things NFL, Raiders, like T. Higgins, he's requested a, a trade from the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. They tagged him. He wants out of that situation. Uh, Tariq Arms, or Tariq, uh, Eric Armstead mm -hmm. ended up getting release slash like wanting to be let go yesterday that was kind of a surprising this, this move this is the big one right here Zeke Gibbons part of me believes Justin Fields is the plan I mean if you're telling me right now that the Raiders would be able to get Fields and because I from what it sounds like the Bears are asking for a second round pick doesn't seem like many people are interested in that second round pick value if you're Las Vegas if if they were like all right you know what Justin Fields for a fourth round pick I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't mind that at all. Like, I'm not sitting up here saying then that's what the Raiders should go do going forward. Like, you only have Justin Fields, Aiden O'Connor. Like, I would still be in the camp of let's go out and try to find a quarterback. 
But having your backup, backup plan, B Fields, I get it. Like the whole Getsy thing, it still is, is kind of a weird fit for me. I don't really think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But I don't think it's a terrible option. Like I don't think it's terrible value to get Fields because if you're Chicago, it sounds like Atlanta's not very interested. It sounds like Atlanta's going to end up signing Kirk Cousins. And I actually think that that one could happen pretty damn soon. Um, then if you're Fields, where does Fields go? Does he just remain a backup in Chicago? Like, I don't see that happening. The, there's 942 people in here. Let me know. Would you trade for Justin Fields? Give me a yes. Give me a no. I want to see where the split is. Where are y'all at with trading for Justin Fields at this point? With When the Raiders hired Luke Getze, you, you said that dramatically decreased the chance I the agree. Raiders trade for Justin Fields. Where do you sit now? I, I still don't see why the Raiders would do it. Like, and I see a lot of different question, like comments in here. If the Raiders didn't hire Luke Getze, I would still say that the number one team, the team that makes the most sense for Fields, would have been the Raiders because of all the connections they have and because they're picking at number 13. The reason why I'm just going to go with my gut here and why I don't think that it happens is because it just sounds like the Raiders have their eyes locked in on the draft. Yeah. And like that's where their attention has been. It sounds like that's where their attention is going to continue to go. However, though, I am a man that likes a good deal once in a while. And if you're able to get Justin Fields you for, love a good deal. I do love a good deal. If you're able to get Justin Fields for a fourth round pick, I mean Russell Wilson for one point two mil seems like a really good deal. It's a great deal. I mean it is. Like whether you think of what you want from Russell Wilson, he might be the corniest he, dude may, out there. Maybe he chose the Steelers over the the Raiders as well, but could have been. I see yeses from Cesar Fernandez, King J, Lorenzo, Kodiak, Mark, Terry. Uh, let's see. I see no's from El Capo. Sam On says for a fifth round. Dom says yes and keep building. Raider since 1967 says yes. Yep. Keep them coming. Let me know. Surf Life says no. Barlow says yes. We'll see. I got a super chat rolling in from my brother. Can't walk. It feels like I'm spending my B-Day money on new toys. I guess what kind of toys are we spending them on here, Can't Walk? I mean, I'm hoping that the Raiders are able to find some of their new toys and they're able to address some of these needs that they have because they do have a lot of needs on both sides of the football. I mean, I want them to go find a defensive tackle. I want it to be a Christian Wilkins, a Leonard Williams, a DJ Reader, a difference maker on the interior. Even like a Grover Stewart, I think, would be a pretty solid name to consider. At the cornerback spot, the two names that I'm really wondering are Kendall Fuller, a Dory Jackson could be a name. Even a dude like Xavier Howard is another name to throw out there, but the Raiders here, there's been some speculation on Renfro and Garoppolo. Like, both of those guys are going to get cut. Yeah. Now, they don't have to be cut today. You technically have to do it by the new league year. So, by Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, the Raiders have to move on from both of those guys. But what's really going to be interesting here is what the Raiders decide to do with Garoppolo because I'm looking at Garoppolo's contract numbers, and the Raiders can make a decision. They can cut him post-June 1st which as you can see, it would save them $24.7 million this year, and it's a $4.27 million dead cap hit, uh, which you know is a little bit of money, obviously. However, though, if you're the Raiders, and you don't technically get that money until after June 1st, would you rather just say, F it, F it. I'll take the money right now and just eat that dead cap hit? I, I mean, I don't see why, because like you said, the Raiders can still make other moves to make like, you don't need to cut Garoppolo to sign players in free agency. Like, you already have money. Like, you can maneuver things, work things away to where it's like, do you want five bucks now or ten bucks later? I'd rather have ten bucks later. Yeah, I'm with you. And it's not even like it's like years down the line. It's just like you have to wait a couple months and you can double your money. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's a better way to think about the allocation of the money where, yeah, you don't have the money now, but if you properly – Budget, I guess, is the way that I'll say. And if the Raiders are so confident in Tom Delaney, which it sounds like the Raiders are very confident in their, their guy who does a lot of the contracts, Delaney, why would you not put that ball in his court and say, all right, like right, let's figure this one out to get a job done? So the other person that we're going to be looking at here is Hunter Renfro on top of that. like I know that they're going to be moving on from both of these players. Now, maybe they still try to figure out a trade, but again, if the Raiders trade Renfro, sure, they get a draft pick. I don't think it would be anything higher than, honestly, like a seventh-round pick at this point. But you also eat more money. So, yeah. to me, it just makes more sense to designate both those guys as a post-June 1st cut. To the 1,000 people here watching, 
Hashtag Raiders, just like Joe did, to get those questions, comments here up on today's stream. Raiders, realistically, what's our top five quarterback options? No Caleb Williams, that isn't happening. How about this? I do have a graphic. I don't know if you moved it over. My top ten quarterbacks. I believe I did. For the Raiders. Now, when I say the top ten quarterbacks here for the Raiders, like this list is going to change. I ended up taking Russell Wilson off it. I sat back. I also thought about some different options that the silver and black could have. So the top ten quarterbacks, and I'll bring it up here in just a second, is ranked on what I want, my quarterback wish list for the silver and black. And, you know, let me explain myself when I walk through this. So as you can see, one through three, those are my franchise guys. Those are the difference makers, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, Caleb Williams. Now, obviously, I don't know if we're going to be able to get those guys. And the reason why I have Jaden ranked higher is simply because I know that that's Antonio Pierce's guy. The reason why Michael Penix Jr. here is at number four is because out of all the other quarterbacks that you don't have to trade up for, if you were to say, who would you want at number 13? I don't want any of the other QBs at 13, but the name that I would pick would be Michael Penix Jr. Justin Fields rolls in here at five because I would rather the Raiders trade a third round pick, a fourth round pick for Justin Fields than drafting J.J. McCarthy at 13, than drafting Bo Nix at 13. To me, worst case scenario would be going back to Aiden O'Connell. But the reason why I have Spencer Rattler over McCarthy and Bo Nix is not that I think Rattler is a better QB. It's based on the value. I would rather the Raiders draft Spencer Rattler in the third round compared to drafting McCarthy or Bo Nix in round one. And then Kirk Cousins, it sounds like he's going to end up going to the Atlanta Falcons. Now, we do have over a 1,000 people here watching, and the bosses told me this. We have options here today because we're going to be live so long, I'm not allowed to start drinking until free agency officially starts or if we get five bangs. If we get five bangs, which $500 Super Chats before free agency starts, then we can get the party started early. It's just like tailgate time back in the old school days with Raiders game days or... We wait until free agency. Today is going to be a marathon and is not going to be just a sprint. We actually just hit the very first one. Yep. 250 likes. So 250 likes. We're going to do a wheel spin, and we got a bunch of different games on there. And if, The way that this show is going to grow is if you hit that subscribe button, obviously. If you click the like button, that obviously helps. Sharing this on social media, the more people we get here, the more crazy and wild the things like to go. But every single 250 likes, we're going to spin that wheel. If you want a chance to win your very own Raiders Report jersey, what is this? A blank oh. one? Blank check. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was... Spin again. <laughs> there we go. Do it I again. accidentally hit... Uh... Space bar after womp, the last one. Womp. All right, we'll spin it. We'll spin it. It is. Are you keep F going, me? Keep on going. Keep on going. F you, bro. <laughs> Woo! This early in the morning, and I got to eat one of these freaking jelly beans. If you don't know what they are, mm. it's the Bean Boozle jelly beans, spiciest jelly beans in the world. All right, Chugs. I'll let you pick a number. One, two, three, four, five. What number is it going to be? One, two, three, right. four. I'll look up in the chat in two seconds or five seconds. Or five. Spam one, two, three, or five. The first number that I see, that's the one I'm going to choose for them. Also, another deal that happened right before that we went live, the Eagles, they have agreed to a massive, wow, uh, extension with Landon Dickerson. Four years, $84 million can get up to 87 what up, Elijah? You, my friend, are in. If you're wondering, what are you in for? David Zahn went bananas. First on one our... I saw was four. Four? David Zahn went bananas on our stream on Friday, so we're going to be giving away a Raiders Report jersey. And since we have all 100 numbers filled, we're going to be able to give out brand new numbers coming up here. However, if it's a member of Mount Raider Moore's jersey number, you're not able to steal it. So all the other numbers are available. So that means 16... 14, 17, 75, 24 are not available for the taking. What do you think are AOC's chances of outperforming any possible incoming quarterbacks like Jaden or Fields in training camp? One percent. Like I, I, I don't see. I don't just. I just don't view Aiden O'Connell as being that good of a quarterback. Very low. Like, and even if realistically, like, even if Aiden O'Connell does perform better than a Jaden Daniels or a Justin Fields. Like, if, if you draft, if you trade up for Jaden, you're going to play Jaden Daniels, right? Like, it's not even a conversation. If you end up trading for Justin Fields, 
then there's a little bit more of a discussion that needs to be had because if Fields is just that bad, then you're like, all right, well, we only traded a third or fourth round pick for him. Then you go with the better guy. But to me, you cannot afford to put Aiden O'Connell back out there on that field again. Like, you just, you cannot afford to do it. It would be malpractice. It would be an absolute failure by this organization. All right, Chugs, you said number four, right? Number four. I got some cayenne pepper here. Cayenne pepper jelly bean. No, number four, my lord. It is 100,000 Scoville units. Spicy, spicy. That's a, that's a spicy meatball. I also realize the only thing I have to drink in here, Fireball, Happy Dad. Mm. Whew. The problem with these is they F with your stomach. <laughs> they do. They do. They're not, I mean, they're spicy. Don't get me wrong. Like the Habanero and then the Carolina Reaper are really, really difficult. Cayenne's not great either. Yeah. But after you eat like a few of those bad boys, you, you feel it. You feel it in your, uh, your nether regions, if you will. I also got a few Venmo deals going on today, Jeremy. And I wanted to do some a little bit different because it's March. So let me explain what the deals are. If you want to get in for a 50-50 raffle, okay, so it's normal duck race. We're going to do it at the end of every single live show, essentially, for free agency. So we're going to do one duck race today. We're going to do another duck race tomorrow. And I want to get some of these pots, like massive, massive pots. Like I'm talking thousands of dollars that we're going to be able to give away here. So if you want in, $20 Venmo at Mitchell Rens 365 to get another 50-50 raffle race. Also, since it's March, I wanted to do something, Jeremy, and I thought about this idea for a while. We're going to do a March Madness-style tournament Duck races with the Raiders Report Watchers. So what do I mean? The first 64 people that sent in a $50 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365, once March Madness actually starts, we are going to get a bracket of 64, right? So imagine it's Matt Fluhe against David Zahn, one-on-one -on -one March Madness style, one seed against a 16 seed. Whoever wins, you advance. Whoever ends up winning the March Madness bracket, so 64 times 50, you're going to end up winning probably a little over $3,000 if my math is mathing correctly there. Your math is mathing. You're going to end up winning a little bit over $3,000. Also, though, we're going to do an actual March Madness bracket here for the Raiders report like Jeremy and I. So we're going to do a normal one, and we're also going to do one where you have an opportunity to win basically a little over $3,000. So if you want to get in on that, the first 64 people that I get a $50 Venmo from at Mitchell Rents 365, you are in. And then we will do this March Madness bracket when we get all 64 filled out and then when the actual tournament begins. So if you want to get in, $50 Venmo for a get shot. Get in there. Also here is a report coming in that the Philadelphia Eagles, they are going to pursue not just Saquon Barkley, but also Xavier McKinney in free agency, according to Connor J. Hughes. Very interesting. Also, wow, massive deal here rolling in. According to Jordan Schultz, the Colts and star wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. have agreed to a three-year deal worth up to $71.5 million with $46 million guaranteed. Wow. That is a lot, and I mean a lot of money for Pittman. I do view Pittman as a solid receiver. I don't view him as a top 10 receiver, though. Like, where do you think that he ranks in the NFL among wide receivers? Like, 15 uh, to 20-ish range? I mean, he's in that tier where it's like... Where would you guys rank Michael Pittman Jr.? Wide receiver rank. Like, is he the ninth best receiver? Is no, he the 30th best receiver? I, I would say he's in, like... The He's third tier, like, you know, there's the top tier, the number one guys. The yep. second tier who's, like, really good. I think he's in that third of, like, up-and-comer guys who are, like, could break out and be a top guy, but they're in that middle range. Like, yeah. they're good. Like, they have the potential. They're a low-level wide receiver one is sure. where I would put him. No, I agree with that. I think he's better than Jacoby Myers, but not much. Like, to me, would you rather have Jacoby Myers at three years, 33 million, or Michael Pittman at three years, 71. Like, I do think Pittman's a better receiver. Yeah. Is he that much better, though? Like, I, I think he's top 20. I think so. I'm, and, and he's also young. Yeah. 
I, I, I agree here with Doug. 15 to 20 sounds close. Yeah, I'm with you. I think 15 to 20 is a pretty reasonable range for a guy like Michael Pittman Jr. Now, if you see the clock that's below me, that's when NFL free agency officially gets kicked off, and that's when a lot of this breaking news is going to start rolling in here. I got Doug. So far today's Doug's our MVP. Whoever's the MVP Doug. of today's show, I'm going to wear your jersey tomorrow. So just be on the lookout for that. And, I mean, here's the other thing. If you're like Doug and you're like, well, Mitch, I don't have a jersey, then you're going to get a jersey. Like, whoever is the MVP of today's show, I am going to wear your jersey tomorrow. If you're like Doug and you don't have a jersey, well, then I'm going to order one. And then when I get it, I will end up wearing it. So, Doug, you're the MVP of today's stream so far. If you want to add that, maybe even to the, I guess, Super Chat menu. I did just see somebody wants in for our March Madness bracket. The first person to get in. Drum roll, please. Matthew Yoakum. There we go. You in. Matthew Yoakum is in. We have 1,300 people watching. We're going to keep on getting more and more people yep. as we get closer to NFL free agency. Yep. The start of it. One of the one of the best days of the offseason. This Dude, is the it's, draft. It's so much fun. Absolutely electric. Be ready for a ton of signings to go down today. Maybe not for the Raiders, but around the NFL. That first day, you know it's just gonna be like pop, 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 pop. Guys are gonna be signing here and there. That's why you gotta join us and stay subscribed. Make sure you have your notice turned on. But seriously, we have thirteen hundred people watching and only three hundred sixty-five likes. Let's get those Mitchell, numbers up. Mitchell Rins three six five. Let's get those numbers up here a little can, bit. Can we get two more raffle spins? I was gonna say I want to get a few more wheel spins going here. If we get the five hundred likes, we're gonna spin it. Jeremy, I'll even make you a deal. I'm a I'm a deal maker here. If we can get to one thousand likes, okay, one thousand likes in the next two minutes, we'll start drinking now. Okay. Let's get it going. I had a few people say, Mitch, you said we were going wild today. You said we were going wild today. Hey. Hey, I want to shout out anybody who has. If you like the video, go down and type me down in the comment section. Type me if you've liked the video already. I want to give a shout out to the real ones. Sarah Otto, Queen Sarah Otto, she already we already know she was the first like. Yeah. Very first like. She's actually scheduled the video. Let's see. Miguel she scheduled JJ the Rivera. Line. Mount Raidermore. Jason legend. E.B. is in for the duck race. Patrick B., Robert Stewart, Ed Robbins, Anthony Kotab, DJ Loaded, Where are we at? Evil, William, Where are we Tony at? the Skipper, 500 Andrew, likes. Come on. Caesar, Cool Keith, Dad, Greg Diaz, King Sanchez, Joseph Hammer, Heather, Matthew Y., Davey, Miggy Camacho, B. Scott O'Brien, Juan Hernandez, Raider fan, Goat, Sergio Rodriguez. Where are we at? King Sanchez, Scott O'Brien, Beast, Abel, Daniel, Malik, Mark, Jay, Hip, Raider, Abel, Memo, Allen, Mason. I see Menace. I see Saul. I see Daniel. Keep them coming. Let's go. Where are we Let's at? Let's go. Again, the only way that we're going to get this party really, really, truly started is if we get more people from the nation here. So the way that you do that is by clicking that share button. By clicking that like button, go tell your friends, hey, if you're just chilling at work today and you need something to listen to for the next seven hours, we're here for you. And then the only way that today gets longer is if at around, I don't know, 6 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Eastern time, the Raiders sign like some big name guy. Then we're going to be live even longer. If Jeremy and I end the live stream, we go home and the Raiders end up signing a guy like, I don't know, Christian Wilkins. Guess what? We're coming back. <laughs> Shout we'll out be to back. all of y'all, and one more time, shout out to our sponsor, which is Prize Picks. Yep. One of the reasons we're able to do a show like this is because of our sponsors like Prize Picks. Prize Picks. If you go to prizepickscom CLNS, code CLNS, first time deposit match, a hundred dollars, a bill, a whole, a Benji, a whole Benji, a whole Benji, a whole Benji. And I mean, the reason why I like Prize Picks is because I'm a football guy through and through. Like I can test my skills, and I feel like. I'm very confident in my football picks. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I'm not as very confident with college basketball, for example. But over the weekend, I watched so much college basketball. And watching, like, the tournament season is electric. Like, I watched the Iowa women's team. Caitlin Clark must watch t television. So I talked to one of our hoop heads here, and they told me 
that this is what I need to roll with today. I'm not even going to pretend like these are good or bad picks. Our college basketball guy. I said, make me some he, money. He told me, if you want some money, put these in. Yep. And I trusted him. So I'm with we're, you. <laughs> we're putting them in. I'm not going to pretend like I really know Ryan Nimbard, how good he is. Honestly, I don't. Graham Ike could punch me in the face right now, and I wouldn't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I know Graham Mike by that picture of him. That is about it. And if you're like that, but you know what I'm going to learn today? I'm going to watch this game. I'm going to be invested in this game. And that alone is a big time win. Easy, exciting, daily fantasy. There's a reason why they're the number one fantasy sports app out there. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and make sure that you use code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100. You know what, Jeremy? Sometimes... People are ready to get a little bit wild. Patrick B., I'm definitely expecting a splash signing from Telesco AP. I feel more confident this offseason than I have in a long, long time. A lot, a lot of moves to be made. Yeah, a I'm with you. I, I, I'm really hoping that the Raiders are aggressive, and I kind of want to play a game here. Hear, hear me out on my game, okay? You know how, like, in the regular season, if you predict the score correct, we do a boot? I'll make you guys a deal. Here's my deal. If you send in a $50 super chat, okay, $50 super chat, and in that super chat, you predict a player that the Raiders signed today. If you're correct, boot. I'll do a boot. Only one boot, though. I, I'm only going to do one. So I, if, if, if like six people get it, I can't physically do six boots. Like per player that's guessed? Yes. Okay. Correct. Like, if 10 people are like Christian Wilkins, I'm not doing 10 boots. Like, it's if you guess it right, it's a boot. There we go. Put your money where your mouth is. You, there's one person that's putting his money where his mouth is. Josh! Josh! Oh! The first one of the day. If you want a shout out here on the Raiders Report, Woo! spam Josh I right now. I am ready for the Raiders to be built right. I think the way that I consider the Raiders being built right is in the trenches. Like, I know we talk a lot about quarterbacks. I know we talk a lot about Josh Jacobs. But to me, the way that you're going to build a successful team, the way that you're going to build a successful roster, especially when you have the mindset that Antonio Pierce does. Like, if you're going to be a team that talks about having these rules for Patrick Mahomes. Like, if you're going to be this team that it kind of sounds like if the Raiders want to have that Pistons mantra back in the 90s, you got to be a tough football team. Yeah. The only way that you're going to be able to have that swagger to carry that chip on your shoulder to be the team that teams are like, oh, shit, we're going to play the Raiders this week. We're going to get beat up a little bit. You know, like, you can say what you want about Vrabel's old Titans teams. Those teams were competitive. You yeah. look at the 49ers, like, you play that team. They're going to beat you up. The Eagles the past few years, they're going to try to beat you up. How do they do it? They win at the line of scrimmage. So the fact that the Raiders were able to bring back somebody like Andre James and only pay him $6.3 million for this season, I am really, really hopeful that this is the way that the Raiders are going to be built right. You go in the trenches, you find your guys, and that is how you start building and you move forward. Josh I, so far today's MVP Show some love to Mr. Josh I. Down below, I see Jake DeRater. What up, man? Eric F. here in the building. Queen Sarah Otto getting some love from Josh. What up, Daniel Sneed? Adam Davis down there below. You want to shout oh. out? Spam Josh I. down in the comment section. Nick Shan at, at work. work right now. We'll be listening to you guys all day. Let's hope Raiders make some moves. Oh, boy. Josh I. love it. Love it, love it. I, I hope that the Raiders are aggressive today. I mean, all I need is at least, like, one big splash move. Though, again, it was reported by Jeremy Fowler that he expects Jacobs and Barkley both to find a debt, like, to find a spot quickly. Yeah. So, if I hear that, that makes me think that Jacobs is not returning. And I see a couple Chiefs fans down in the chat, a couple Broncos fans down in the chat already razzing us. So can we just get it going already? Can we get some FKCs, FLACs, FDENs, FSAMs down in the chat? I I, I want to get them out of here. Get them. Spam them out. Spam them out. Tell them to get going. FKC. Tell them to get going. Also, Jeremy, we got two more people in our March Madness bracket. 
I got one for Ira Jackson, you in, and then Joshua Melton also is in. And so, friendly reminder. If you don't know what it is. Correct. Basically, we're going to get the first 64 people who enter. Yep. And we're going to put you in a March Madness style bracket. 1v1. 1v1. So, you're going to have to win multiple duck races in order to advance to win the cash. Also, we're going to do a real March Madness the, bracket the as winner, well. Do I, do I tell them what the winner gets? Because the winner gets half of the half of the pot. Yep. Sixteen hundred dollars. That's pretty good. Sixteen hundo. That's pretty spicy. That's pretty spicy. Now the fifty-fifty raffle that we're going to do today is twenty to get in, and Jason E. B. is the first person, and right now, the only person in that race. So we're going to be doing that one's going to be all day today. If you want a chance to get in the first 64 people that get in our March Madness bracket, $50 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365 for a chance to get in. I'm uh I'm even like I kind of wanted to get in the March Madness bracket myself, but I would be a little bit worried if I won. People would be like, "Ah. You know who else is saying get me in, Mitch? Patrick B. Patrick B, Mount Raider Moore is in. Also, Patrick B. is in for both, the Duck Race and the March Madness Tournament. All right, Jeremy, I like this question here. I see that you're wanting to go to it. Would you sign Kirk Cousins? Type S for sign, type P for so pass. He is rumored to be looking at the Falcons pretty heavily. Yep. Also, the Vikings. Not a lot of smoke there with the Raiders, but this is more just like, obviously, Russell Wilson off the board now. Sure. Justin Fields is an option. Kirk Cousins is really the only other viable option I see besides the draft for the Raiders. Yeah, yeah. Like, would you make a move at signing Kirk Cousins? We've seen it before where guys at the last moment, at the last hour, get a call from another team and say, hey, we want you. What will it take to make a deal? So it's not out of the realm of possibility yep. for this to happen. So I want to know from you folks at home, would you sign Kirk Cousins? He's asking for a lot of guaranteed, though. That seems to be the hiccup with him and the Vikings, why he's leaning towards the Falcons, because they might be willing to give him that guaranteed money would the Raiders? I mean, they didn't want to pay Russell that, Wilson, it seemed like. I mean, like. That's, that's the thing. Like, How much better is Kirk Cousins than Russell Wilson? Is it $40 million a year better? I don't think so, right? Yeah. I To me, at this point, I just don't see the Raiders being interested in a QB like Cousins. At one point, I could have wrapped my mind around it. However, are you going to pay a QB, let's say $40 million per year, and – 40 million, let's say guaranteed on that first year. He's not going to be able to practice essentially all offseason. You kind of just did that with Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, Cousins is light years better than Jimmy G. However, though, like I did anticipate or think that Garoppolo was going to be better than, <coughs> than what he was, but because of that foot injury and you weren't really able to see him practice at all, you didn't get a good feel of what he was going to look like. What if that exact same thing happens to Cousins? Yeah. Like, again, I don't anticipate that Cousins is going to be as bad as Jimmy Garoppolo, but what happens if Kirk Cousins, who was, let's say, not a top 10 quarterback, but between 10 to 15, what if he digresses? Like, what if Kirk Cousins then turns into a QB that's like a Derek Carr, a quarterback that's clearly not a top 16 guy, but can still be a reliable quarterback here and there? Yeah, I, I think Cousins is a Falcon. I mean, to me, if I'm Atlanta, it makes sense. Like the, Raheem Morris, would, it's a good fit there. Would you rather trade for Fields or sign Cousins if you're the Falcons, though? I mean, I'd rather trade for Fields. I mean, yeah. Justin Fields, let's say it's a third-round pick. you got to pay him $6 million this year, $22 million next year if you give him the fifth-year option. That, to me, sounds like a safer bet. However, though, if Cousins, he goes to that division, he is now the best quarterback in that division. And if you're Atlanta, you got to look at what, you know, Tampa Bay did last year. Like, Tampa Bay found a quarterback. They won the division, right? Like, that's all you have to do in that division. Yeah. If you can get yourself a quarterback. What up, Raider? Let's go get ourselves a top DT and an offensive guard. Let's go get Jaden Daniels and API Trust. Excited for this offseason. Thanks for your dedication to the nation, Mitch and Chugs. L Raider, appreciate you. You are also in for a chance to win a Raiders Report jersey. Now, some of these names, again, Chris Jones, he just signed record-breaking deal. Christian Wilkins is a name that I'll continue to throw out there. Leonard Williams, like, those are the top two names today that if the Raiders sign those guys, 
I would be over the moon about Leonard uh, DJ Reader, Grover Stewart. Again, Eric Armstead is another name that you could absolutely throw in there, though. Armstead did not want to play at $17 million for the Niners. Like, that's where he was upset. I would rather you sign Leonard Williams than Eric Armstead if it's $17 million. And then if I'm going to spend over $17 mil on any defensive tackle this offseason, his name is Christian Wilkins. So, yeah. like, Armstead to me is a good player. He's getting up there in age. However, though, with how deep the defensive tackle room is, if I'm Las Vegas, I'm getting aggressive, and I'm getting aggressive right away. Yeah. Some of the offensive guards to also consider, if you want to spend big, Robert Hunt is a name that I'll continuously throw out there. He is the top offensive guard on the board. You can put him at right guard, however. I see him getting about 17, 18 mil. Damian Lewis is the most intriguing name on this list to me now. The fact that the Raiders kept Andre James, they're going to keep him at center. You have Dylan Parham at left guard. Damian Lewis did play left guard this past season with the Seattle Seahawks. However, Lewis, when he played with James Craig, who's the Raiders' offensive line coach back in their LSU days, he did play right guard. So, like, maybe you want to go that route. I do anticipate that the Raiders end up bringing back Greg Van Roten as almost like that sixth-man option. And if you bring him back at $2.5, 3000000 million, worst-case scenario, you're signing a right guard that wasn't great but was reliable last season I mean, for he, you. He was a... He was a decent guard for the price. Like a good yes. bang, he was a good bang for your he buck guy. He was a guy. great bang for your buck guy. And even if, again, you get him he's, on he's three a mil. He's four for four. Four for four. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're right, though. Like, he gets ripped on a lot. But when you are the seventh best offensive guard, according to PFF, like at $3 million, that's a lot of value that's right a steal. there. It's a lot of value. Raider what up, Taylor. Raider? What's the most, or the most quarterback to start under center this year? I mean, realistically, this is a really, really difficult question only because you can go so many different ways. At this point, because every single option is just such a coin flip, I'm just going to say Jaden Daniels because that's the quarterback that I know that they won. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and say that there's a better chance that Bo Nix or Michael Penix Jr. Like, yeah, there's a better chance that those guys are available at 13. That doesn't mean that there's a better chance of them going with one of those QBs. So I'm just going to say the guy that they want, and that's Jaden. Besides that, though, like I, I don't have the answer for you. I, I am very confident, though, that they are going to end up drafting a quarterback in this year's class. What up, Adam? Also, we got to spin that wheel. We do have to spin that wheel. We do got to spin that wheel. Every 250 likes, we spin the wheel. Can we get to another one? Can we get to 750 likes? That way, Jeremy has to spin it twice. What up, Adam Martinez? You in? Mitch and Chugs. What's up, guys? I cook a lot outside like most Texans do. Do y'all prefer to cook inside or outside? I'll say this. I hope that I'm fortunate enough one day to be able to cook in my own backyard with a grill because then that's the answer. Unfortunately, I got to use the community grill, which I don't love like sharing that kind of stuff. So because of that, I cook inside. Yeah, I mean, I cook mostly inside, but I prefer to cook outside. Like one of the things that me and Danny are going to get next Blackstone. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we have a little we, – we, we rent a house, so we have a little backyard. I want to get a little Blackstone out there, a little hibachi action out there, maybe some breakfast pancakes. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, I, I would love to be able to cook outside. I will say the only downfall about cooking and eating outside is the transportation of everything. Yeah. The you, cleanup process. Pans. You got to use sheet pans. Okay. Yeah, the, the problem is Alex likes everything to look cute. Oh, man. A little Henny never hurt nobody. Oh, my goodness. That is a wake-up call. Spam Henny down below for Jeremy Chugs. That, Anything is possible. That blows. Anything I'm, is possible. The mock, throw my Raider ass in the duck pond. We'll see. The $20 is on Venmo. Yep. The mock, you are in for a Raiders Report jersey. Correct. But for the duck race, it's a $20 Venmo Two Mitchell Rins, three six five. Got to get that going, and I'll leave this up there. You can talk about this, and I'll go get the henny. Yeah, go get the henny, good sir, good sir. Go get the henny. If somebody bangs right now, I'll do a henny shot with Chugs out of the shot ski. All right, Raiders will move up in the draft ahead of the Broncos to draft J.J. McCarthy. What do you think? NFL scouts say he is the best vision and can read NFL pro defenses. I'll just say then, Raider Invader, that you don't watch this show often. To me, I think it'd be a 
absolute disaster if the Raiders were to draft J.J. McCarthy. To me, he's not a QB that you draft if you're Las Vegas at 13. Like, there might be some other NFL teams out there that would potentially take a chance on J.J., but, like, I have McCarthy ranked as my fifth quarterback now behind Michael Penix Jr. I'm not as sold on him. Like, I wouldn't take Bo Nix in round one if I was any NFL team. I would rather the Raiders take Michael Penix Jr. in the draft than J.J., but, like, McCarthy's not ready to start year one. I don't even know if he'd be ready in year two. Like, if you wanted to go about it of the Jordan Love experiment where you just have him sit for two years and then you roll the dice with him, sure, you can do that. I do think he's a good leader. He is a good athlete. However, his arm town and his inability, actually, I think, to read defenses is one of the reasons why I'm so scared about him. Like, I know what some NFL scouts say, but I'm also going to listen to the scouts that I talk to. And if the Raiders were to do that... I, I think it would be a massive, massive organizational failure by the Raiders to take J.J. McCarthy in the first round of the NFL draft. I, I do not think that he's very good, man. I also got to get a few people here that are in for our duck race on Venmo. Remember, $20 Venmo for a chance to get in. I see Sean Holman in, Nathan Wolf in. Robert Pena, you in, and then PG2869, you are in. So as it stands right now, if you want a chance to get in for our duck race, seven people are in, 20 R Venmo, a chance to win $70 as it stands. And then if you want to get in our March Madness bracket, the first 64 people that send in a $50 Venmo, you're going to be in. Winner of that gets $1,600, and you're actually going to be able to compete against Jeremy and I during our March Madness brackets. Four people are in right now, and I don't know if you see this. This one's rolling in from Ira Jackson. Bang! We got a new MVP. We got a new MVP, and his name is Ira Jackson. You said Shotsky? A little Shotsky? A little Shotsky. Let's go. Pour me up, Buttercup. If you haven't seen our Shotsky yet, the a talented and amazing Allie Barefoot made us our very own Raider Shotsky, which we're going to be giving away during the draft. So if you like it, hey, spam Allie down below. The fact that she hand-painted this is mind-blowing to me. True, she did do it with her feet. It's very, I mean, that's even more impressive. That's even more impressive. I'll, I'll be real, though, this is, uh, is going to hit differently. I am unbelievably nervous about this. Yep, I was going to say, that's actually probably a pretty good pour right there. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Ira Jackson, shout out to you. Shout out to the nation. Um, today's going to be a hell of a day. Today's yeah. going to be a hell of a day. We have 1,400 people in the chat right now. Can we get 1,400 LVs flowing? All right, I like get it. the LVs flowing. Let's go. Are you ready for free agency? If you are, get the LVs flowing. Chugs, cheers to you, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Whoo! That's a wake-up call. Who needs coffee in the morning, man? Yeah, I'll tell you what. That's like Alex loves Vicks. I just felt like I just inhaled Vicks, man. Oh, my Lord. I got G Money. What up, Bobby Hernandez? Ron Raspberry. What's up, Sean? Ronnie Pierce, K Smooth. I see Ghost down there below. Henny. It's Henny, and it's 1049 a.m. here for us. Yikes. But you know what? Sometimes you got to get warmed up a little bit. I feel, feel a little bit warmed up now. Feeling a little bit loosey-goosey here on the Raiders report, which, again, we've been, I think we've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. And with the amount of money that the Raiders have to spend, with them having a new head coach, GM, I'm hoping that they are going to be a very, very aggressive unit today. Nathan Wolf is in for the 50, uh, he's already in for the 50-50. Nathan Wolf is in for our March Madness bracket now. So Nathan is in. And then I see Randall Carter is in for the duck race. Let's go to my man, Nick. What will it take to move up to get Jaden Daniels, especially since New England 
traded Mac Jones. I mean, Ooh. I, I, I'll still say at minimum it's three first-round picks to get to the third overall pick. But now it's like <sighs> New England, I don't know what their option would be. But like the only besides thing, drafting a quarterback. Besides drafting a quarterback, I mean, trade for Justin Fields maybe? Like I could see that, but I don't know. I, mean, I think it, their best option would be to draft a quarterback. Now the only thing that I think might be, I don't know, maybe they prefer – J.J. McCarthy? I was going to say, if you were to tell me one team that would take McCarthy in the top three out of the teams, I think it's actually New England. Like, I could see that being a lot more likely case. And the only reason why I say that is because historically, again, this is historically, I get this is a different year, new head coaches, all that. Historically, though, New England has been a team that's been very prominent of passing designs over the middle of the field. If there's one knock that I have on Jaden Daniels is his inability to throw to the middle of the field, and he always looks to the outside. Now, maybe certain scouts look at that, and they're like, I, I don't know if I want that in Jaden. I do think McCarthy does a pretty solid, He maybe does a better job than what Jaden does in that regard. However, though, if you were to the Patriots, because there's also been reports out there that they do want to try to build, what if you traded a third or a fourth round pick for Jaden Dan or for Justin Fields, you draft Marvin Harrison Jr. at number three, and then you just try to build this absolute all-star team in free agency in the draft around Justin Fields. Again, like... I don't hate it. We'll see what ends up happening here. Also, a report from Jeremy Fowler. The Giants and the Panthers are among teams that could come out hot in the guard and interior offensive line market. On top of that, the Jets, Titans, and Commanders will look to address those spots as well. It's according to Fowler. I think Jermaine's going to have a market. I, Jermaine is going to have a market. Jermaine's going to be a very coveted player. I don't think that he ends up just, coming back. Just because like, there, there's not a lot of good tackles in free agency. I mean, he might be not. the best left. There's not a lot of great tackles. There's Especially because I don't think Trent Brown is somebody that I would rely on. If you're looking for a right tackle that's under the age of 30 years old, I do think Jermaine's going to have a solid market. And because the Raiders gave that contract that they did to Andre James, that indicates to me that I do not anticipate that Jermaine's going to come back. They believe in Thayer Munford. Also, the figures, like, the, those numbers there were kind of what I thought Jacobs might get. Yeah. So the fact that they decided to allocate that, like, if you were to tell me Andre James, three years, $24 million, or Josh Jacobs, three years, $24 million, I'm picking Andre James every single day of the week. I know that that might be an unpopular opinion, but I want to be able to win in the trenches. Let's go to Rebel. Any update from Jermaine? I'm doubtful he resigns. I uh, I did speak to Jermaine over the weekend. However, I'm not really allowed to share exactly what I was told. It's just, for me, all I know is Jermaine does want to remain a Raider. However, he did just have a baby. He has to do what's best for him. And if some other team offers him more money or maybe a longer contract, like one of the things that Jermaine did tell me is that he's been playing on one-year deal since the second year he's entered the league, right? Like, He's getting ready to now enter his eighth year. So the past five, six years, he's been playing on one-year contracts. Now that he's married, now that he's got a child, he is looking to try to sign a deal that's longer and has more guarantees than just one year. So if there's a team that's willing to offer him that, he's going to take it. And I don't think anybody can knock him for wanting to provide for his family. All right, y'all, we got five minutes until NFL free agency officially kicks off. Woo! I am getting very, very nervous here. And if you want a chance to get in for our duck race at the end of today's show, again, it is a $20 Venmo, which as it stands right now, $20 Venmo, you have a chance to win 80 bucks. And if you want to get in our March Madness tournament, I, that's a $50 Venmo. I, I say we just go as soon as it hits 100 people. What? The, the duck race? The duck race. And then we start another one. Okay. I'm in. Hun first 100 people that get in. It's going to be... A marathon to get there. Got a long day, though. Uh, got a long day. Got a long day. I, I think we'll hit day. it. I think at some point we'll end up getting it in. We'll see, though. We got 1,400 people here, Jeremy. We are 25 likes away from another wheel spin. And the fact that you had to do a Henny shot on that last wheel spin makes me a little bit nervous. So what, are, what are some other things on the wheel? Uh, some other things we have. Uh, some condiment shots. We got some tequila shots. We have... Oh! Josh! Josh! I... I... Bang! We got a new MVP! Let's 
get it. Josh, I came to play today. He's ready. He's ready to party. Christian Wilkins is the defensive tackle I'm hoping for. If the Raiders end up signing Wilkins, I'm doing a boot for Josh I. I'm doing a boot for Josh I if that's what ends up going hey, down. $50 if you predict somebody that the Raiders signed today correctly, that's a boot. Oh, Christian Wilkins already off the board. Goodness. Christian Wilkins, Josh I putting his money where his mouth is. If you want a shout out here, I want to see some Josh I's flow and I see John Roble, DJ <laughs> Loaded. Patrick B, Mount Rademore showing love to Joe I. I got Tadashi, Robbie, Agent Red, Rambo, the Queen, all down there in the chat. 1,500 people decided to pull up today. Woo. If you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. And Jeremy, I need you to spin that wheel. Let's go. Cruzen said, what to do? I want Darius Robinson and get Fuaga or Newton. Jaden is small in size. Look at AR-15, got hit and is bigger. Jaden is going to get smashed. Not a Jaden Daniels fan. He is obviously very thin. He does need to put on a little bit of weight. However, the style of quarterback that Anthony Richardson is and Jaden Daniels to me are totally different. Like, Richardson is a run-first guy. Jaden is not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Ten push-ups for Chuggy Bowl. Just get me early. Ten push-ups for Chuggy Bowl. Next time, we're going to spin that wheels. If we get to 1,000 likes, which means we're about 250, Away from that. Come on, man. You got it. You got it. It is early. Ten push-ups. You got it. I believe in you. He's like, all right, I got this. Miggy, GM Mitch Chugs and chat cheers. Hit that like button. Miggy Camacho, I'm with you. Come on, Jeremy. Free agency. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and one more for Christian Wilkins. Oh, God. Oh, God. And people thought all we do is drink around here. This show is the personification of health. I, I, some people would rather that, yes. Some people might rather that. Camacho, he's an OG. All the love to my man. Miggy Camacho. Miggy, Miggy, can't you see? Yeah, I was a uh, henny shot directly into push ups, not on my bingo card today. <laughs> hurts. Oh, God. That hurts, man. I hear you. Don't, don't love that. Don't love that. It's definitely not easy. The, uh, the, the last two, I was definitely ch chest on the ground. Yeah. Doing the worm a little bit. <laughs> We've been there. We've all been there. We've all been there. All right, let's go to Tim Phillips, hey, trying to be optimistic. Everybody talking mess right now. You get down and give me 10 right now. <laughs> you think it's so easy. Hey. 10 in the morning after a Henny shot. Get down and drop and give me 10. 10, I let's be go. bet you won't. Hey, if you're going to drink with us, do some push-ups with us as well. Also, bet Jeremy, you won't. <laughs> also, we are got one minute until free agency starts. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Whoever spams LV the most, you're going to get a free entry and for a chance to win a Raiders Report jersey. So David Zahn went bananas on our live stream on Friday. And we're going to be giving away a Raiders Report jersey on our stream today. Every $10 Super Chat gives you 30 an entry. 30 seconds left. Let's Whoever go. Whoever spams LV the most, we're giving a free entry away. Who wants it the most? I have been looking forward to free agency. Don't worry, Tim. We'll go back to your Super Chat. But let's get the LVs going. Let's get the LVs a-flowing here on the Raiders Report. Free agency is about to begin in 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy free agency. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. And the free entry goes to... James Guevara. Mr. James Guevara. Here we go. Oh. Uh, Here uh, we go. So now teams, again, cannot officially sign with a team. The official signing period begins March 13th, 4 p.m. Eastern. However, this is what is known now as the legal tampering period, which means teams too can agree and teams can start talking to free agents and then essentially you can say, yes, I'm going to end up signing 
with this team. So they'll get all the contracts. They'll get all that stuff worked out. Here we go. Let me know what position do the Raiders need to target next? According to Adam Schefter, agency. Bears are expected to make a major push to land Eagles free agent running back DeAndre Swift. He is expected to be a primary Chicago target when free agency opens. Dude, this is going to be bananas. What position do the Raiders need to target in free agency? What's the number one spot on keep, defensive tackle? We're going to keep you up to date with every single signing. They're going to be flowing right here. Correct. Every single signing that's happened in – not signing. Every single signing slash agreement that is going, get, going to be going down today is going to be flowing right there. Also underneath, I'll try to keep you all updated with all the latest – signings and agreements going on around the National Football League. We have most projected cap right now. It's Commanders, Patriots, Titans, Texans, Bears, Cardinals, Colts, Bengals, Lions, and the Eagles. Eagles. Those are the top ten. Yep. The Raiders, based off of where they are at right now, are somewhere at around $36 million, I want to say, according to over the cap. I see defensive tackle, guard, O-line, punter, <laughs> Let's see, D-line, D-line, right tackle. Punter ain't happening. Punter not happening. Also, you know what, Jeremy? I made two super chat deals or super chat menus. Let's go to that one. You know what? It's officially free agency, and for the next hour, this is maybe not wheel spin every 100 likes. Let's do it. Let's keep it to 250. I didn't know how many people were going to be here with us right away. 250 likes is a wheel spin. $10 for a Raiders Report jersey raffle. $50 for a shot ski from Jeremy and I. $100, you get in our bang competition. And I'll be doing a beer bong. The Eagles and Texans are expected to have strong interest in Saquon Barkley. There we go. Dude, Saquon, where do you think is a better fit for Barkley? Philadelphia or Houston? Honest question. I, I mean, I think it's the Texans. I think it's Houston. I actually don't love his fit in Philadelphia. But my question to you is, oh. obviously, dude, there's a lot of running backs in free agency this year. Who are the top five running backs in the NFL right now? I would say Christian McCaffrey won, but after that, who's really the next four guys on that list? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be people that say Josh Jacobs, though, coming off the year that Jacobs did. I don't know if Jacobs is anymore is, is Saquon still a top five back is Derrick Henry st still a top five back I mean definitely up there in that conversation however we will uh we will see um uh, that's interesting we got a shot we do have a shot however I just realized something so I got to check something out very interesting um mm. I just got to see. So Jacobs just tweeted, spread some love today. You never know what someone's going through. He tweeted that. I also just realized that Jacobs blocked me on Twitter. So that's, <laughs> that's something new that I learned. Um, we'll see, though. This is going to be interesting. I saw, I saw Jacobs pop up. We will see. And we're off, man. All right. Ira Jackson said, you know what? Let's get the party started! Bang! Ira Jackson! That's a bomb. And I, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to put this out there. $400 away from a boot. We're going old school. Every $1,000 we get today is a boot. Every $1,000 we get today is a boot. Go down. And let's get it started. Let's get this party started here. Jeremy Chuggs, so we got, Ira we, Jackson. We got a Shotsky and we got... I was going to say, we have a Shotsky and a little beer bong action. Oh, boy. To get us started today. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited for this, man. Demario Davis reworked his deal. <clears throat> oh, man. Here we go, man. The legal tampering period is here. Xavier McKinney is the top target for the Green Bay Packers and Eagles is a report out there. Christian Wilkins, 
apparently is a top target for the Vikings, Browns, Texans, and the Lions. So a lot of moving parts here in the streets early. Who's ready to tamper? Dude, I am beyond ready to tamper. Oh, oh Christian Wilkins, I would so tamper with you. All right, we're going to have to get this closer. This is a disaster. Cheers. Uh, that's good stuff, man. That is some high quality fireball in the morning. <sighs> yeah, this beer bong is going to hit different as well. Ira Jackson, today's MVP. Remember, whoever the MVP is, I'm going to be rocking your jersey tomorrow here on the Raiders report. And Ira is out to a fast start. It's between him and Josh I. Ira Jackson, Josh I. Cheers to both of y'all for wanting to get this party started. Oh, let it flow. Let it flow. So, yes, we are live here on the Raiders Sport. Yes, we do have nearly 2,000 people joined. And essentially what we're going to do today is we are going to do keeping you guys up to date on every single NFL signing that ends up going down today. So every signing, doesn't matter what team it is, we're going to keep you guys up to date. And then when the Raiders, if the Raiders do officially make a move, we'll tell you. All right, we do have a new uh, contract coming in here. It's around Demario Davis signing a new deal with the Saints two years at $17.25 million. That includes $13.3 million fully guaranteed. Oh, boy. Not too shabby. Let me know who's an underrated free agent that's still out there. Who's a guy who, maybe not a top guy, maybe not a Christian Wilkins type guy. Yep. But I don't know. Let me know. Also, Ira wants the shots. Ira wants the shots. I'll fill you up. I'll fill you up here, Chuggy Bull. Get the mini boot going. Getting the boot started early. Let me know who's an underrated free agent out, that's out there. I see Simmons. I'm guessing Justin Sil Simmons, Calvin Ridley as well, Gabe Davis, Grover Stewart, some, ga some names that are out there. Scott says Andre James. Come on, man. Did you like the Andre James re-signing? I did. I, I thought it was a really smart move here by the Raiders. Like, and again, like I think a lot of times people aren't going to get blown away by the uh, offensive line signing just because it's the offensive line. But if you're going to win in the trenches and if you're going to be a football team that's going to be predicated on being like the tough guys on the block, and that's kind of the sense that I get from Antonio Pierce that they're going to try to they're going to try to bully people. They're going to try to beat some people up and. The only way that you have the ability to do that is if legitimately, if you win in the trenches, right? Like, yeah, that's the only way that that's going to be possible is if you win in the trenches. That's it. Jason M. Thoughts on signing Patrick Queen to pair with Robert Spillane? Uh, I'll be real with you. That's a hard, hard pass for me. I think Queen is a good player. It's going to cost way, way too much for what the Raiders need. And if you're going to spend over $17, $18 million at a position this offseason, like it better not be at linebacker. Like, yeah. like if I'm going to find a linebacker, let's go the cheaper route where if I'm going to spend 18 mil, let's go get a defensive tackle. Let's even try to allocate some of that money to like a top corner, right? Like I would rather the Raiders get Kendall Fuller. I would rather the Raiders sign a Leonard Williams, a... Armstead, a Christian Wilkins. I know it's not all the exact money. However, if you are going to try to put some of that money towards it, I do think it's something to at least think about. Greg says Blake Cashman for linebacker. Uh, Cashman is coming off a phenomenal year. Jeremy said that you know he did a really solid job last year with uh, coverage grade. He does have a lot of injury concerns, but three million dollars for Cashman or. Maybe eighteen million for Patrick Queen. Like, give me Cashman. I'm gonna take Cashman, especially with what the Raiders need right now. The San Francisco 49ers are re-signing quarterback Brandon Allen. Interesting. Going back. Okay. I mean, every time a move happens, again, you're gonna see all the moves that are up top. They're gonna continue to cycle through. So if you're wondering what moves have happened, what moves haven't happened, that's where uh, the information is going to be. Davis is saying Levante David re-signed. Haven't, haven't seen that one come through yet, but yeah, haven't that, seen seems, that, one that yet. seems about right. Yeah, I could see him going back to Tampa. Yeah. Like, 
John Harley, Raiders, any chance we go after Kendall Fuller? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was told, oh, man. I was told that, so now that Ira just said what he did, if Fuller ends up signed, that's a boot, and that's another shot. I'll tell you what, uh, Ira came to play. Yeah. I'm uh, Ira, Ira is trying to put Chugs and I under the table right now. Which... Also, 100 likes from another wheel, wheel spin. Can we get there? Can we get another wheel spin going? 100 likes. If you haven't already, go down and like the video. 2,000 people watching. We're 100 likes away from 1,000. Let's oh, get it. Cheers. Also, $300 away from boot. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. What were we even talking about now? Kendall oh, Fuller. Kendall Fuller. Uh, I was told that the Raiders were going to show some interest in Fuller, and then I talked to Scout. He put it out on Instagram that the Raiders were going to show some interest in Fuller, and it doesn't really surprise me just considering the fact that Pierce did say at the Combine that finding a cornerback one is a, in quotes, top priority according to The Athletic. So because of that situation, if the Raiders are truly looking at trying to find that, spot like he's the top corner in free agency now you could also look at a guy like Xavier Howard could be another intriguing name even somebody like a Dory Jackson who's got some ties with Patrick Graham should the Raiders bring back Josh Jacobs a lot of smoke around the running back free agency class we've already seen some reports around Saquon Barkley Josh Jacobs reportedly having interest from the Chicago Bears as well. Maybe the And our first big deal of the day, the Chicago <laughs> Bears are signing running back DeAndre Swift. Woo! I'll tell you what, if you're Josh Jacobs, this is uh this I, I'm actually worried now what he's going to get because DeAndre Swift just signed a deal for 3 years, 24 million, so 8 million dollars per year for DeAndre Swift. That tells me Jacobs is definitely getting 10 plus. That also tells me Eagles need a running back as well. Yeah. Could they be in the market Barkley. for a Josh Jacobs or a Saquon Barkley? Chicago signs DeAndre Swift. It is the first. I mean, I'll tell you what, if you're a running back, that, that's got to make you feel good. The fact that a running back just got a three year, $24 million deal, it's got to feel pretty damn good. And then. Ira Jackson Bang! You know what? For those of you that do not know, every time that we bang here in the month of March, you are entered in for a chance to win this Raiders helmet. It's going to be signed by Jeremy Chuggs and I. And Jeremy, that was our fifth bang of the day, which means... We're going to be giving away a free entry for a shot to win this helmet. At the end of the month of March, we're going to do a Duck Race 50-50 raffle style, and we are going to give away this helmet to a lucky winner. Oh, my goodness. So if you want a chance to get in, spam Ira Jackson, who Ira. is just on another level right Ira. now. Wait, you know, we Ira, I'm just going to pour my fireball shot into this. I'm just going to pour my fireball shot into this. Ira oh, Jackson. That's, a, that's also a gong. Ira is on another level right now. Is it really? That's 500. Is the math correct? Oh, my Lord. It is. It is. All right. Ira. 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 Ira Jackson. Ira Jackson! Woo! Today's MVP, Ira Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am Ira. I Thank am you. Ira. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I'll tell you what. Those quesadillas about to come in clutch. Dude, I might boof a quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> Ira, this is for you, man. If you don't spam Ira Jackson, then you can go somewhere else. If you don't spam Ira Jackson, then you can go somewhere else, man. Woo! 
If you don't chew, chew big red, then F you. There we go. There we go. Latest free agency signing. Uh, Once again, DeAndre Swift. Woo. Three years, $24 million to the Chicago Bears. So, should the Raiders now bring back Josh Jacobs, a running back off the board? Should they sign somebody? Do they just roll with Zamir White and draft somebody? Which, actually, I think I have that question. I mean, Josh is now, I mean, I got to imagine Josh is getting $10 million plus a year. Yeah. Right? Like, he, he's got to be getting $10 million plus a year. Barkley, what? I mean, if you're, I actually think $8 million for Swift's a lot, dude. On a three-year deal, I mean, he has struggled to stay healthy. Excuse me. I do think he's going to fit well in Chicago. I think this is a better question. If Jacobs doesn't return, should the Raiders sign or draft a running back? I mean, this is, I'm spamming my D all day, every day. Really? Yeah. I, Jacob, it's Jacobs or draft for you. It's Jacobs or draft. Like, if you're not going to give the money to Josh Jacobs, like, again, I am team don't pay running back. So if you're not going to allocate money to your running back position and it, like with a guy that has clearly shown you that he wants to be here, then don't give any money. Like Zamir White at least showed enough ability and the fact that you already re-signed Amir Abdullah that those two guys can at least get you by if you add another person in the draft. Like yeah. if you add Ray Davis, Zamir White and Amir Abdullah, like that is a good enough backfield to get by, especially if you upgrade your offensive line. Like if you have a stacked offensive line, like you're going to have a competent running game. I mean, you even saw last year, you can have a guy like Jacobs. If, if you don't have the right offensive line and not putting blame on the O-line, it was more of the quarterback play, but you need to have a good situation to have a good running game. You're going to have a great running back. If the situation isn't right, then I don't know how great it is going to be. Yeah. Also, and if, if you're some, not using prize picks, I don't know how well your daily fantasy sports life is going to be. Also, Deion Dawkins leaving Buffalo. Wow. Both the guys that we saw at the uh, yes. Super Bowl. Yes. Poyer and Dawkins were together, both packing their bags. Packing it up, and they are a leaving. Also, if you guys want to go get started with our sponsor, I'm telling you right now, Prize Picks is here to hook up the nation. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Testing my skills on Price Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into 1000 with just a few taps. Price Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Now, I know that football season is over, but you can still get started and you can still play a bunch of different games with prize picks. So one of the things that I wanted to show y'all today during free agency was hockey. Well, I have an NBA one, I have a hockey one, and I have a college basketball prize pick selection. So you know what? I'm going to roll it here a little bit because I do think that you need to have fun when you watch these games. So for those that do not know, my dad, big time Islander fan. Really? My dad's nickname is the Long Islander for fantasy football. So I saw Islander, Brock Nelson. I go, you know what? Give me the more on zero and a half points. Robert Thomas, I'm not a big Boston guy. So give me the less on that. And then Jake Neighbors. Where there's a neighbor, State Farm is there. So I just had to go with the more. That was my thought process. That's it. Like, I do this. Neighbors. I do this. To learn more about hockey. I do this to learn more about sports. And one of the things that I'll tell a lot of people out there, like if you have a significant other, if you have a child, if you know somebody that wants to get into sports and you want to be able to sit down and like teach them the game and or like like rebounds, assists, you know, points, rushing yards, passing yards, shots on goal, all that kind of stuff. Pick a few players, sit down with them. Like when Alex and I would watch the games, I'd be like, we need rushing yards. And all she would root for is rushing yards, which I think is a pretty cool thing. So go get started. I'm not going to lie. I just saw something pop up. It, I thought it said Chandler Jones. Oh, no. Wasn't oh. Chandler Jones. It was Chancellor Johnson. Ah, <laughs> close. Dude, Carlos Fields to the Raiders reminds me of Devontae situation where everyone thought there was a 0% chance of it happening after a week after free agency. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if ever, anything's ever going to top the Devontae Adams trade, at least for me on this stream, in terms of just, oh my freaking God. The, realistically, Raiders just traded for Devontae. The, Raiders just traded the for The only Devontae. way that somebody's going to top the Raiders trade for Devontae Adams is if right now, some point, or on draft night, we get the alert, the Raiders are trading up into the top three. Or Jaden Daniels is still on the board, Raiders are trading up type of situation. Like, that Devontae Adams stream was insane. I mean, it was so insane that Devontae talked about it when he ended up officially signing with the Raiders. I mean, that is bananas, man. Speaking of trades, a lot of guys on the trade block, T. Higgins, one of them, Jair Alexander, among others of guys who could get traded. Who's a player that you think the Raiders could trade for? We, we already did a video about it. You talked about a couple guys. Yeah. If I can go back and kind of see some of the guys. One of the, uh, were... one of the names I talked about was Patrick Peterson. He was released. So that could be like a veteran that you bring in. James Bradbury was the name I threw out there. And I know James Bradbury was booty cheeks. He was terrible last season. However, though, if he does end up getting released or if he is traded, you know, it's only like a $1 million base hit for Las Vegas this upcoming season. And he has experience with Patrick Graham. Talk about Brandon Ayuk as well. Brandon Ayuk, I don't see happening. Our uh, 49ers guy, Chase Sr., has been pretty clear that they anticipate on keeping him this upcoming season. But, like, was definitely a name to at least throw out there. Said Kenyon Green and Trey Lance were the other two. Trey Lance would be very intriguing, only because the Raiders quarterback coach, Rich Scangarillo, was with the San Francisco 49ers back in 2021. And my thought process on this was this. If you're the 49ers and you traded three first-round picks to go from 12 all the way up to three, yeah, that would mean to me that your organization is sold on a player. And I would imagine the quarterback coach at the time, Rich Scangarillo, was in on Trey Lance. If I told you all it took was to get a sixth to seventh-round pick for Lance, if the Raiders use one of their seventh-rounders to go get Lance, who has that connection with Rich Scangarillo... Could be another name to just oh, no. think about and throw out there. Deion Dawkins is signing a three-year, $60.5 million extension. That's wild. That's hilarious. Deion Dawkins. He's staying. Dude, he trolled everyone. So Deion Dawkins posted on Twitter, it was good while it lasted. Buffalo, peace out. Excited for this next chapter of my football career. Wonder if it's okay to eat ranch now. So Deion Dawkins straight up trolled everyone, made it seem like he was leaving, and then he just signed a three-year, wait, then he just signed a three-year 60.5 million extension. Shout out to Deion Dawkins for trolling, man. Dude, I love it. I love it. Also, Jeremy, we are one like away from spinning the wheel. We are one like away from spinning that wheel. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be like 1,000? Who's going to be like 1,000? I don't know. I don't know who it's going to be. I do know this. Ira Jackson has been out here balling out. We got to give away, Jeremy, a spot. So whoever spams Ira Jackson the most, you're going to get entered for a chance to win our Raiders helmet. Raiders helmet. Going to someone. All right, here we go. Whoever spams Ira Jackson the most, spin that wheel. No whammies, no whammies, no, no whammies, whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Again, a condiment shot for my man. Do I get to pick this one? Do you want to go pick it? I do want to go pick it. Oh. You picked mine last time, so I get to go pick it. Also, you're going to have to spin that wheel again. We got it again? We got it again. Every 250 likes, we're spinning that wheel. All right, well. Spin it. Let's spin see. Spin it. Oh, no. A condiment shot followed by some jumping jacks. All right, here's Dude, the fun part, though. how only landing on me? I don't know. You made the wheel, so that's on you. Here's how we're going to do it, Jeremy. Every single $10 super chat. That comes in in the next 60 seconds is 10 jumping jacks. Okay. Every $10 super chat is you get an entry, 
into our Raiders Report jersey raffle, Correct. and every 10 is 10 jumping jacks for me. All right. I'm going to go get the condiment shot. Hopefully it's Trojan or Durek. Oh. Wow. Just absolutely in shambles. Keep on spamming Ira. I'm going to go with, let's see, who's still spamming Ira? Who's still spamming Ira Jackson? Let me go with Mitch Eisenberger. Mitch Eisenberger, the first name that I saw, spamming Ira Jackson. Every $10, you know what, I'll do this. Every $5 for the next 60 seconds is 10 jumping jacks for me. Every $5. Oh. Mitch just so, showed me which one he chose. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh. Oh, no. That's a lot of jumping jacks. Oh, shit. That's a lot of jumping jacks. Because J. Durvin, 24, bang! Oh, wow. Oh. So I, in essence, owe, because of my deal, 210 jumping jacks. 210? I, I made the deal for... What happened? I, I said, every $5, I'll do 10. And he just sent in 100. So 20 times 10 is 200. And then plus another 5 is another 10. I mean, that's... I'm going to be honest, that's a bad deal for you. What? That's a. Uh, I got you a little Worcestershire. Oh. A little, a little Worcestershire. Just a little bit. A little bit. Just a little Worcestershire. It's, it's the whole shot. Well, yeah, but it's a little one. It's a little boot. Oh God. I got him some Worcestershire. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'll see you on the other side, Chugs. Some Worcestershire. Oh. <laughs> I love Worcestershire sauce. I mean, it, as a shot, though, that's that's gnarly. It tastes like I just chewed some, like, smoke from a fire pit. Like, it's, like, just smoky. I chewed some smoke. How do you chew smoke? <laughs> You just, I'll tell you this right now. If you ever see one of your buddies at a campfire and they're chewing smoke, tell them to go inside. All right. They've had too much. D Rock says jumping jacks. Let us get it. Last one 220. You're going to do 220 jumping jacks. Yeah. That's gnarly. Hey, Renz. Higgins and Armstead to Raiders possibly? I don't really think so. I mean,. I, I do think Armstead is a potential likely candidate. Now, again, one of the reasons why he left San Francisco is they wanted him to take a, a salary cut. He wasn't willing to do that at $17 million. So you're going to have to pay him $17 million plus. Like, if I'm Las Vegas, yes, you could show interest in Armstead. However, would you rather give, let's just say, $18 million per year to Armstead or Leonard Williams? Like, I would actually rather give it to Leonard Williams. Like, Williams plays a lot more snaps. He does a lot more of that kind of stuff. I expect you guys to count these, because I'm not going to. It's a good start here. I mean, real, this is going to take him 10 minutes to do. You know what the best part is? If we get one more $100 Super Chat, he's got to do a boot after this. 16, 17, 18, Which I don't know 18, if he knows that. 20, 21. Somebody randomly is going to tune into today's show and they're going to be like, I don't know what I just watched. 
30. But this is something to be interested in. My confidence level, though, is very high in Antonio Pierce. But realistically, though, I am going to invest my money if I can at the defensive tackle position in Christian Wilkins or Leonard Williams. That's where I'm going to go. 49, 50. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to break him down into some 50s. Break him, break him down into some 50s. That was the first 50. Jay! Oh, shit. Oh, Jermaine! Bang! Okay. F me. All right. Made some bad deals. You, I'll tell you what. Sometimes you learn, you live with some... You were going to regret some. Jay Durbin coming out to play. Jay uh, Durbin, his second bang oh, of God. the day. You UT right? Holmes said, use some panda subs. I might. I, I, might, might. I might go get a scoop. Of all time. Another 50. Here we go. You got it. You got it, man. Come on, Jeremy. Yeah, Urza, Urza Alvarado was like, yeah, I'll be honest. That was a terrible deal for Chugs. So we are live here, it's free agency, and every 250 likes, we gotta spin a wheel. Essentially what happened was Jeremy had to do jumping jacks. Then Jeremy made a deal on X amount of dollars that comes in, results in X amount of jumping jacks. Jeremy has 210 jumping jacks to do, which, I'll be honest, I didn't go to the gym this morning. Wouldn't mind having to do a few push-ups and jumping jacks myself. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. There we go. Woo. 100 down. Just think, when Josh McDaniels live was going on, you're at hour 13. Yeah. You're at, or maybe 12. <sighs> you got 210 to go. 100, yeah, 210 to go, or 110 to go. I, I will not do burpees from easy. There's no chance I'm doing burpees. We got 2,500 people Woo. here in the chat right now. How many people are subscribed to the Raiders report? When we do shows like this, this is where I, I actually really love doing these type of shows because not only do you get to know me a little bit better. Oh, wow. We just crossed 166. Oh, yeah. 166. Give yourself a round of applause there. That's a hell of a job. But I love these shows because you get to know me. You get to know Jeremy a little bit better because obviously when you're live for seven plus hours in one day, yeah, there's just there's a lot of time. There's some bonding that you get going on, like doing yeah. 200 jumping jacks. There or you go. Drinking a huge shot of Worcestershire. I'll tell you what, there is nothing. The fact that Jeremy has got two or three fireball shots. A Henny shot, a Worcestershire shot. It's just shot. all mixing now. It's oh, a, dude. It's like, you know, those concrete trucks where the back is just like yep. constantly turning. You know what it That's sounds like? That's my stomach like? right now. You know when you put too many towels in the dryer and it just sounds like, <laughs> 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 That's all I hear. That's, and Alex oh. is like, What's happening over there? All right, here, next 50. Next 50. Here we go. You got it. All right, back to this question. Best Raiders signing. Of all time, who do you think it is? The best Raider. I mean, there's so many that can go into this. Is it Rich Gannon? Is that is that the greatest Raider signing of all time? Honest question. 14, 15, 16, We got our boss, Brett, here 17, doing jumping jacks 18, as well. 19, 20, Jim Plunkett from one, Raider and PA. See, somebody said Jerry Rice. I don't really know if it is Jerry Rice. He said 29, 30. I one, mean, for what he did for the Raiders. Honestly, this is. Eight, nine. This is the content. You're going for it. He's going to go for it. Let's get some chugs down below. 60 more. 60 I, I, more. I think I just bust out the 60 the next one. I think okay, I just well, bust I've, out the 60. I've done 200 before, and it's not easy. Also, I'm feeling it right here. My got a, ribs. Got a new deal rolling in here. Offensive lineman Graham Glass now. He has agreed to a three-year. Oh, that's, that's from earlier. $20 million extension. That one is from earlier. $6.5 million guaranteed. Graham Glasgow was a player that I thought potentially could be somebody that the Raiders look at. But man, oh man, oh man. Oh boy. Also, if you want a chance to get in for 
some money. Yeah. $20 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365 Right now, $20 Venmo for a chance to win $80. But also, we are doing a special March Madness bracket. So I've always wanted to do this, and it's going to go like this. The first 64 people that Venmo me $50 you are going to be in our Raiders Report March Madness bracket. It's what does only that on mean? Venmo. Only on Venmo. Both of these deals. So what does that mean? Only means, on Venmo. It means this. It means that you're going to be in a March Madness bracket with Jeremy and I, and we're actually going to pick like the games that you see on TV. But also, what we're going to do is I am going to rank the people that get in this 50-50 or March Madness raffle. And we're going to go about, and it's going to be 1v1. And whoever can win the most, make their way to the title, you're going to be the March Madness champion. And if everybody gets in, you would win $1,600. $1,600. It's going to be 1v1. So right now the people that are in our March Madness bracket are Matthew Yoakum, Ira Jackson, Joshua Melton, Patrick B., Nathan Wolf. So let's just say Patrick B. is the number one seed because he's Mount Raidermore, right? And then he's going to go up against a 16 seed, which is not going to be Nathan Wolf. But then you go up against somebody, and then the winner of that race advances to the next round. So just like you would do a regular March Madness bracket, we're going to do this at the end of March or when the games actually start getting going. Uh, Armando Rodriguez says, Chugs needs a commercial break. I need one of those oxygen masks. You're, you're probably not wrong in that regard. You're probably not wrong in that. Now, I do see right now we got about 2,000 people that are watching the show right now. I do think Chugs needs a little bit more. All right. Last 60. The last 60. This is why you subscribe. And good news, if we get 100 more likes, the wheel, there could be a chance. Jeremy has to do more. Oh. <laughs> dude, I've already gotten. A, dude, I've done push-ups. I've done this. Killing it. I'll tell you what. I had to eat one jelly bean. Since then, I'm in the clear. I feel oh, good. All right. I feel pretty damn good. All right. VT Holmes says 2,000K family member right here. Wow. How long have you been subscribed to the Raiders Report? I would love to know that. All right. Last 60. Here we go. Oh boy. Let me actually. Let me get a. Let me get a question for y'all. All right. I don't know how long this is going to take me. I don't, to be honest, I don't really know either. Ryan Campbell is in. Ryan Campbell is in for both. Let me know. Best position group on the Raiders. Is it wide receiver? Right now, the, be the position group that I might be the most confident in probably is receiver. Could also make an argument for Edge. safety. I guess if you're doing edge by itself, because you have Max Crosby. Crosby and Kuntz is definitely up there, though. There's not as much depth. Like, I think that wide receiver is their, their deepest spot, because you got Jacoby, who's a top 25 receiver. You got Devontae, who is Devontae. But then you also have Trey Tucker that I expect a lot of big things from. All right. All right, wait a minute here. Big time move. The Vikings are signing Jonathan Grenard. Oh! The Vikings are signing edge rusher Jonathan Grenard. He had a hell of a year this past season with Houston. How are you feeling? I mean, he's a good player, but the hard thing is, is what's, what was going to be his value? Because he had I three agree. years where he was okay. This year he had a standout year, but it's like, how much do you weigh guys who perform in a contract year? Like Jacobs, a year prior, he performed. Yep. Amazing in a contract year, comes back the next year, isn't as good. So good on the Raiders for tagging him and not, I guess, signing him to a huge contract where he didn't really perform last year. Big facts, big facts right there. Rob Fraber, you in. Ryan Campbell, you in. And Jeremy, since you're still doing some of these jumping jacks, I'm just going to scream this one out loud. Ryan Campbell! Bang! All right, last 60. I've been, I've been pushing it off. You got it, bro. I've been pushing it off. Ryan Campbell, his 11th bang of the month. He is now in second place for our March Bang Race competition. I also think that I just got another entry in our March Madness bracket, and that is going to one man by the name of Scott Eckert. Scott Eckert. 
you in for our March Madness bracket. Also, I see Mo Shav is in for our duck race. As it stands right now, we got 2,000 people here. 60 likes 40, away 41, from 1,500. 44. Jay Durbin said Chugs has got to do a boot, and he's right. Chugs does have to do a boot. Let's go! And Jeremy will be back tomorrow here on. No, just kidding. What is up, my man? Ryan Campbell, I owe you a beer bong, bro. I owe you. A beer ball. Pass me the boot. You want my boot? Or should yeah, I can I can go get my boot. It's okay. You can I was gonna say, I have beer. I don't know if you want beer. I'll tell you this, after doing two hundred jumping jacks, the only thing I'm doing is happy dad. Oh, Tony Pollard to the Titans. Wow, we got some breaking news here. Tony Pollard is expected to sign with the Tennessee Titans. Holy cow. The, the contract numbers are not out yet, but I'll tell you what, the running back market is interesting already. Tony Pollard to the Tennessee Titans. I want to see the figures on this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, time out. Jordan Schultz is now reporting that he's expected to sign with the Texans. Yes. We got a source off. Timeout. Wait, we got Ari. Ari says that he's going to the Titans. I actually think that Aaron Wilson got it wrong in his tweet. Dude, I don't know. Aaron Wilson is saying that the Titans got him. Jordan Schultz is saying the Texans got him. How is this possible? How is this possible? I don't know who's got him. I don't know who's got him. Aaron Wilson said that Tony Pollard is expected to go to the Titans. Jordan Schultz is saying that Tony Pollard is going to go to the Texans. I don't know where he's going. I don't know. And Jordan Schultz corrects it. He's going to the Titans. I was going to say, I saw the right answer. Somebody said in the comments, I guess he's going to the Oilers. That might have been the right answer. It is officially official. Jordan Schultz corrects himself. And he is going to the Tennessee Titans. Tony Pollard to the Titans. And we are 40 likes away from another wheel spin, which if I was you, I'd be nervous about the wheel spins. I would be rather nervous. I would be rather nervous. Until they give me a reason not to be comp. Like, I didn't think that they were going to get Pollard. I didn't think DeAndre Swift was going to be an option. I do think that Jonathan Grenard is their Dan uh, Daniil Hunter replacement in Minnesota. That's definitely to be noted here. But... Correct. Yeah, we don't we don't know what the contract deals are yet. Yeah, yet to be announced. We don't know yet. Again, we're gonna be live all day today, y'all. So hopefully you can all hang out with us. If you want to get those questions, comments on the show, I do want to get some comments flowing here. So hashtag Raiders is the way to get your comments up here on screen. Whether it's a prediction, whether it's a question, if you just want to interact with us, hashtag Raiders. We're gonna put them up on screen. If you want to jump the line. Super chat to get up. Wow, it's a big deal here for Grenard. Four years, 76 million, 42 guaranteed. I mean, he's he's a good player. Would you rather them give 20 million to Daniil Hunter or that type of contract for Grenard? I like it, but that's a lot, dude. Yeah. Wow. Titans, Tony Pollard, three year deal. So another three year deal for another running back.
Four years, seventy-six million for Gennard going to the Minnesota Vikings. Oh my goodness! I uh, didn't have my mic on that whole time. That's all right. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Scott Eckert, you're in the duck race. $20 Venmo right now for a chance to win $120. We're going to do that one at the end of the show. <coughs> also, the first 50 people that get in our March Madness bracket, $50 Venmo there. We got seven names so far. Eckert, Campbell, Wolf, Patrick B., Joshua Melton, Ira Jackson, Matthew Yoakum. I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to get in this March Madness bracket. It's going to be a lot of fun. Winner gets $1,600. Winner gets 1600 bucks. That's uh, pretty damn good to me. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I do want the Raiders to get a deal done. Oh, man. And Jeremy Chuggs, the first boot of the day. It goes down silky smooth. Ugh. There's nothing like hydrating after 200 jumping jacks. Oh, God, I need to sit. I'm not going to lie. That was one of your most impressive boots I've ever oh. seen. 200 jumping jacks and you to crush a boot oh. like that, that's disturbing. Oh, God. That's I'm, disturbing in all the right ways. My stomach doesn't know how to feel. <laughs> I don't blame you. I, that was impressive. Tony Pollard, yes, officially to the Ugh. Titans. All right, Jeremy, let's get some questions flowing here on the show. I do see a super chat that just started to roll in from Sir Chai. I think what, did also John, John. John, yeah. How did you rate Crosby coming out of college? Wow, actually, real quick here. Uh, so the Titans, Tony Pollard, three year, twenty four million. So DeAndre Swift and Tony Pollard both got three years, twenty four million dollars. Very good news for Josh Jacobs and Saquon Barkley. The you, I'm curious what Derrick Henry gets Do you now. think the Titans saw the deal that the Bears gave and were like, we'll give you that deal? Maybe. I mean, would you rather have Tony Pollard or DeAndre Swift? Swift. I think Swift has proven more. Tony Pollard, he was good as the number two behind Zeke, but this year whenever they gave him, you know, the keys to the backfield, struggled. he wasn't it. Yeah, he struggled. No, I, I hear you. I'm kind of – I mean, to me, though, the Titans have been more of a power running team. I get it. That's behind Vrabel. That's not going to be the case anymore with Pollard. Like, yeah, I, I don't. You can't put Pollard in a power running type of scheme. But uh, how did I rate Crosby coming out of college? I will say during my 2019 NFL draft grades, the highest grade that I gave was Max Crosby. That I know for a <laughs> fact. He was the only player that I gave an A plus grade. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I knew Crosby was going to be what he was, but I knew that. He was going to be a player that worked his tail off, and he's continuously gotten better and better. But I will say, though, that he was my highest-graded player during that Raiders draft class. And the video's out there. You can go back and you can check it. What up, Sir Chai? If Telesco strikes out on free agency quarterbacks, again, I don't actually think they're going to bring in anybody. Yeah, I, I mean, the, only, the Raiders, I, I don't want them to sign a The only free agent today. option that you really have is Kirk Cousins, unless you think... Gardner Minshew bridge guy, but that not, would be I'm not giving 10 million plus. Like it would be it would be Minshew or Tannehill would be the other two. I would rather the Raiders roll with Aiden O'Connell at his contract than give Ryan Tannehill 15 million dollars per year. Yeah. Like um, the only option that you had in free agency was Russell Wilson. So now the fact that Wilson ends up going to the Pittsburgh Steelers, like to me it's draft or bust. Should we draft quarterbacks in the should we draft quarterbacks in the draft? Knicks or Penix? Rattler and McCarthy hope we can get Leonard Williams and Robert Hunt. Well, I would say that Robert Hunt at 17 mil or Leonard Williams at 17 mil, I would guess that they would probably be leaning more towards Leonard Williams in that regard. If I got to pick between Bo Nix and Michael Penix Jr., it's Michael Penix, and it's not close to me. <laughs> and then Rattler and McCarthy, I would rather the Raiders draft Spencer Rattler in round three than getting J.J. McCarthy in round one. Jeremy. I, I just got a message from the CEO, our boss, said, He's down to hit some push-ups if people are sending in money. Oh, boy. Push-ups for the boss man. He said $200, 20 push-ups, which I can't tell if he's serious. Yeah, tell him to give me a real offer. Spin the wheel. <laughs> deal or no deal. Spin that wheel. Let's get it going. $100 for 25 push-ups? I mean, that's up to him. Dude, you got to be effing me. 
Another one. <laughs> Dude. I'll, I'll be right back. What is going it. on? I'll be right back. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I am getting screwed. Oh. I'm just, I'm just beside myself. Let me know, should the Raiders trade up into the top three of the draft? Let me know, should the Raiders trade up into the top three of the draft? T for trade, P for pass. Dude, I am getting royally screwed. I see trade from Melissa, Jeffrey, Joel. I see game time, Rick, Justin, Jason, JC does it, all saying trade. I see some passes from Josh I, though, and from Scott. Okay, yeah. Better than the last one, in my opinion. I, I think, I don't know. I don't know how long that's been in there. There you go. Maybe a, maybe a smaller one that doesn't have a, the boot. I don't know. Well, also, I don't want to have to tongue that boot to get the, the sauce out. I see Michael. I see Jay all saying trade. Oh, my goodness. Getting heat from the office now. Uh, David Bakhtiari announced he has been released by the Green Bay Packers. Another left tackle out there and available in free agency now. David Bakhtiari. Oh, wait, what? I thought we were going barbecue. So, I'll tell you what I did. All right, so the barbecue sauce was a little thick. So, I had to put a shot of barbecue, and then I just topped it off with water. <laughs> that makes it <laughs> I didn't want it to get stuck. It's a little half and half. So it's like a BBQ H2O. A little BBQ H2O shot. I was like, this doesn't. This is watery. This doesn't look like barbecue. I, I put a splash of barbecue and a little bit of water. And then, not with my finger, with a straw. Oh. Mixed it up a little bit. I'll be real with you. I don't know how long <laughs> that barbecue sauce has been in there for. Could... Could not tell you how long it's been in there for. Have absolutely, positively. <coughs> Did you drink it? <laughs> oh. Is it bad? Do we have to throw away the barbecue sauce? I don't know. It's just like watery tomato. <laughs> watery tomato. I don't like that. No? I don't like that. Back to the Worcestershire? I, I hope it doesn't land on me again. I mean, at this point, I think that's the only thing that's going to happen. I, I'm hoping. David Bakhtiari has been released. Also, I see Rob Fravor said, you know what, Mitch? Put me in the March Madness bracket. Rob Fravor, you, sir, oh. are in. Question from Robert Jansen, hashtag Raiders. Do you think Caleb reportedly canceling Bears meeting means they take Daniels at one? I have not heard that he's. I'm just going to say, I have not heard this. Um, and if this would be the case, I know that our team would have covered it. So, to be real with you, I don't know who's putting this out there. I'm just not going to believe them. So, yeah. I, I, I tell you right now, if this is true, I feel like we would know. Yeah. And I just, this is the first time that I'm hearing about it. Taj Tears, with the Pats trading Mac Jones, is it, oh God. I just have to. I have it to looks like they are going to try pursuing Daniels. I actually don't agree with this. I, I mean, there's definitely a chance that they're going to take a quarterback, but I don't think that Daniels is the the lock that they're looking at. Like I said it before, and I'll say it again. Historically, and I know that the Patriots are a much different football team, but historically, New England has been a team that has really tried to predicate the middle of the field. Like they really concentrate on the middle of the field. Jaden Daniels' worst attribute that I see on film is his inability to throw in the middle of the field. Like, well, there's risk with every player. I get it. I, I don't know if they're a lock to take a QB. Like, I, I do not know. We'll see. We will see. Um, long snapper James Winchester going to the Chiefs. 
Mm. We talked about this a little earlier. Raider B-Dog wants to know, though, when will we cut Jimmy G? It has to be before the 13th. Um, it also has to be – there's like two different dates. So I know for a fact it has to be before March 17th, but – Technically, the new league year doesn't begin until the 13th. I would say that that's the day that Las Vegas is probably going to make a decision. Now, they could just decide to eat the money. That way, like you, you, could, you could cut Jimmy Garoppolo right away, okay? And you're going to have to eat $17 million in dead cap money. But you do get that 11.25 right away to spend. Or you can designate him as a post-June 1st cut. You save $24 million, and then all you have to do is eat that $4 million the following season. So, or this season, excuse me. I'll, I'll be curious to see what the Raiders decide to do. Kanan, thank you for the Super Chat. And if you're just joining us, here's our Super Chat menu for today. Every 250 likes, we spin the wheel of punishment for Chugs. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what it is at this uh, point. Every $10 you're entered in for a Raiders Report jersey raffle... We'll be doing that at the end of today's show. $50 shot ski, either depending on where we're at, either me and Mitch will both take a shot or we can go do it out of the shot ski we have up there that Allie Barefoot made for us. And every $100 is a beer bong. Not on here, but every $1,000 we get in total is another boot. Jake so. Ramiro said, Mitch, put me in our March Madness bracket. Nine people are in. Again, it's the first 64. We are doing a March Madness style bracket here on the Raiders Report. Eric, Jaden Daniels, and Josh Jacobs, or Justin Fields, and Derrick Henry both sound like it would be scary. I mean, if I got a pick out of that, I mean, it's Jaden Daniels and Josh Jacobs to me, and it's not close. Like, because the running backs are similar, don't get me wrong, in terms of overall value. But if I got to pick between Jaden Daniels or Justin Fields, I'm, I'm going to take Jaden Daniels. He's a better passer than Fields is right now. At least that's my personal opinion. But if I got to pick between that, I'm going to go Jaden and Josh because I think Josh is the better running back and I think Jaden's the better QB. Yeah, you're going to have to give up more and you're going to have to pay more. But if there is one position that I'm just tired of the mediocrity at, it's at the quarterback position. Yeah, The Raiders haven't had a legit top 10 quarterback. You haven't had a quarterback that legitimately gives you a chance to win a Super Bowl since 2016. Like, Derek Carr, and then what the hell we had last season, the Raiders haven't had good quarterback play, like legit quarterback play, since 2016. you got to be able to go out and get QB. Can't quit. We can't keep on just doing the exact same thing over and over again. It's yeah. why the Raiders have been mediocre. And you can't keep had... on using the same DFS app if you're not using prize picks because you're screwing yourself. You're screwing yourself if you're not using prize picks and using our link, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS, for a $100 deposit match. I mean, some people are like, you know what, Mitch? Screwing myself is not always a bad thing. I'll say this. I love prize picks because nobody wants to just be the guy that screws himself all the time. Yeah, you don't want to just be the self-screwer all time. All-time self-screwer. And I know that football season, it might be over, but the action on the floor, basketball, man, right now, it's really, really heating up. So what I want you to do is get in on the excitement with prize picks. It's America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your hoops knowledge into some serious cash. And if you're like me, I don't got a lot of hoops knowledge, luckily. Boom! A lot of my friends, though are very hoops knowledgeable. So what did I do? I went to pricepicks.com slash CLNS. I used code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100. And the picks that I have for NBA tonight, I went more with Luka Doncic at 33.5 points. Cade Cunningham, 24.5. You see that devil emoji? So that means it's a little bit extra in my demon pocket. Pick. Demon pick. And then you got Vassell. Vassell. Vassell? Vassell. Or Vassell. Now, now that... We said it a couple of different times. I don't. I don't know anymore. I mean, I might just call him Vaseline. Devin Vaseline here, getting the more. If this hits, I'm gonna be making some money tonight. If you want to go with my picks, go to PrizePicks.com/slash CLNS. I asked one of our NBA guys, "Yo, make me some money." This is what they carved up for me. So I'm gonna make some money tonight. If you guys want to as well, PrizePicks.com/slash CLNS. I like this question here. Best signing so far in free agency. I mean, 
realistically, the one that intrigues me the most, like honestly, is DeAndre Swift. Like that, like that move actually intrigues me the most. Like I, I find it more interesting. DeAndre Swift going to the Chicago Bears on a three-year, $24 million deal, that's more interesting to me personally than Tony Pollard, three years, 24 to the Titans. There's been some bigger deals, like Jonathan Grenard, bigger deal. Do we count Russell Wilson to the Steelers? Like, if you're Pittsburgh, that's a phenomenal deal for you. Yeah. you got a top 16 quarterback at one point. It comes out to be in like $1.3 million. I mean, the deal so far today, though, DeAndre Swift. Because yeah. I anticipate that they're going to take a quarterback at number one overall. So, to me, they went with a running back that they believe fits what, with what type of offense and which quarterback that they're going to go with. And, Tim, I see that you are asking about your Super Chat. For some reason, it's not pulling up on my uh, screen right here. But I do see what you asked. So, I'm just going to verbalize it. This is from Tim Phillips. He said, trying to be optimistic, but I can't kick the feeling that we are going to have to settle at, on a QB we really didn't want again this year. I hope not. And I, when you say settle on a QB again, to me, the only person that you're going to settle on is Aiden O'Connell. Like, if you're the Raiders and you miss, I mean, if you just miss that drastically in the draft, and if you have an entire offseason where you don't bring in a QB, I mean, it is. It is an organizational failure from Tom Telesco and, and from Antonio Pierce. Like, you cannot afford to go back to Aiden. Like, you can't afford to go back to Aiden O'Connell. It, it just simply cannot happen. I would rather the Raiders trade for Justin Fields than you go and roll out AOC again. I just hope that the Raiders don't sign some free agent quarterback that's just wasted money. Don't do it. Don't waste your money. You have Aiden. He can at least be a backup. Don't do something stupid. What up, Carlos? Just realize something. Odds on Jimmy G to the Pats. Oh, I don't know what team would ever I, bring in Garoppolo. I think that fan point. base would explode if they were like, actually, we're not taking quarterback number three. We're going Jimmy G. <laughs> I mean, Garoppolo is not a top 32 quarterback anymore either. So I he might go there as a backup. But why would you sign Jimmy Garoppolo to be a backup at this point? I mean, how much? I mean, once Jimmy gets cut by the Raiders, how much do you think he would get on the open market? Ah, uh, I don't think he gets a deal more than ten million. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would rather have Ryan Tannehill than Jimmy Garoppolo. I would rather have Drew Locke than Jimmy Garoppolo. I'd rather have Aiden O'Connell than Jimmy G. Like Jimmy G. His, his days of getting contracts, I think, are very, very much in the past. What's up, Cloud? So shout out to Cloud. Cloud was actually the very first person when I scheduled this video last night was the first person to comment. So shout out to Cloud. When will we sign someone? Have you heard anything? No. I remember last year, I'm pretty sure the first two days of free agency last year, I don't think the Raiders did anything. Now, that was McDaniels. That was Ziegler. It was a bunch. It was a different regime. We'll see. Uh, the way that today is going to go is you're going to have to be patient. There's going to be a lot of stuff that happens in the NFL, and news is going to continue to roll in, and we're going to be here live with you, kind of breaking down everything with you. All right, I do see uh, we've got a deal here. The Bengals, they just re-signed tight end Drew Sample, I want to say. Drew okay. Sample to a three-year contract extension through the 2026 season. That's coming in from Adam Schefter. <laughs> Literally, we're watching NFL Network to see, like, what's going on. It's just a screen with all four guys looking at their phone. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> – I think everyone's just trying to stay up to date right now and break news instead of talk on screen. Let, let me know. Who's an overrated free agent that's out there right now? Jason E.B., you in for our March Madness bracket. Mo Shav, you in for our March it, Madness bracket. Maybe not overrated, but might get paid a little bit too much. I – Interestingly enough, you know, Christian Wilkins rumored to be a, a hot commodity at defensive tackle, especially with the deals thought, that went through recently. I thought that he was going to go for 20. He might get closer to 25. And that's what I'm saying. Like, overrated, if you're, if you're getting a guy like Christian Wilkins, but you have to pay him $27 million a year, is that an overrate for Christian Wilkins? Is that kind of giving too much to that guy at, at defensive tackle? 
Again, like I would rather the Raiders overpay for Wilkins. And this is another guy, another guy who I see from Davey, who I think is a little is being a little bit overrated out there, is Patrick Queen. For the amount of money that he's going to get, don't get me wrong, Patrick Queen's a good linebacker, but are we, we're quick to forget the Ravens traded for Roquan Smith to replace Patrick Queen. They thought Roquan Smith was that much better than Patrick Queen that they traded for him and gave him a massive deal and are probably not going to bring back Patrick Queen. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the figures that I'm hearing for Patrick Queen that people are throwing out there that he could get, I wouldn't want my team to do that. Yeah. Like two, like that much. Don't get me wrong. I think linebacker is now starting to be a little bit more of an important position because you're seeing the need for linebackers to be able to kind of be that safety linebacker hybrid and cover running backs and tight ends and needing needing to be super athletic. But if you sign a guy like Robert Spillane for the deal that the Raiders got last season or Patrick Queen at $15, $18 million a year, I'm going Spillane all day. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I mean, Robert Spillane showed last season that he is one of the best linebackers in the NFL, and the Raiders got him in an absolute steal. I want the Raiders, if there was two players that I would try to give a contract extension to right now, Spillane would be one of those names. Also, Malcolm Koontz. Um, yeah. The Raiders are going to have some tough decisions to make even next offseason because both Merrick and Epps are both going to be free agents. Uh, Nate Hobbs is another name to try to keep in mind there that you could potentially have hit the open market. So Raiders have a lot of young players that if you wanted to give contract extensions to, could, uh, could absolutely be the case. Let's go to Tyler Lewis, J.J. McCarthy time. If Jaden is gone, of course, I don't want that. I, I do not think J.J. is a good quarterback. I would be extremely upset if the Raiders decided to roll with McCarthy. Uh, we do have some contract details, and I don't mean to pat myself on the back here, but we got it exactly right on Amir Abdullah. Amir Abdullah signed a one-year, $1.85 million deal. On my video, when the Raiders announced that they were bringing back Amir, I said that it's probably going to be between $1.52 million, and I'm, I even said $1.8 would be my guess. So we do have the official contract details out on Amir Abdullah, and they are one year, $1.85 million with eight hundred and fifty dollars guaranteed, three hundred dollars at signing bonus, and then fifteen dollars per game active roster bonus, up to 250 k playtime incentive. So he can make an extra 250 depending on how much he plays this upcoming season for the Raiders. But the Raiders, again, contract details out on Amir Abdullah, who they brought back on Friday, $1.85 million deal for Amir Abdullah. That one just came out. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Again, J.J. McCarthy time if Jaden is gone, of course. I'm not a J.J. guy, not which... I, I, the Raiders would be dumb. Like, I don't care where the Raiders are in the first round. I'm not taking J.J. McCarthy. Yeah. I, and I'm going to die on that hill. I, I've watched the tape on him. I don't see what people see, why people think he's going to go. If you told me McCarthy ends up going before Jaden Daniels, I will be unbelievably happy. Luis, if we don't get Daniels, I want Sam Howell. How do you feel about that? Don't I mean, love this it. is a last-ditch resort. This is... You struck out in free agency, which you kind of already did. You didn't get anybody. Not struck, struck out, but you missed out. You oh. missed out on the draft. Maybe people jump you and all the quarterbacks go early that you like. The, obviously, the top three. Maybe J.J. goes in the top ten. And then maybe Penix or Knicks. You yeah. don't want him at 13 and he gets taken late in the first. Like, All right, here's my question of the nation. <clears throat> Who's a better quarterback, Sam Howell or... Aiden O'Connell. Sam Howell. Type SH for Sam Howell or AOC. Better quarterback, Sam Howell or Aiden O'Connell? Because I do think the importance of this question is, if you're the Raiders, you have to be able to improve at the quarterback position. So do you think Howell would be an improvement? Or is Aiden already the better quarterback? We do have uh, an update here. Josina says, my understanding is the Cowboys are not currently expected to be at the top of the running back market compensation-wise in free agency. There was some speculation of maybe Derrick Henry could go to Dallas. Josina is saying that she doesn't believe that that's going to be very happy. Um, That's not likely to happen. Yeah, that Henry's not likely to go to the Dallas yeah. Cowboys. Better quarterback, Sam Howell or Aiden O'Connell? You said Howell. Sam Howell. Yeah. I, Sam I, Howell. He, if you break his season up into two like halfway points... 
The first half of the year, he played really well. Yeah. Second half of the year, he sucked. I mean, I think it was four touchdowns to 12 interceptions in the second half of the year. And, I mean, at, at certain points, he looked good. But um, it's just he had the worst offensive line around him as well. The Commanders are not bringing back almost any of their offensive linemen. They They're going to the replace mo- the entire O-line. Yep. So he was the most sacked quarterback last year. He had some decent weapons. I mean, you can't lie. Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel. I thought not obviously a top five, top ten unit, but good. But he at least played decently with that awful offensive line where we, we always talk about people shit on the Raiders O-line last year. Statistically, they were top 15. Yeah. And O'Connell, especially against the Chargers in some other games, really did not look good behind that offensive line. Well, no, I mean, I agree. I mean, to me, this one, again, is honestly not all that close. I think it's Sam Howell over Aiden O'Connell. And I know that some people, I see somebody, Aiden O'Connell beat Patrick Mahomes last season. Anybody that's saying Aiden O'Connell beat Patrick Mahomes last season, I mean, I just, he didn't complete a pass in the final three quarters. Like, I'll say I, this. And, if, and, and I'm, not, I'm not glazing him. I'm just saying He's better than AOC. Oh, I said I literally no. said Howell would be a last ditch effort. I don't think. Yeah, he's I mean, a, it would be a bad idea for the Raiders if they brought in Sam Howell. And they're like, this is the quarterback that we're going to go with. Do I view Howell as an upgrade over Aiden O'Connell? Yes, I think of course I do. And I know that some people want to still stick with AOC, but again, I mean, people who want AOC that badly sound like the girls who are like, I can change him. I know he's a chain smoker, alcoholic who doesn't have a job, but. If maybe I date him for one more year, <laughs> yeah. he can turn his whole life around. No, I agree. And I, I thought it would be a fun question to ask, but again, I'm going to go with Sam Howell over Aiden O'Connell. I wouldn't want either of those. <laughs> JC does it. Give me Iguadala. Iguadala. Also, we got some breaking news here. Lloyd Cushenberry is expected to sign with the Tennessee Titans. Okay. So Cushenberry, also Brandon Jones. Signing with the Denver Broncos, three-year, $20 million deal at safety. Wait, who is? Free agent safety Brandon Jones signing a three-year, $20 million deal with Denver. Interesting. I find that very interesting. So you from, decide from to move the, on from Justin Simmons. Brandon Jones, the guy from the Dolphins, I believe. I mean. Let me, let me double check that. Well, no. But why? Yeah, he's from the Dolphins. But, but why are you investing that much money and not keeping Justin Simmons? Yeah. Like, I think that's a weird move. By I mean, I love it. I'm happy. I think it's a dumb move by Denver. I, they get the I ver- think you could have gotten more bang for your buck with other guys, too. Like, have – I mean, the other guy from Miami, Deshaun Elliott, I think you could have possibly gotten him. I liked him better than Brandon Jones, and I think you could have gotten him for the same deal. This is uh this is an overpay to me. Gannon, Janish, sign Wilkins, sign Awuzie, trade up for Daniels, extend Coons and Spillane, sign Gus Edwards. Sounds like Raiders Christmas. Thoughts on Edwards? I I'm probably good on Gus Edwards. Like to me, you already have a bruising back in Zamir White. Like, yes, Edwards had like 14 plus rushing touchdowns last season, but I do think that that has a lot more to do with the Baltimore Ravens and their running game when plus when you have a mobile quarterback like Lamar. Lamar's always option A. Like, that's worry number one, and then you can hand it off to Gus. Gus is an interesting goal linebacker, but again, like, if you're the Raiders, you should probably just try to... I would rather you draft a running back than give Gus Edwards $4 million per year. Everything else, though, I I do think sounds pretty damn good to me, but you still got to be able to figure out your quarterback position. Trading up for Jaden Daniels is there. I'm also not as high on Cheetah Bay Awuzie, like... I would say I'd rather you go get a Dory Jackson. I would rather the Raiders go Shinobi, get Shadobi Awuzi. Um, go get a, a Xavier Howard or maybe a Kendall Fuller. Cheetah Bay, since he had that ACL tear a few years ago, he he hasn't been the same player. Like he he really truly has not been. Uh, I don't know if this has been new or news. We got Vikings re-sign Blake Brandle and David Questenberry. Yeah, that that just happened right before Cushenberry. Okay, sounds good. Um, Real Cowboy 307 Chugs, can you hold it down here? I'm actually going to go take my first leak ah, of the day. I know. What's what, what? What are we? Maybe not a shot clock, but what, what's the deal we got going? All right, how about this? Let's uh, let's you, do. You can maybe grab a quick Dilla. I'll grab a quick Dilla. Let's let's do shot clock. Let's do shot clock. Let's do every 20 that comes in while I'm gone. I'll do a shot. Oh All wait, right. man, this is pretty big. Free agent defensive tackle Dorrance Armstrong. 
is close to a deal with the Commanders. Following uh, defensive coordinator Dan Quinn to the commies. Reuniting with Dan Quinn. I like it. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go take a quick pee. All right, use hashtag Raiders or Super Chat to get your questions in. I'll be answering those. Maybe have a couple more different questions lined up for you. But if you want to get on the program, use hashtag Raiders or Super Chat to get in. This one coming in from Real Cowboy. Putting McCarthy in the same division as his college head coach does not make much sense. Plus, he is overrated. I think it's a little overblown to say, like, oh, McCarthy going in the same division as Harbaugh. Like, Harbaugh doesn't have his kryptonite unless he knows a glaring weakness in his game that it cannot be fixed at all. Like, he has a hitch in his throw. I don't know. Like, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal if McCarthy goes up against Harbaugh. I don't think, it'll, like, he'll have an insane leg up on him. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But I, I don't know where I sit on McCarthy either because he wasn't asked a lot to, like, he wasn't asked to do a lot at Michigan, but he won a lot. He made a lot of good plays. The arm talent is there. He's young. Obviously, people rave as, as him being a good leader, so I don't know. He's in that next tier with Pe uh, Phoenix. I just don't know who I want. Who, let, let me know. I see Phoenix over JJ in the chat. Who do you think is better, JJ McCarthy or Michael Phoenix? Let me know down in the chat right now. Type JJ for JJ McCarthy, MP for Michael Penix. Let me know. Who do you think is better out of those two? Because I think it's the top three, and then the fourth guy is between those two. I, I'm not a Bo Nix guy. I'm not a Bo Nix believer. But let me know. Uh, no, yeah, Dorrance Armstrong. Details to be announced, but looks like he's heading to Washington. And Gabe Davis, wide receiver off the board as well. He's going down to Jacksonville. Gabe Davis. Wide receiver, looks like he's going down to Jacksonville. I see a lot of MPs. Michael Penix, Michael Penix, only a couple JJs. Mostly Penixes in the chat. Don't hate it. Jersey Boy Greaser, time to trade Renfro to the Saints with Michael Thomas gone. That number 13 is open. He's not wrong, but I don't know what, the, knowing that the Raiders are probably going to release um, Renfro, I don't know if the Saints trade for him. I mean, what, 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 what do you trade for him? A seventh round pick? There's not a lot of value in that, in my opinion. I don't see a trade happening. I think it's more likely that they sign Renfro after the Raiders release him. But I mean, of course, if they're willing to trade, the Raiders would be dumb not to. JC does it, says, world on the line. The Martians come down with the laser beam. I want Iguadala. Nathan Wolf, $10 Super Chat, you're in for our Raiders Report jersey at the end of the day. Not to beat a dead horse, but I'm on the same page as you about AOC. He did better than expected in a game controller, but not a starter. Yeah, I, I don't hate AOC, you know, without everything that you heard, obviously. It sounds like all I do is bash him. I don't think he's a horrible option. Raiders are going to keep him, at least have him battle whoever is out there for the quarterback to start the year, I just don't believe that he's going to develop into a guy that can win you a Super Bowl. And at the end of the day, when you're an NFL organization, when you're a team, that's the main goal. You're trying to win a Super Bowl. Close your eyes right now. If you're at home, close your eyes. Could you picture Aiden O'Connell hoisting Le the Lombardi Trophy? Could you realistically in your mind say AOC can get us a Lombardi, can win the Super Bowl? If the answer is no. Then you haven't ha found your guy. He's not the guy for the team because the end goal is to win the Super Bowl. Not win the division, not make the playoffs. You're trying to win a Super Bowl. If you close your eyes and you can't picture Aiden O'Connell hoisting the Lombardi trophy for the silver and black, why do you want to keep him? Why do you want to extend it another year? Close your eyes right now. Could you even picture Aiden O'Connell with a Super Bowl trophy in his hands with the confetti coming down? He's not a confetti guy. I just, I don't think he is. Jeremy says if Flacco can do it, AOC can. I think Flacco was a little bit better than AOC. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. JC does it. Sign Wilkins, draft Harry and Arnold, draft Phoenix, round two. I wonder if he'll fall to round two. 
Brader Devlin says, I can't even imagine AOC winning the division. <laughs> yeah. I Tough because you have Patrick Mahomes there. So it's like you got to find a guy that can compete with Patrick Mahomes. If you're rolling out AOC against Patrick Mahomes year in, year out, you're likely not winning that. You got to have an insane team around him if that's the case. Absolutely insane team around him. My question with now, now we see Dorrance Armstrong off the board, a defensive end edge, defensive tackle type guy. Where would you rank Max Crosby, the Raiders edge rusher? Is he number one in the league? Is he top three, top five? Where would you rank Max Crosby? We've got some breaking news rolling in here, not around the Raiders, but the Jacksonville Jaguars are signing wide receiver Gabe Davis. Three-year deal. Three-year deal. Wow. I actually was really worried he was going to go to Kansas City. That All the rumors this morning were the Chiefs were very interested in Gabriel Davis. I was very worried. I'm really interested to see when his contract details come out of how much they're paying him a year because that could be the killing point of Jacksonville's been willing to pay mid-tier receivers Top tier money. money. Christian Kirk, he was one of the highest paid receivers in that free agency he class. He ended up getting three for 84. They gave Zay Jones like three for 33. They're, they're the kings of paying middle tier guys top tier money. Yeah. Now, you're not wrong there. I mean, it has not worked out well for Jacksonville, um, which a lot of blame goes on Trevor Lawrence. But, like, you're right. Like, the receivers that they've added have not been – I mean, even just a few years ago, I remember when they – Signed uh, Rayshon Jenkins. He's a free safety, three-year, 42 mil. I was like, holy overpay. Now, I get it. Sometimes people got the extra money to go out and spend, but, man, I don't know. Quick question before we continue. Also, so, I see uh, no shots. Luckily, I, I get oh, off. Yeah, no, no shots. Scott Free. Scott Free. What do you got for me? Quick question. How many people do we have in our 50-50 raffle? There's 2,600 people watching right now. Winner gets half the pot. Where are we sitting at right now? Because initially I said I wanted to do it at 100, but I'm, I'm starting to feel the itch to get, get a duck race going. Where are we sitting at? Uh, right now it would be $20 Venmo to win $130. Okay, so we got 13 people in right now. Got 13 people in. Do we, say, do we drop that number down to 25 or 50? Once we get 25 or 50 people in, we get it going. All right, what time is it right now? It is – how about this? How about at – Let's let's do it in, I don't know, 1 o'clock, so 40 minutes. We'll do our first race. 40 minutes, we'll do our first duck race. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Christian Wilkins to the Raiders! Oh! Christian Wilkins to the Raiders! Let's go! Here we freaking go! Christian Wilkins, welcome to the Las Vegas Raiders. If you're ready to turn up, pull up right now. The Raiders have just signed Christian Wilkins to a four-year, $110 million Woo! contract with $84.75 million guaranteed. Let's go, AP. Let's go. Let's go to let's go, Christian Wilkins. You are a Raider. Can I get a Raiders? Mitch, Let's go. You owe a boot. I do owe a boot. Let's freaking go. Four years, $110 million. Christian Wilkins is a Raider. If you're excited about this move, go down and spam LV. Let's go. Holy cow! Let's freaking ride, man! Christian Wilkins is a Raider! Let's go! Josh I! Christian Wilkins is a Raider! Let it freaking ride, Josh man! Josh! I! Bang! All right, give me one moment. I'm about to move a couple graphics over four, for Wilkins. Four years, 
110. Oh my goodness. That's the big news, man. That's the big news that we needed. The Las Vegas Raiders are signing Christian Wilkins. Four years, 110 million. Let's turn up, man. All right, here we go. Let's turn up, man. I see Josh I. This one's going out to Josh I. Lost in Tynes. This one's going out to Lost in Tynes as Dude, well. Ch title change? Yes. Get Wilkins in the title. Coming up, we're about to do breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have just signed Christian Wilkins. We're going to tell you everything that you need to know, but this is a phenomenal deal by Las Vegas. You finally get your big guy on the interior. He's going to be a great dude to be able to pair next to Max Crosby. It's going to take some help also some pressure away from Tyree Wilson. It's also going to take some pressure away from Malcolm Kuntz. But now you have a guy who has connections with Patrick Graham. Remember, Patrick Graham was the defensive coordinator with the Miami Dolphins back in 2019. Wilkins was on that team. Wilkins also has ties with Rob Leonard. Rob Leonard was previously with the Miami Dolphins. My number one free agent target that I wanted the Raiders to get was Christian Wilkins. I don't know if we bagged to it, but let's go! Lost in tides! Bang! All right, coming up here in a moment, right after Mitch does this beer bong, I say you do the boot after we do the cut. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do a quick cut around Christian Wilkins. All we need is just a little bit of time. Here we go. Wilkins is now the third highest paid defensive tackle uh, behind Jones and Donald. Correct. Christian Wilkins. To the Raiders, man. Oh, my. Christian. I, I literally, I'm at a loss for words. Christian Wilkins to the Raiders. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm super proud right now. Super proud of Antonio Pierce, Tom Telesco. For doing what they needed to do. Don't get me wrong. You're paying a heavy premium right now. Four-year, $110 million. that makes Wilkins, and I mean Wilkins, the, I want to say, third highest paid defensive tackle behind Chris Jones, excuse me, behind a guy like Aaron Donald. Then it's Wilkins, but the fit that Wilkins is going to have in this Raiders defense, I mean, you can't match, you can't match the type of comp competitiveness he's going to bring. Anybody that watched Hard Knocks, he's a great dude to be able to have in the locker room, a competitive monster. But again, has ties. And now finally, you got a defensive front. Like, good luck going up against Max Crosby, Christian Wilkins, Tyree Wilson, and now Malcolm Kuntz, baby. I'm telling you what. You wanted a slam dunk move. You wanted the Raiders to get aggressive. And don't get much more aggressive than this. This is right now the Raiders winning free agency. And I'll say this. $500 during the cut, I'll do a boot with you. Yeah. Every yeah, five hundo, we enough. will be doing a boot. Every five hundo, I'm doing a boot. F it. Let's get wild, man. I was sitting here waiting for something crazy to go down. Christian Wilkins, welcome to the Raiders, man. Welcome to the Raiders. I'm a happy dude right now. I'm a happy, happy dude. If you haven't clicked that like button, make sure you smash that like button right now. Coming up here on the show, we're going to get into everything, and I mean everything that there is to know around the Raiders and around Christian Wilkins. What I want to know from you, though, what's your one-word reaction to the silver and black signing Wilkins to a four-year, $110 million contract with $84.75 million guaranteed? Wow, oh wow, oh wow. Great freaking job, Telesco. Great freaking job, AP. I see Michael Gomez said bang. Oh, I'm ready to bang right now. What up, King? He goes, wow. Raider Trav says to let's go. Jimmy Hall screaming bang. Jalen Ramsey just tweeted, Christian and Max about to go crazy. We do have a contract update, though, here from Wilkins. It is a... $27 million per year. Wow. 
$27 million per year. They get Max Crosby a running mate. We got over 3,000 people here right now. If you're happy that the Raiders just signed Christian Wilkins, smash that like button right now. Coming up, let's get into this cut here around the Raiders signing Christian Wilkins. Raider Nation, smash that like button. We got Christian Wilkins. He just signed a four-year, $110 million deal with $84.75 million guaranteed. Wilkins is going to be making $27 million per year. He is now the third highest paid defensive tackle in the National Football League behind only Chris Jones and Aaron Donald. We have been sitting up here saying the Raiders need to add a big name DT. The number one person on my free agency plan when I woke up this morning was was Christian Wilkins. Tom Telesco, Antonio Pierce. Y'all deserve a round of applause. Spam AP, spam Telesco down below. But this is why you subscribe to the Raiders Report. We have been live now for over two hours sitting here waiting for the Raiders to make a big time splash of a move. And what did they do? They went out, they got aggressive. And don't get me wrong, they paid a lot of money for Wilkins. But this was the number one need. We have needed a defensive tackle for a long time. But this is why you subscribe to the Raiders Report. We're going to be live all day today. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I got that commitment to excellence, and I hope that you do too. But to make sure that you never miss anything going on around the silver and black, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, because man, oh man, when shit like this happens, we ball. And if you're not watching this show live, you better pull up right now, because shit's about to get nuts when you look at the highest paid interior defensive linemen so defensive tackles if you will it is as you can see Chris Jen Wilkins at 27.5 million per year then you see Quentin Williams Jeffrey Simmons Deron Payne Justin Matabuke Dexter Lawrence DeForest Buckner and Javon Hargrave I will be curious to see how the contract does end up getting broken up for Wilkins with the Raiders, but the reason why that I love this deal is because you're now tying Wilkins essentially with Max Crosby. One of the players that I thought could get a potential contract restructure was Crosby. And if you're Mad Max, you've been sitting here begging Las Vegas, to, hey man, can I finally get some help here on the interior? Can I get some help so I'm not always the double team guy, the concentration? Well, now Max Crosby's got his wish. Max is going to get more one-on-ones than he's ever had his entire life. And yes, you are paying a pretty, pretty penny. But I want to know from everybody out there, A, B, C, D, or F, grade the signing of Wilkins joining the Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. I want you to scroll on down. You're about to get hit with the YouTube bad break. After it, I'm going to give you my answer. It's an A grade, man. You address a major, major need. You get arguably the best player in free agency that was not named Chris Jones. And obviously with Chris Jones going back to Kansas City, you need to be able to counter with one of your punches of your own. Wilkins's ties run deep with this Raiders coaching staff. So not only are you adding arguably the best player on free agency when today started, not only are you addressing the Raiders' top need, yes, you are giving him a lot of money, but he has ties with Patrick Graham. Wilkins, back in 2019, was on, obviously, the Miami Dolphins when Patrick Graham was the defensive coordinator. Rob Leonard, the Raiders' defensive line coach, his connections run deep with Christian Wilkins. And then when you watch Hard Knocks, go back, and I want you all to do, here's your homework assignment. Watch Hard Knocks this past year with the Miami Dolphins and just see how awesome of a locker room dude Wilkins is. He's a competitor. He's a fiery human being, and he is going to help out this man a lot. And I'm telling you all right now, Max Crosby is going to be the NFL Defensive Player of the Year because of this signing alone here with Wilkins. Because you can't just look at what Wilkins is going to be able to provide from his own stat sheet. Wilkins is going to be able to go out there, eat up a lot of double teams, and he's going to free up people like Max. Like, Max is going to get more one-on-ones than he's ever had before in his entire career. If you do count on putting Tyree Wilson back on the interior as well, Tyree Wilson's going to get one-on-ones next to Christian Wilkins. That makes his job a whole lot easier. Like, if I'm the Raiders, if, if I'm Las Vegas, I'll put Max on one side, Tyree Wilson here, Christian Wilkins here, and then Malcolm Coots over here. And then all you got to do is bring four. You're going to get pressure with bringing just four people now, which is perfect for what Patrick Graham wants to implement. Max Crosby's going to ball. I hope y'all are ready. Put your money right now on Crosby winning Defensive Player of the Year because it is going to happen. Coming up next here on the Raiders Report, we're going to get into more around Christian Wilkins signing a major blockbuster type of deal with the Las Vegas Raiders. And 
If you haven't seen already, we're live, we're ready, and we're balling here. Shout out to today's sponsor, Price Picks. Price Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app out there. And if you're looking for a $100 deposit match, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and make sure that you use code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Now, for me, testing my skills on prize picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. If you want even more excitement, I get it. Don't get me wrong. Football season, it has just ended. But you can get started with college basketball, NBA, hockey, all the good stuff tied into that. So what I want you to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Make sure that you use code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. My picks for tonight's NBA games are as follows. I asked one of our NBA guys here at Chat Sports, and they said this is a guaranteed moneymaker. You know what else is a guaranteed moneymaker? Christian Wilkins signing with the Las Vegas Raiders. Let's look at some of these numbers here from the big guy over the past four seasons. 65 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, nine sacks, two PBUs. Now, I'm telling you right now, if you would ask me, Mitch, when you woke up this morning, who is the number one player that you were hoping that the Raiders were going to get? His name is Christian Wilkins because of what he's going to be able to provide on the interior for this Raiders defense and how that's just going to honestly be a trickling down effect throughout just the rest of this Raiders defense. I mean, you want to talk about Antonio Pierce putting his balls on the table, going balls to the wall, making something happen. You want to talk about Tom Telesco hearing all of your concerns and saying, all right, let's go make it happen. This is a team that believes that in order for them to be a AFC contender, you need to be able to win in the trenches. And right now, the Raiders, when they re-sign Andre James to a three-year, $24 million deal, the next move that they make, the big splash that they make in free agency, is Christian Wilkins. Four years, $110 million at $27.5 million per year from top to bottom. The Raiders are showing you, if we're going to have this bad boy mantra, if we're going to try to be this old-school Raiders team, if we're going to try to act and talk like we're going to be the Pistons going up against Michael Jordan and Patrick Mahomes, then you need to be able to win in the trenches. You need to be able to be that tough team. When teams go up against you, you're like, oh man, we're gonna, it's gonna be a week going up against the Raiders. And that's what they're showing you. Yes, you were able to bring back Amir Abdul on a one year, $1.85 million deal. You got Andre James. You are building in the trenches. Good luck. Good luck going up against Tyree Wilson, Christian Wilkins, Max Crosby, and Malcolm Coons. You thought the defense was great last season. We're about to turn it up even to a whole nother level. But I am live right now. I am watching some of the comments that are coming in. I'm also on social media. And my legitimate, honest question to you is this. With Wilkins getting the deal that he did, did the Raiders overpay for Christian Wilkins? Give me a yes or I want you to give me a no. What are your honest thoughts around Wilkins getting the deal that he did? Yes or no down below, because for me, I'm looking at a 28-year-old man who's getting a four-year deal, so he's about to hit free agency at 33 years old. So you're going to give him at 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, might even trickle in there as well. Honestly, do I think it is a little bit of an overpay? Sure, but it's a good overpay. Like, you can allocate money and have it be an overpay and still have it be a very, very good deal. Like, to me... This is the Raiders looking at, all right, Chris Jones going back to Kansas City for five more years. We can't just sit around and not have our answer at defensive tackle either. So the Raiders, instead of just talking about it, they were about it and actions speak louder than words. They addressed the interior. And even though, yes, it is a little bit of an overpay, there is no other player in the NFL free agency that I would have rather the Raiders overspend on. Like four years, $110 million. $27 million and a half. The Raiders are showing you where their concentration is, and they are showing you with a move like this that they're in win now mode. They know Antonio Pierce Telesco know that their leash is not a very long leash. And if you want to be able to compete in the NFL, that you're going to have to go out there and you're going to have to win right away. This is a win now type of move. If anybody out there thought, hey man, maybe the Raiders just try to build this year and go for it next year, you do not sign Christian Wilkins unless. You are legitimately trying to win a Super Bowl, and you are legitimately trying to win now. If you didn't have confidence in AP and Telesco before, I don't know what to tell you because this is the most confidence that I have had in a Raiders regime in a long time because 
not only do they understand that sometimes you got to make moves, even if you got to spend a little bit of money, but addressing big time needs and going out and getting players results in W's. And this is a big time W for Las Vegas. Now, to keep up to date on all things going on around the Raiders, I'm going to be posting updates on IG. I'm going to be posting updates on Twitter as well. Make sure you give me a follow at MitchellRens365 because here's the thing. There are so many updates coming in time and time again. And if you watch this in an hour, two hours from now, three hours from now, four hours from now, we're still going to be live here on the Raiders Report. I am going to be here today until 7 p.m. Eastern time. If the Raiders sign somebody at 6.59 Eastern time, well, then you got me for even longer. I promise you, you're not going to find another channel out there that keeps you up to date the way that we do. So if y'all are ready to ball, y'all are ready to party here on the Raiders Report, pull up right now because I'm telling you, shit is about to get nuts. The Las Vegas Raiders, they just signed Christian Wilkins. And if you're ready to party, let's freaking party. Let's freaking go, Chugs. One word reaction to the Raiders signing. Let's go. Christian Wilkins. I got you when inevitably comes. Oh, yeah. One word reaction to the Raiders signing hey, Wilkins. If you Everyone, would, Hundo, I'm doing a beer bong. Everyone, hundred a beer bong. 500 for a boot? 500 for a boot. I'm in. I am freaking in, How much in, for man. a boof? Oh, man. Boof? I don't know. Also, Gabe Davis, three-year, 39 mil. That's a lot of money for Gabe Davis. It's an overspend. First week of chemo, and this is awesome news. Wow. Well, first off, man, if uh, you ever need a place to vent, if you ever need a place to go to to take your mind off of some difficult things happening, uh, I hope that you look at the Raiders board here as that, that, uh, that olive branch, if you will. Chemo's a, a, a bitch. I'm not going to even twist it to you lightly. I've had a, many of my family members, a lot of friends deal with it, but I promise you this. Just keep on believing, keep pushing forward, and uh, hopefully this, this news Powers you through a tough day, man. Let's go to Raider Nation Adventures with Jay Sino. What's up, my man? Defense also, is starting to come together. You're in. Also, yes, you are in. Every $10, you're entered in for a chance to win a Raiders Report jersey at the end of today's stream. Fluhi, you're in twice for our 50-50 raffle. Matt Fluhi in again for our March Madness bracket. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we are doing a March Madness bracket here on the Raiders Port. The first 64 people that send in a $50 Venmo, you're going to be in a March Madness-style bracket tournament. Winner is going to get $1,600 on this show. Val Savage with the 20-piece. He's from my hometown, Springfield, Massachusetts. Is that in Massachusetts, right? Yep. Raiders! Let's freaking ride, schluck. Shooch is in. Luis Avina is if, in. If you want to get on the show right now, hashtag Raiders or Super Chat. We're talking about Christian Wilkins and Martin his signing. Martin Elizondo in. I mean, this is the biggest signing of the day. You're not going to find a bigger move than this right now. I mean, this is the Raiders showing you that, hey, man, we're going balls to the wall today. We're going balls to the wall today. Davis Rodriguez, Tom Telesco keeping his word. Love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I mean, you have to be able to respect the fact that Tom Telesco stood to his word. I mean, we couldn't trust anything McDaniel said. Realistically, you couldn't trust anything even Ziegler said. They said that they were going to build in the trenches. They said that they were going to be more aggressive in free agency. And you know what, damn it, that's exactly what they did. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, man. What a day. Wrong way. My confidence just got a boost. I asked this, I feel like I asked this right before, maybe like 10 minutes before the signing happened. What's your confidence level now in AP and Telesco? Scale it one to ten. Sky high. It... Yep. Sky <laughs> high. So before that signing, the Raiders were somewhere around, I want to say, $36 million in cap space. With that move here with Wilkins, that means now they're probably going to be somewhere at like $9 million per year. I mean, I'll well, tell you this. They'll be able to make some moves and make some other Correct. signings. You're, you're going to cut you know, Jimmy G. You're going to cut Hunter Renfro. You're going to have some extra money that you're going to be able to allocate in certain areas. But like, I Expect some low-key signings for the Raiders if they make any more moves today. I, I mean, this move here makes me think Jacobs is not coming back. I, I don't think Jacobs is coming back now because they still have other holes that they need to be able to go out there and address and... If, if signing Wilkins means we don't get Jacobs, yeah, that's going to suck. But also, I'm, I'm on board for it. Like, I'm in. Kevin Rogers, 
Patrick and Herbert are not happy right now. Dude, that defensive line looking scary. Oh, dude. You know what? I got a boot to do. I got a boot to do. We had somebody send in a super predicting Christian Wilkins was going to get signed. If you predict Dude's the next gonna be guy, a monster. If you send in a $50 super chat predicting the next signing for the Raiders, it's a boot. A $50 super chat with the next signing for the Raiders, that's a boot. Somebody did it for Christian Wilkins and it happened. Dorn Front Gaming, now go draft Byron Murphy and the Raiders will have the nastiest D-line in the entire league. I don't know. Now, now you have holes in other positions. I don't know if they go there for their first round pick at the de defensive tackle spot, but you know who is going there. You know who is going there. Oh! My brother! Let's effing go! My number one Raiders target, Christian Wilkins. I'm pumped. Let's effing go! Raiders, just win, baby. When do you anticipate the cuts for Jimmy G and possibly Renfro, brother? Before the 13th. So, before the official new league year begins. Excuse me, which is, oh man, 4 p.m. Eastern time on March 13th. That's when the deals officially have to get done. Like, the Raiders got to move on from both those guys by that time. But, like, I'm riding this high right now. Oh, dude. I'm, I I'm, am. Ride the wave. I am riding this wave right now. Like, that, I'm that, telling you. That's a beer bong, but we'll give you a second. I know yeah, you just I need, I need a minute here, Arbra. Um, seriously, though, I mean, I'm, I don't want to say that I'm speechless, but I am so flippin' happy right now. Because of the Raiders just showing me time and time again already this offseason that they're doing the right things, right? Like, yeah, they're they're doing what is needed to do to win an NFL Super Bowl. You got to be able to win in the trenches. And they're two big moves already bringing back their center and going at the going and get the best defensive tackle available. Now, I'll admit, I don't think that now they're going to draft a DT at 13. Like somebody I saw earlier said, what about Leonard Williams? I mean, if you're the Raiders, I mean, don't get me wrong, Christian Wilkins, Leonard Williams would be a, a very intriguing interior. But based on what I think that this team is going to end up doing, I think they already have their starting four. Malcolm Koontz, Crosby, Christian Wilkins, and now Tyree. I, I think you're a, a, another starting corner away from being considered a top five defense right now in the league. I mean, you could make the argument the Raiders were the best defense in the NFL over the back. Like, when Antonio Pierce took over, they were arguably already the who, best defense in the NFL. Who are your top five defenses in the NFL right now? And are the Raiders in there right now? Do you still think they need to add a piece or two? But Or are they there already? They have Nate Hobbs on the outside. They have two good safeties in Epps and Merrick. Oh, Their yeah. D-line looks like it's solidified. I, the the D-line of Koontz, Crosby, and then Wilkins and Wilson on the inside – is disgusting. It's uh, Robert Spillane had an amazing year last year. Divine Diablo, we'll see if he still gets the other starting spot at linebacker. You have Nate Hobbs on the outside, Jack Jones on the other side, Merrigan Epps. Are you set at defense right now for the Raiders? Set, no, but you're definitely trending in the right direction. I mean, this might be a team I, that you could sit up here and say, you know what, we might Ra not be the best offense. Ra Raphael, I think this move – Completely takes Patrick Queen off the table for the Raiders. Yeah, I don't, I don't even see why we'd want Patrick Queen. Again, I'm not trying to allocate that much money into a linebacker. Like, I, I would rather them invest that money. Like, $18 million in Patrick Queen or $18 million for Robert Hunt. I'm going to go for Robert Hunt every day of the week. This is, a, this is a slam dunk, though. The Raiders are going to be one of the winners from free agency today. Yes, you spent a lot of money, but you did a very smart move here going out and addressing your biggest need and going out and getting the best player available in Christian Wilkins. I mean, this is – I haven't been this happy in a long time. I think time. Sean kind of describes it as best as we can. Woo! What up, Sean? Kill! What's the cap space looking like now? Again, these numbers are going to continuously change and alter throughout the day. Usually, I use over the cap. I also sometimes use Spotrack, but like they're not going to be able to update as quick as what we are hoping for just because, yeah, I mean, stuff is literally happening to the day. Like, yeah, Spotrack and over the cap don't have Christian Wilkins implanted yet. 
I'm going to say right now that the Raiders have somewhere around $10 million left to spend in salary cap space. Now, they're going to cut Garoppolo. They're going to cut Renfro. That's going to free up a lot of money as well, depending on what type of cuts that they end up doing. Like, if you cut both of those guys and it's post-June 1st, that's $36 million right there. Now, sure, you don't get any of that money until after June 1st, but, like, you can still properly plan for your offseason. But, man, oh, man, Christian freaking Wilkins, Raider dude. Smoke, am I in, a.k.a. Papaya Man? Yes, you're in. Love the sign. Are the signing Telesco and AP letting their nuts hang? Salute to you guys. Let's go. And you know who else is trying to go crazy? Uh-oh. Who? Nico! Let's bang! Also, 4,200 people watching. Nice. We are 17 likes away from another wheel spin. Who's Can it going to be? There? Who's it going to be? Who's, Who's going like to be video? like 2,000? Who's going to be like 2,000? And also, that's another beer bong for you. Oh, I'm... I still got one in here, it feels like. Dan Quinn bringing back Tyler... Biotish. I know, I was going to say badass, but then a burp came in my throat. <sighs> Tyler Biotish. Going to the Commanders? Going to the Commanders. Wow. Nico Laz, we salute you. Oh, we got there. Eric v uh, Velasquez, does this take Leonard Williams out? Yes, I believe it does. I would imagine it does, but to be honest, I'm okay with it. Like, I love me some Leonard Williams. Don't get me wrong. But in every video that I did this offseason, Perfect Raiders Free Agency, every single one, nice. This is just the Chug Show. <laughs> Dude. Holy shit. This is just the Chug Show. How about this? I'll and make actually, you a deal. I'll make you a deal. Well, I was going to say, we actually got another wheel spin from the likes. All right, spin it again. Every 250 likes is a wheel spin. We're now another 150 likes away. Do we spin it again? Dude. All right, I'll make you a deal. Dude. You take my beer bong. I'll do a Henny shot and the 10 push-ups. I will do that deal right now, yes. Okay, because I'm bloated. I'm not going to lie. I'll do the Henny shot and the 10 push-ups. I'll switch it for the beer bong. Woo. Though, this Henny might be hitting a little also, bit differently. Also, if you're just now joining us, we have some great deals on tap as well. Not only likes for the... Oh, shit. Dude, yeah, this is too much. Not only the likes, but also if you want to get in on a 50-50 raffle, $20 to enter when you Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365 I believe we're already up to like $150 to the winner. Yes. So if you want to get in, we said we were going to do it at 1. So seven minutes away... I'll actually put a clock up. Let's see. Uh-oh. Right now, it'd be $20 Venmo to win $200. $20 Venmo right now to win $200 here on the Raiders report. I also think that I already got Jason EB. All right, here we go. In for our March Madness bracket, which I did, which now means, Jason, I'm going to enter you. Ooh. Giggity. Jason, I'm going to give you two more entries in for our 50-50 raffle Ooh. here. All right. Here we go. Um, Actually, need, you know what, Jason? I'm going to give you three. I, I need you to do those 10 push-ups for me. Oh, my goodness. All right. Do I do them? Um, okay. I was going to say, how are they going to see? Uh, oh, tell me when. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Four. Five, six, seven. Feel the burn. Nine, <sighs> ten. Oh, one more for good luck. One more for Wilkins. One more for Wilkins. Oh, yeah! For Wilkins! Let's go. Let's go, Wilkins. Oh, dude, what a day. There's... The only thing that could ruin my day is if the Raiders extended Jimmy Garoppolo. I think that would be the only way you'd ruin my day, man. All right, hey. We're starting in five minutes, so if you want a chance to win some money, now is the time to do so. Five more minutes until the duck race starts. Twenty dollars to enter at Mitchell Rins three six five. Jason I'm gonna go ahead, Martinez, you in? I'm gonna go ahead and read some more supers until that happens. Amy, you in? I got Eric Mitchell says get me in. Luis Rodriguez in. Ray Aguirre in. 
<laughs> Philip Bogert. Nathan Wolf, $10 Super Chat. He said, I was driving to a restaurant with my girl, jumped out of the car and yelled a couple curse words, yelled Raiders. I'm pumped, boys. Oh, dude. That's, <laughs> that's electric. I mean, when you get news like that, like I always tell people like when I do this show, like when somebody sends in a $100 Super Chat and you see that red flash on the screen, it literally reminds me of like, when you hit like a jackpot at Las Vegas, when the Raiders sign a player like Christian Wilkins, bro, I'm telling you right now, I feel like I just hit a jackpot. Like, it is a contagious, unbelievable feeling. They're doing the right things, you know? Like, so many times I've been up here on this stage, I've been up here and I've just been like, I don't agree with a lot of the moves. I, I, am, I am happy that it sounds like and it looks like this Raiders organization might be finally doing the right things. Like, holy shit, I'm a happy dude. Jake Rose, is it worth attempting to get some late round picks for Renfro? I don't think any team gives you that. Dude is good and could help some team, but is his contract too high? Raiders, it is for somebody who's been injured and not good for the past two years. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I don't view Hunter Renfro as being a top, this is going to hurt your feelings, 100 receiver in the NFL anymore. I mean, he's been... He hasn't been a top 100 receiver the past two years. Plus, you got to pay him 11.8 mil. I would say if, if an NFL team offered a seventh round pick for Renfro, three minutes, I would be kind of surprised. I just think that nobody's going to offer you a seventh round pick for him, which kind of shows his value. And then they're just going to have to ultimately release him. But if there's one team that would do it, I would say New Orleans. And if there's one team that Renfro should want to go to, it's the rejoin Derek Carr. Luis. Pollard and Swift got eight mil a year. <laughs> IDK, if that's if it's good to bring back Jacobs at ten plus million dollars a year, I don't Mitch, think they're bringing him back. The same man. thing. Those deals, it makes it seem like the Raiders won't resign. Man, you Jacobs. gave Christian Wilkins all that money, and then if I'm Jacobs, I'm asking for a minimum of ten million dollars per year. Like, don't get me wrong, I love me some Jacobs, but that's not really where. What do y'all think? Should the Raiders bring back Jacobs? Yes or no? Give me a yes. Give me a no. If it means ten plus million dollars a year. Now, I'm going to add that to this question. If it means he's making 10 plus million a year, should the Raiders bring back Jacobs? Give me a yes, give me a no. If you think he's not worth 10 plus million, say no. If you think, he, yes, he's worth that, give me a yes down in the comment section. I'm interested to see all, what y'all have to say. Jose Caroni in, Anthony Mergel, you in, Jonathan Cortinas, you in, Finesse Lounge, you in. So right now, $20 Venmo gets you in for a chance to win $330. Jeremy got some news here on the Texans. They are signing defensive back Lonnie Johnson. Looks like it's going to be a one-year deal, 2.5. So interesting, they, they drafted him yeah. early on, released him. Now looks like they're going to bring him back. Interesting move for the Texans there. Oh, my goodness, the Raiders. I'm so proud of the Raiders, man. Jason Martinez is in. So now winner would get $340. Let's go to the untouchable Raider. We are live here on the Raiders Sport. The Las Vegas Raiders have just signed Christian Wilkins to a four-year, $110 million deal. $84.75 million guaranteed. It makes Wilkins the third highest paid defensive tackle in the NFL. Chris Jones, number one. Aaron Donald, number two. Mr. Wilkins, number three. What a deal. What a deal. Also, we got a brand new deal we're on in here. The Rams are signing guard Jonah Jackson. Three years, $51 million for Jackson. Wow, also, that's a lot of money for Jonah Jackson. I think this should be overwhelmingly yes. New poll up. Do you love the signing of Christian Wilkins? Yes or no? Only yeses. 17 seconds left. Um, did you already read this? Uh, sup, Mitch and Jeremy. I took a nap and got the news. Wilkins, a Raider. What do you think about signing Xavier McKinney? Also, Wilkins has ties to Graham. He's got ties with Patrick Graham. He's got ties with Rob Leonard. Makes a lot of sense. I don't know if Xavier McKinney is going to be the biggest need here for Las Vegas. Like, if I'm the Raiders right now, I'm looking at going out and finding a cornerback. Like, a, a cornerback one. And, you know, if, if I'm Wilkins, maybe I try to recruit Xavier Howard over here to the Raiders. No, I think a guy like uh, Dory Jackson, who's got some ties to Patrick Graham, could be an intriguing name. You know, Kendall Fuller. I mean, if the Raiders came out with free agency with Christian Wilkins and Kendall Fuller, 
I mean, my I, you're looking at one of the best defenses in the NFL, y'all. Like, legitimately one of the best defenses in the NFL. Allen Raider, our D-line should be called Death Row. <laughs> Don't hate it. I actually like this a lot. All right, we got another deal rolling in here. Tight end Colby Parkinson intends to sign a three-year, $22.5 million deal with the Los Angeles Rams. Interesting. Parkinson um, going to the Rams. All right, are we doing this duck race? Yep, we're going to do it. Trevor Custer, Mitch, does this change the game plan of the draft? I feel better for trading back for Phoenix now for some reason. I mean, to me, this is still the Raiders going with their plan. Like, their plan is to find a way to get Jaden Daniels. Right. And if they are unable to get Jaden Daniels, then look at them to potentially address other needs. And, like, if I'm Las Vegas, I look at potentially taking your right tackle of the future at number 13 if you don't have like if you know that you can't trade up for Jaden I'm taking my right tackle of the future at number 13 whether that's Talisi Fuaga maybe that's a JC Latham uh there's a lot of other names that you could potentially think about and then I'm targeting a QB in round two and maybe you're round three and Spencer Rattler or Michael Penix maybe you trade back up into the back end of the first round like I just I don't want to take any of those QBs too too early which does scare me but uh, I'm happy. I, I do see two more Super Chats rolling in. Jagger says, late, but if Raiders can't get top three, who should they get? Plus, are they getting Jones's contract void? Chandler Jones is what he's referring to. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer on uh, Chandler Jones because they're still technically going to be on the hook for him for like $12 million, something like dead cap hit. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I know what the entire situation around Chandler Jones is because – I know how frustrating it is for Raider fans. The NFL and Chandler, they're they are going to play it more as like he's clearly mentally unstable. I mean, like, let's just keep it real here. And that their biggest worry is to make sure that he's okay. I, I There's not many times in my career have I handled a situation or have had to deal with the situation quite like a Chandler Jones. And I don't know if the NFL knows exactly what to do. Like, not too often you get a big-name player like that who literally just... I mean, it was, it's almost like a wire snapped in his mind, and now he's hes totally different, man. I, I don't know what to expect. And then JC does it. How do I enter the $50 uh, March Madness bracket? Well, it's the same Correct. Venmo here. It's just $50 at Mitchell Rins 365 $50 to enter our March Madness bracket, which we'll be doing that later on in the month. Correct. The first 64 people to enter, you get a spot. And the winner of that March Madness bracket will go away with $1,600. Will Elias, you in. William Souls, you in. Robert DeLiberto, you in. Cody Lowry, in. Jesus Hurtado, in. Jason Martinez, you are in. So as it stands right now, $20 Venmo for a chance to win $390. In our March Madness bracket, we already got 12 people in. Woo! Got 12 people That's in. Actually our March Madness First 64 bracket. are in, so I think you need to message Mount Raidermore and say, hey, if you want a chance, get in now. Roderick Turner is in. All right, Jeremy, we got exactly 40 people, so I'm going to tell you this right now. Every other person next race ne is going to be in our next race here. Sounds good to me. So this one, Jeremy, is going to be for $400. at ah, crap. I sent it to you. My bad. I'll send it to TV. And there we go. All right, so the next race that, we go, that we're that we going to do, so the next person that is in, I was going to say it was Jose Corona, but you know what? Jose Corona said, Mitch, put me in the March Madness bracket. What's going to be cool about the March Madness bracket, though, is it's going to be 1v1 duck races. So, like, for example, it could be a Matthew Yoakum head-to-head -head against Matt Fluhe. Winner of that goes to 32. And then there's a 32, and then 16, final four, and then there's the granddaddy of them all. It's going to be this March Madness bracket. I'm telling you all right now, it's going to be fun. It's, uh, it's going to be a good time. Let me refresh my phone. I think I got a few more people coming in here at the very end. Jose Corona. Yeah, Jose Corona, you're in for March Madness. 13 names in. All right, here's our first duck race of the day. Winner of this race is going to go home with $400. If you want to get in the next race, $20 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365. Jeremy, I said, let's shuffle this bad boy up here a little bit. Let's shuffle this bad boy up here a little bit. 
Appreciate everyone always tuning in here to the show. I know it gets a little bit crazy. Jets free agent Bryce Huff is signing a three-year, $51 million deal. Oh, wow. Josh Jacobs to the Packers. Bryce Huff going to the Eagles. Josh Jacobs to the Packers. Pa Josh Jacobs rejoining Rich Basaccia. I mean, I think it's a video, to be honest. I want to make a video on it. So tell them to get that, and then we're going to do this duck race here. Josh Jacobs is going to the Green Bay Packers. Packers are expected to sign Jacobs, which is interesting because they're moving on from A.J. Dillon, and now the fact that Jacobs is going to be joining. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Got some breaking news here. Josh Jacobs is expected to sign with the Green Bay Packers. He's going to be rejoining Rich Basaccia. And realistically, this was not a team that was really all that active in going out and looking at the running back market. We do not have the numbers yet in here quite at this moment. But what we do know is this. Tony Pollard and both DeAndre Swift, they signed their deals for three for 24. I'm going to anticipate that Jacobs is going to get somewhere a little bit over $10 million, but this is officially official. Josh Jacobs is now going to the Green Bay Packers, but realistically, yes, I'm upset that you're losing a solid running back, but I am happy the way that the Las Vegas Raiders allocated some of their money. You decided to give money to Andre James. You decided to give money to Christian Wilkins. That's a bigger time need for this organization. I wish nothing but the best to J.J. and his team. But hey, it's all about the Raiders now from here on out. J.J., best of luck to you, man. He's now a member of the Green Bay Packers. All right, y'all. Winner of this race is getting $400. Three, two, one. Let's run this race here. And now turn on lead is Justine Gonzalez. Followed by Nathan Wolf down there at the bottom again is Jason Martinez. If you're just tuning in, yes, the news is official. Josh Jacobs, he is going to the Green Bay Packers. Right now, it's Nathan Wolf, who you kind of would think in a dog race competition probably would have the upper hand. Jason Martinez now starting to fall back here. Brandon Higgins, watch out for Philip Bogert. Patrick B up there at the very top. Jose Corona. Watch out for Jason E.B. Robert Deliberto starting to roll up here. You got a few chucks in this race. Got a few chucks here in this race. Mo Chavez falling back a little bit. Philip Bogert's got a solid lead right now. Ten seconds left. Watch out for Rob Fravor. Down in the back. Is it going to be Roderick Turner? I think it's going to be Roderick Turner. He hangs on to the lead. Josh Jacobs signs. Wow. I mean, how many people thought Jacobs was going to be going? I mean, realistically, though, how many people thought Jacobs was going to be going to the Green Bay Packers? That's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Oh, crap. Man, oh man, oh man. Sounds good. We still do not have the contract details yet. We we don't have... I am very surprised that the Packers are a team that are signing Josh Jacobs. However, now they got to concentrate on going out and figuring out who we're going to get in the draft because now you got to find your running back in the draft. For Green Bay, though, you get Jacobs, you got Aaron Jones. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of money invested into the running back market. As soon as we get an update on how much money Jacobs was, I'll keep you guys up to date. But what we're going to do here on today's show is I'm going to go through and I'm going to make a cut on how much money Jacobs was. I'm going to make a cut on just the overall implication and now what the Raiders are going to be forced to do because if it's up to me, I'm looking at free agency, man. And don't get me wrong, we knew that the Raiders tried to bring back Jacobs, but he wanted to get paid. And it sounds like the Packers were probably just a little bit more willing to give him more money. 
So the fact that they were willing to give him a little bit more money, that's uh, ultimately what was the def deciding factor here because I talked to Jacobs' team and they told me that they were trying to get a deal done, but they were going to go with the team that just offered him the most money. If I got to guess, I'm going to guess three-year, 30-something mil, especially if Pollard and DeAndre Swift got three for 24. I mean, it's going to it's gonna be an interesting one. All right, I'm just looking here for the name of the person that won the duck race. However, I am having a little bit of problems here hunting them down. Still don't have the number yet on Jacobs. How much do you guys think it is? Take a guess down below. How many, how much money per year? Is it 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? How much money per year? Let me know down below. Also, I got a... Jeremy, what was the first and last name of the person who just won the race? I'm not, I'm not able to find him right now here on Venmo. Uh, the Panthers are expected to move on from safety Von Bell. So Rune says three years, thirty million. You got thirty, so thirty, thirteen million a year from Gabe, thirteen and a half from Josh. Dre says twelve. Primo says eleven and a half. I, I legit cannot find this person's name. Yeah. Okay. We got Robert Jansen says three for 35. Josh decides to go with Rich Basaccia. I mean, at the end of the day, Josh decided to take the money. Which, again, you can't really fault a guy for wanting to go get his bag. But if I'm being honest with y'all, I'm not upset about this move. Like, yeah, it sucks that you lose a, a running back. Yeah, it sucks that you lose a player. And again, since I've been doing this show, Josh has been the main back here for this organization. But like realistically, okay, like Jacobs had a bad year last season. He averaged 3.5 yards per carry. He was noticeably out of shape. And instead of you allocating all that money to the running back position, you decided to allocate that money to your center and to the defensive tackle. Like, this is a good move. I, I'm not upset that we lost Josh. Like, I wanted Josh back because I knew that he could be a very solid running back. But in the grand scheme of things, this is not a bad thing for Las Vegas. Like, if you were to tell me how I'd want to play in my perfect free agency, it would be, let's go get a, a Ray Davis, a Marshawn Lloyd, another running back in the draft that you can get in the fourth, fifth round, Pair him with Zamir White, Amir Abdullah, and now you're cooking. Build in the trenches, man. Build in the trenches. Uh, Josina Anderson, I am told that the Eagles are showing heavy interest in Saquon Barkley. I mean, if there's a team that I think could go out and get Barkley right now, it could potentially be Philadelphia. I saw somebody say, bring in Barkley. I mean, even that, though, like, why, why bring in Barkley if you weren't willing to spend money on Josh Jacobs? And at this point, just go in the draft. It's okay. Go in the draft. Go get your guy. Go in the draft. Keep on building the trenches here. That's what I think you should do. All right, I just want to make sure it was Roderick Turner. I'm pretty sure it was Roderick Turner. At the very end. All right, perfect. All right, Roderick Turner. I need you to confirm with me. Here, let me go on my Venmo here real quick. Roderick, I need you to confirm that you just received $400 here on the Raiders report. Roderick Turner, winner, 400 Can you please confirm down below that you just received your 400 Dollars. I mean, the Raiders, according to Ian Rappaport, have confidence in Zamir White, and now they're likely going to draft a running back. Interesting. Mm, I don't. It's okay. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go through the breaking news of Josh Jacobs signing with the Green Bay Packers. 
I also want to discuss some other options that the Raiders could look at in the draft. So did you move over some of the draft graphics? All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Prize picks? Cool. All right, y'all, coming up here, we're going to get into the latest around Jacobs signing with the Green Bay Packers because it is big news. Uh, there's no other way to look at it. I know that there's some people out there that maybe don't like it. Also, Vincent Bonsignor said could see them adding Austin Eckler, which has been something that I have thrown out there before because of his ties with Tom Telesco. But, again, at this point, I'd rather them just concentrate on the NFL draft and being able to find a running back. But so far, so good here for Las Vegas. Ready? Coming up right now, let's get to the latest here around the Raiders and Josh Jacobs. Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Rents here, host of the Raiders Report. And we got some breaking news here. Josh Jacobs has agreed to sign with the Green Bay Packers. So instead of him rejoining the Silver and Black, he rejoins his old buddy, Rich Basaccia in Green Bay. Coming up here on today's show, I'm going to get into the latest around Jacobs signing with the Packers. And what does this mean for Antonio Pierce? What does this mean for Tom Telesco? Will they sign a running back in free agency or... Will they just concentrate on the 2024 NFL Draft? But to make sure that you never miss anything, subscribe, turn on those notifications. I told you, when free agency happens, it's going to be in a whirlwind. We already broke down the Christian Wilkins signing. I broke down on yesterday that Andre James signed. We were talking about Amir Abdullah. If you want videos every day for free around the Raiders, hit that subscribe button. I promise you, nobody's going to keep you up to date the way that we do here. So some other deals that ended up going down today. And at the time that I'm making this video, we do not have the contract details out on Josh Jacobs quite yet. But what we do know is DeAndre Swift, he signed with the Chicago Bears for three years, $24 million with $15.3 million guaranteed. Then another deal ended up going down at the running back position. Tony Pollard, he ended up signing with the Tennessee Titans three years, $24 million. So to me, based on those numbers and those numbers alone, I am anticipating that Jacobs is going to be somewhere in that 10, 11, 12 million dollars per year mark potentially Green Bay decided to pay a little bit more but I'll tell you this the fact that they got Aaron Jones Josh Jacobs and that two-headed backfield like they're moving on from AJ Dillon he's not going to be back but for the Packers they're investing a lot a lot of money in the running back position right now which I do find a, a little bit peculiar but I want to know from the nation out there was it smart to not bring back Jacobs. Give me a yes, give me a no, because what I want to put out there is this. The Raiders tried, okay? I talked to Jacobs' team last earlier last week, and they said that both teams were trying to get a deal done, okay? However, obviously that deal was not able to get reached. So was it a smart move not to sign Jacobs? Give me a yes, give me a no. I could spin this in two different ways, okay? The way that I'm going to spin it is this. First off, I do think it's a smart move not to bring back Jacobs because if you were telling me right now it's $11, $12 million to bring back a running back, I'm not really thinking that that's a smart move to allocate that type of money. Again, the money that I would have given Jacobs would have been somewhere around $8.5 million per year. And that was like my max I was willing to go. Las Vegas instead decided to allocate their money at center at Andre James, which if you told me three years, $24 million from Andre James or three years, $24 million for Josh Jacobs. I'm taking Andre James every day of the week. It's just the more important position. But then you decided to give more money to Christian Wilkins. That's a win. The only way that this is going to be a loss to me is if the Raiders still believe that they need to sign a free agent running back and you go out and you try to sign a, I don't know, a Gus Edwards or a Deonta Foreman and you give them a little bit too much money, I am hoping, and the only way that this is a clear win for the Raiders is if the Raiders draft a running back. Now, maybe that's somebody like a Marshawn Lloyd. Maybe that's somebody like a Ray Davis. You address that need on day three of the NFL draft. You pair him with Amir White and Amir Abdullah, and you continue to move. Don't get me wrong. This is going to be a difficult move for the silver and black considering the fact that I know Raider fans were so connected to Josh Jacobs. But on top of that, though, you're looking at a back that, let's face it, he was not very good last season. And yes, the quarterback play deserves a lot of blame. Teams were stacking the box with Brian Hoyer, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Aiden O'Connell. But for people that legitimately watched Jacobs last season, he was slower, 
he was not ready to go right away. And I, I would rather the Raiders address other needs and then figure out the running back position, not pay your running back and then figure out your offensive line. I mean, 3.5 yards per carry. This is not the type of back that you would typically give all that money too. Like the only way that I was going to be okay with the idea of bringing back Jacobs is if he was willing to take a team-friendly type of deal. Now again, we do not know the contract details yet, and I am a little bit curious to see where they end up coming out here, but like for Josh Jacobs, if he got more money, congratulations to him. I mean, good for him for being able to go get his bag coming off the career worst season. And I don't blame him for wanting to get his money. Like, you should be happy that he's getting his money. But from the Raiders' standpoint, you're going to be able now to build a more complete football team without J.J. Like, it sucks moving on from him. But from a logistical standpoint for football, I do think this is a good move, man. I, I really do. We're going to get into some other options for the Raiders at the running back position. That's going to be coming up here in just a second. But I do want to tell you about today's sponsor, Price picks. And if anybody hasn't started, this link's going to be available to y'all down in the comments and in the description of today's show. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Just make sure that you use code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100. It's easy. It's exciting. Daily fantasy sports made easy. All you got to do is pick two plus players and then you're ready to go. I want you to get in on the excitement with Price Picks because it is America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your knowledge into some serious cash. So right now, whether you want to do some NBA, college basketball, maybe a little NHL action, I know that football season, it's over, but that doesn't mean that you still can't sit down and have a good time. So yesterday, for example, my fiance, Alex, she was uh, working a wedding, so I'm all alone all day with my man Chuck. And Chuck and I, don't get me wrong, we were outside, we were playing a little bit. We were playing with a tennis ball, but we were also watching some sports out there. Now, I didn't watch any hockey yesterday. I did watch a lot of NBA, or I watched a lot of college basketball. But for tonight, for somebody out there that wants to make some money on NHL, we asked one of our NHL guys here at Chat Sports. He said, this is going to make you money. I'm a New York Islander fan just through my dad, who's an Islander fan, so because of that, I'm going to be watching this game, and I'm going to have some interest in it. I love prize picks because games that I would never watch, I have a legitimate interest in. So if you want to go get started, again, it's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Just make sure that you use code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. So the breaking news that's rolling in here is this. Josh Jacobs, he is signing with the Green Bay Packers. We still do not have the contract details yet out on that. But now a lot of people around the nation are wondering, what should the Raiders do at the running back position? Could you potentially look at the draft? Now, I do admit the rankings that you're about to see are a little bit old. These are rankings before the NFL Combine, but it's still just at least a bunch of names. Like I'll be real. I would re-rank these players uh, very much so, like, Jalen Wright, I would put a lot higher. Esteem, I would put lower. Uh, a guy like Ray Davis, I would move up the board. Will Shipley, I'd move down a little bit. But to me, the running backs that I love in this year's draft, I think Trey Benson, Marshawn Lloyd, Jonathan Brooks, are just a few names that you could at least throw out there and keep in mind. Now, if I'm Las Vegas, I am not targeting a running back in round one, two, or three. I'm going to be targeting a back on day three alone. So I'm looking at round five. Maybe round four is a little bit of a stretch unless one of those guys end up falling. Some other free agent running back targets. This was before free agency started. I made this list here. So Derrick Henry was, if you're going to spend big, like that could have been a name that I said, hey, throw out there if you don't go get Jacobs. Eckler, if you're able to get him at four and a half, five, he's got ties to Telesco. Uh, Deonta Foreman, Antonio Gibson, Eno Benjamin. This was more of a Amir Abdullah replacement. Now that they brought Amir Abdullah back, there's no really need to go get a guy like Eno Benjamin. But overall, I know the free agent market. From the Raiders, I am looking at the draft, and I am going to draft a running back to try to replace Josh Jacobs. Build your offensive line. Your offensive line then is going to be good enough to get by with Samir White with Amir Abdullah, and then whatever other running back that you end up taking. Because remember, Telesco said at the NFL Combine, he looks at the running back position as more of a committee. Two to three running backs instead of going out and getting one true bell cow. So here's your opportunity. Be the GM. Since Josh Jacobs did not return, should the Raiders sign or draft a running back? Do you go out and do you sign a guy? If you are saying sign below, I want you to give me the name of the person that you think that the Raiders could potentially sign 
to replace Jacobs? Or are you team draft? Are you like, you know what, Mitch? I'd rather roll with the draft. I'd rather go get somebody like that. Let me know who it is down below. But here's the thing, man. Josh Jacobs no longer is a member of the Raiders, and it's disappointing for the simple fact of Jacobs was a fan favorite. He was a player that I know that we talked about a lot. He was the face of the offense for multiple years. I mean, he had over 2,000 total yards in 2022. I wish him absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing but the best. But realistically, if it costs more than $10, $11, $12 million, this organization should not be paying a running back. Teams that are Super Bowl caliber teams, a running back away, are teams that I believe should be paying a running back that type of money. I don't think Green Bay is in that type of predicament or in that situation, and they can do what they want. But I am very happy that the Raiders decided to put their concentration and allocate their money to Andre James and Christian Wilkins building on the interior, building in the trenches, instead of giving that extra money to Jacobs. So Jacobs, I wish you nothing but the best, man. Best of luck to you with the Green Bay Packers. For more updates here around the Las Vegas Raiders, make sure you give me a follow on IG. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter at MitchellRen365. And you know what? We're live right now here on the Raiders. We're breaking down news. And speaking of breaking news, Kirk Cousins, he's going to the Atlanta Falcons. If you missed that, then, hey, you're not watching us live. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Kirk Cousins is going to the Atlanta Falcons, which is kind of good news here for the Raiders. That means another team that was ahead of Las Vegas at pick 13, Atlanta at pick number 8. They're going to decide to go with Cousins, and they are giving him a four-year deal. So the idea of trading up for Jaden Daniels, maybe it did just get a little bit easier. Wow. Kirk Cousins to the Atlanta. What a day. PD, PD, PD. What a free agency day it has been, man. Mr. ATL. Mr. ATL. What a day it has been. PD, 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 PD. Kirk Cousins' four-year deal with the Atlanta Falcons. If I had to guess, I'm saying four years, $150 million. Wow. That's my guess. I'm going to say four years, $150 million. That's my guess. What do you guys think? How much money did Kirk Cousins get with the Atlanta Falcons? And was it smart to not sign Jacobs? I do think it was the smart move. It might not be the move that a lot of people love. Again, I want to see what the money comes in at. If Jacobs goes back, if Jacobs goes to the Green Bay Packers on a three-year, $24 million deal, then my answer might change. If if he's getting 10 plus, 11 plus million a year, then yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Jesse says three years, 110 for Kirk Cousins. Ross Sports says four year, 160 million with 100 million guaranteed. I want your predictions on Kirk Cousins, he just signed a deal. Just signed a deal with the Atlanta Falcons. Let's freaking go, man. I'll tell you what, today is... Uh, uh, one word reaction to Cousins signing with the Falcons. What's your one word reaction, Mr. Renz? I hate to say expected, but it is expected. I'll say chance, and I'm going to say chance because now this means to me the Raiders have a better chance at trading up and getting Jaden Daniels. It's one less team you got to worry about for a quarterback. Atlanta was a team that I was very but, worried about taking a QB. But, I mean, I guess they're closer to you, but now does that worry you about the, the Vikings wanting to trade up? Sure. Because they're still a couple spots ahead of the Raiders. Ra uh, Vikings are at pick 11. Yep, Vikings are going to be here at pick 11. And I don't see them going with anybody that they have. Yeah, no. They have Jaron Hall and... Who, Nick Mullins? I mean, if anything, where's Justin Fields going? Yeah. I mean, I have no idea where Justin Fields is. Fields goes. is a giant. Is he? I don't know. Where does he go? I do not know. The Raiders seem like the likely option. I mean, I mean, again, if Getsy. you if you didn't have Luke Getze, the Raiders would be a, a very likely option for Justin Fields. Oh, if you didn't have Luke Getze, they would be the number one option right now. For Justin Fields. Yeah. Ben but, says three years, 135 for Kirk Cousins. I mean, our, our Bears guys in here were like, no way the Bears trade Justin Fields to the Vikings. True. So that's off the table. True. All right. We got to add some more people here to our duck race. So we're doing a new duck race here. 
on the Raiders report. And the first person that I see getting in here is Nicholas Potter. You in? Trying to keep updating the tab to see if any contract details comes out. William Gold, you in? Frank Revis, you in? And then I also see Finesse Lounge is in for our March Madness bracket. Finesse Lounge, you in? So we already have 14 people, which means we can only get 50 more of our March Madness bracket. Winner's going to get $1,600 there. Good luck to you, ma'am. We got 4,500 people here, Jeremy. We, we do have a ton of Super Chats to run through. Got to roll through a bunch of Super Chats. If you haven't already, click that Like button. Make sure you do so. Every 250 likes, Jeremy and I got to do a challenge, though. It seems like recently it's just uh, it's been my man Chugs yeah. here. What, what did you say, 100 and what likes? Right now, we're, about a, we're about 116 likes away from doing another there's challenge 40, here. There's over 4,500 people watching. Yep. Go down and like the video. It costs nothing. And uh, it do looks it. like it's just a punishment wheel so far. Just do it. Also, are you nervous that we are 300 away from a boot? Oh, I didn't even realize. We're 300 away it, from a boot. Is it, is it my boot? I would like to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. I already did a boot. So did I. I know. So now it's your turn. And then I'll do the next one. Boots are scary, man. What up, Jersey boy? Goodbye, JJ, and good luck. Uh, time to get King Henry or draft Ray Davis. Goodbye, JJ. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. I mean, I'll wish the best to Jacobs. And, you know, I think it's one of those situations where, um, unfortunately, the Raiders and him were unable to come to a deal. But to me, this just means he's going to go Ooh. get the most money possible. And I'm, I'm not going to blame a guy for wanting to go get the most money out there possible. Like, I do think for the Raiders' standpoint, it's a smart organizational decision to invest your money in Andre James and Christian Wilkins. Like, I don't look at this as being a, the Raiders did not want Jacobs. We knew that Jacobs had mutual interest with the Raiders. This is a Raiders deciding, you know what, as much as we love Jacobs, even though Antonio Pierce called him the heart and soul of the team, this is a smarter decision of money to put your money in Christian Wilkins and Andre James. I mean, it is. Like, I, I don't care what you say. If you told me, Mitch, would you rather have uh, would you rather have Josh Jacobs back or Andre James or Christian Wilkins? I mean, I'm, I'm taking Andre James, Christian Wilkins every day of the week. It's okay. Derek. Bring on Derrick Henry. I mean, you will talk about an intriguing offense. And before we get going with the rest of our uh, Super Chats, we did, I, we did just hit a wheel. I do not think, though, that Derrick Henry is coming to this team. We are also 200 likes away from another wheel spin. Every 250 likes, I'm spinning this wheel. Oh, no. Thank God. Oh, my goodness. That's a disaster. $5 tuna clock? Who put that in there? That's a horrendous idea. All right. Um. All right. Here we go. That's brutal. So for those that don't know, this is every five dollar super chat that we get. I got to do a shot. I, it's going to be a little shot of fireball. I almost feel like that, that needs to be ten. I didn't know it was five. That's just belligerent. I mean, that's belligerent. Fifty right seconds there. left. Thank. This is making me nervous. Typical whale. Raiders! According to Diana Rossini, look for the Vikings to go after Sam Darnold. That would be nuts. Tuna clock times four from the real cowboy. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to kill me. Y'all are, uh, are going to put me in. All right, I'm going to do my best here to just do what I can. 15 seconds left. One. Two. Oh, they're, they're flowing in. Eight. Three. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And. Oh! At the buzzer! Hooray! Well, 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got to change that one. That's uh. I'll, I'll change it now. That's <laughs> okay. That one is a. I'm in trouble. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in uh. I'm in a little bit of trouble here. You know what, Rebel? Oh wow! All right, Rebel. I see you. Typical whale. That hurts as Raiders fans for Jacobs to leave. It definitely hurts for Jacobs to leave. There's no doubt about it. But sometimes, man, even though, again, I'm not looking at it as we lost on Jacobs. I am looking at it as we gained Christian Wilkins and Andre James. I I'll take a couple of the shots for you as well. Yeah, holy shit. Um, so you owe, let's see. A million. <laughs> That's what I feel like I owe. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I don't know how five, we're going to do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Thirty. Yep. Five, uh, 31, 32, 33. You have 33 shots. Uh, that's, that's not that bad, right? Uh, Oscar said, but Mitch, you hated James at the beginning of the year. I don't think that I have, I've, I don't think I've ever hated Andre James. I've just, I've always projected him to not be a part of this team because of all the different regimes that we've had. If anything, I think it just shows how good of a player he's been able to do and how much he's been able to Oh, keep it working. What? Sarah Otto said, if you need some help with some shots, I'm down to take some. All right, how about this? I obviously need some help with some shots. If anybody wants to pull up right now to the Raiders report and do some shots with me. calling. I'm calling Sarah Otto. Just Let's start, see. start calling me on IG. Literally, if you call me on IG at Mitchell Rance 365, and if I see it, I'm a. Uh, how about this? I'll put my Instagram here in the chat. Hey, we have the queen. It's the queen. She's opening it up right now. Uh oh, what she got? What you got, Sarah? The queen. Oh, a little breakfast in a jar, a little ego. Uh oh. This is uh. This let me, Sarah. Let me know how that is. We were thinking about getting it, but we didn't end up getting it. Yeah, we. She said it tastes like wait purple nipple. She said it tastes like purple nipple. I was gonna say I don't. I'll be honest. I don't remember. If somebody just said that tasted like a purple nipple, <laughs> I'd be like, I don't know what that. Sa means. Queen Sarah Otto downing him to a, the queen. A legend here at Chat Sports. Oh wow! There we go. Down the hatch, man. I another, just put, another one. I just put my IG link in. She, that's three. Oh. All right, Sarah. Last one. Last right, one. I don't it. want you. I don't want you to go too crazy. <laughs> that's it. Shout out Four to the shots queen from Sarah Otto. You're the queen. Thank you so much. Oh my. We might, we might be calling you back later. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. All right, y'all. just down four back-to-back -back shots of breakfast in a jar, Lego my ego shots. All right, so here's the thing. I got the amount of messages I have for Christian Wilkins. I mean, it's just. Maybe it's a better idea to try to call me. Yeah, may, I'll tell you this. I got a lot, though. I'm calling David right now. David Botcher said, Mitch, I'll pull up right now, do a few shots with you. What's up, David? What's up, David? Let's go. I got David on the cam. If you want to do a few shots with me and Raider Nation today, I need your help. Rebel, Rebel left this up, David. Dave, I'm going right out of here. Oh, you got old-fashioned. Let's go. David, you a real one, man. I appreciate that. What would you say? We got to draft Lloyd to replace Jacobs. Yo, everyone right now. Say what's up. What's up to the nation? What's up to the nation? Bro, I appreciate you pulling up here. I might be calling you back. I might be calling <laughs> you back a little bit later. All right, I got right. you. After those four, he took a couple. Now I think you only owe 27 shots. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. Isaiah McDaniel, it makes money since, so can't be mad, but can't lie as a fan, this one still hurts. Let's go. Again, you want to take a few shots with me here on the show, man. I need all the help I can get. I need all the help I can get. Let's go. Let's do one. Let's go. Let's do one. What do you got? Oh, he's drinking Gatorade. That's, we'll say it's vodka. We'll say it. 
Let's go. The Raiders side, Christian Wilkins. The nation came here to party today. You want to party here on the Raiders report? Let's get it going. Hell yeah. Jadar, fans who are upset about losing JJ are the same fans who wanted to keep Carr. This was the right move 100%. Stop being emotional. We rolling. LFG Raiders. I think I, I think his name is it's O P I U M M M M M M. Opium? Is that Is that how you would pronounce that? Search I. All right, Zeus, it's your time. Agreed. Zeus. All right. I think I think Zeus will get the chance to be the lead back and they oh, might really? they'll I think they'll get a complimentary back either in free agency or the draft, but I think he'll have a chance to at least be the head of the running back room. I got Nico Laz here on the show. You can say hi. Hey, Nico. Nico, how many you got for me, man? How many you got? Tequila equals two. I say tequila's two shots in my book. He's got all sorts of stuff over there. You happy about the Christian Wilkins move? If you guys want to pull up here the Raiders sport, let's celebrate Christian Wilkins signing with the Raiders. What do you... You still got to work today? I got to work today. <laughs> Jersey Boy says King Henry, Zeus, and Ray Davis will run wild next year. Yeah, I don't think all that's going to uh, happen. Mystic knows the way to my heart. Mystic Rican said, Cheers, we just signed Christian Wilkins. Let me get the chat's best. L. A. Uh, Knight. Yeah. Shout out to Nico Laz for pulling up here on the Raiders report. With that everybody saying, L. V Raiders. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I tried to watch, and I mean I really, really tried to watch for a long time. WWE this weekend with Alex. It was tough. Oh, Let's Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley to the Eagles. Signing with the Eagles. Saquon Barkley to the Eagles. Barkley to the Eagles. Ah! Three years, 37.75 million. We got the tequila going. Wow, Saquon, an average per year salary of fifteen point eight three million dollars. Saquon Barkley, fifteen million. That makes him one of the top paid, if not the top paid, running back in the NFL. Let's go, dude. That is that is the bananas second, okay. type of money. Getting word from the chat sports office, Saquon Cheers Barkley, the now the second highest paid running back in the NFL. Saquon Barkley. To the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow. Antonio Gibson just signed a contract. I mean, to me, that means Jacobs is getting 15 mil, dude. To me, that means Jacobs is getting 15 mil. We got another one going down the hatch. Saquon. Another one going down the, the hatch. Down the hatch. Appreciate you. I can't. Appreciate you. I can't believe it. Michael Lopez, <laughs> draft Braylon he Allen just the did fourth. Four. He just did four. What are we doing at QB? Mitch, this is for you. Eddie Williams just did four. Draft Braylon Edwards in the fourth. What are we doing at QB? To me, you know that what they're doing. Uh, you know that the Raiders are going to try to go out. They're going to try to get Jaden Daniels, or they're going to try to get maybe somebody in the mix of JJ, Bo Nix, Michael Penix, maybe a Spencer Rattler in there. I'll tell you this. This is a hell of a market this year for the running back. I mean, yeah. if you would have told me $15 million, I think it's an overpay, dude. 15 mil for a running back is insane. Now, I will say Barkley gets to stay in Pennsylvania. So for those that don't know, Barkley grew up an Eagle fan. He grew up in that area. Like, he kind of grew up near the Harrisburg area. Wow. Big Penn State fan. Adrian with the dollar super chat. Appreciate you. Jay does, JC does it. Mitch, I feel like crying. I'm a miss. 28, a.k.a. number eight. I get you, but we'll, we're about to see coming out soon I his mean, contract details. That'll really I'm determine. I'm telling you right now, if Jacobs gets a $15 million per year deal, good for him. There's no way the Raiders would have done that. Former commanders running back Antonio Gibson joining the Patriots. That's a very Patriot running back. Yeah. It's a very, very Patriot running back. Scarecrow, what do you think about Derrick Henry? I think he's a good running back, but why are we going to pay a back? In today's NFL, seeing the numbers that are coming out today, I'm not paying a back. Like, it's a bad offseason to pay a running back. I'm not doing it. Saquon to the Eagles, wow. 
I mean, can you believe that amount of money? Giants fans in shambles. Marshall in shambles? Yes or no? Huh. Shambles? Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting shambles watch from our Giants host. I mean, it's one of those things where I think it's a weird fit. Like, I don't think Barkley fits well with Philadelphia. I, I like the fit. I don't see the how. Money, the money, no. I don't think that their offenses fit each other. I mean, Sa- Saquon, I think, explosive back out of the backfield. I don't, I don't know how he wouldn't fit, like, out of, you know, shotgun, out of the read option, both two running options right there. Saquon, and an explosive running back, went healthy. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't fit. Now, the money, that's a different thing. The actual fit, I don't see how he doesn't fit. Like, I think Barkley fits better on a team that wants to pass the football more. Like, the Eagles still, to me, want to be a run-first team. I think that, I think that fits what, what okay. Barkley would do. Okay, hey. I, you, think, you think he's more of a receiving back? I don't think he's just a receiving back, but I'm saying to give a back $15 million to play on the Philadelphia Eagles, like, that to me is an overpay. No, yeah, the, the, I, I'm saying the contract. I'm saying, like, his actual playing style, I think it fits perfectly with, with, with what the Eagles want. Now, the okay. contract, the contract is where it comes in because now you're paying a ton of money to A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and now you're giving $15 million a year to Saquon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to expect, man. Jersey Boy Greaser, down to three options. Daniels, Penix, uh, Penix or Fields. Your thoughts on that? Oh, down to three. I mean, out of those three, Jaden's number one. Penix is number two. Justin Fields would be number three for me. Arizona Cardinals, they are signing Sean Murphy Bunting at cornerback. That's who they're doing. That's who they're signing. Um, again, I'm also seeing a few people here that are trying to uh, come up here and do a shot. Oh, my goodness. Kirk Cousins, four years, $180 million. What is that? $45 million a year. $45 a year. Forty-five million a year now, for now, Kirk Cousins. Now what's the guarantee? Fifty. Oh, okay. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. That's a lie. Gets a fifty million signing bonus, hundred million guaranteed, ninety million in twenty twenty-four, and in twenty twenty-five plus ten million in twenty twenty-six. Oh my lord! I mean, you want to talk about? Massive overpay. Massive overpay. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's embarrassing. Real Cowboy with the 2 o'clock from earlier. Michael Murray says Fields has a bad trade value right now. Fifth rounder? Eh, I don't think no, it's that low. I, but... I, I think at worst they're getting a third or a fourth. Fourth at, at absolute worst. Bro, it's... I mean, Darnold got a second. True. Yeah, now, it wasn't a good trade by the Panthers, but still, like, I don't think Fields gets less than a third or fourth. Yeah, I'm kind of with you there. Uh, former Packers guard John Runyon has reached a three-year deal with the New York Giants for $30 million. Wow. Josh Melton, this one is for Wilkins. Drink up. That was part of our uh, What's shot up, brother? Clock. Yeah, man, I got another guy here joining. Ready for a shot? I need some help, bro. I am. He's got some tequila. We got some tequila drinkers here, which I should have known from the nation. Cheers, brother. Wow. Gabe Pinata with uh, Pineda with the five dollar super chat. Thanks for pulling up, Rebel Montana. We hit that with the bang earlier for the twenty shots. Absolutely nuts. If you want to come take a shot here on the Raiders report, I need I, some help. I think we only have like thirteen left. Because <laughs> you've been taking shots, we've been, we've been, we've had a ton of shots going. I think we have like 12 or 13 left. What do you say? Birthday on the 8th this month. Happy birthday to you, brother. Hell yeah. Pulling up to the Raiders report. Let's go. Chase Martinez with the $10. That was from 2 o'clock. Kurt with the 2 o'clock 5. He's drinking 1800 1800 That puts hair on your nipples. Aaron says A-plus signing. One word reaction. Watch out, Mahomes. That's three, but I still love it. <laughs> D is going to be ridiculous. League on notice. Raiders' best offense is a good defense now. 
I mean, at this point, you got to you got to really think about the Raiders legitimately have a chance to have one of the best defenses in the National Football League. What's up, brother? Let's go. Let's go. We got him. He's got you got Don. What is that? Don Julio, this guy's out of my price range. Wow. Here this we guy's go. out of my price range right here. When he drinks, can we get a Raiders? Raiders. Let's go. Cheers to you, my man. Flew he with the 20 piece. Oh, he's doing another one. Shit. I think we got to be at like eight shots now. Francisco he J. Feliciano knocked one back. Malachi B with the five dollar, Wild one fourteen. Sorry, I'm not around. Had a oh, so, oh sorry to hear yeah, that Wild one. Wild one, you're okay, man. All good, bro. Hope hope all is well. Sending all the love in the world to you, Wild one fourteen. We love you, buddy. What's up, Noah? What's up, Noah? Raiders. Raiders. I had about, I'm not going to lie, I had about 15 missed calls from Noah. It looked like Alex when she's trying to get me to pick her up at the bar. Real Shout cowboy. out to Noah. I don't know if Noah's got clothes on or not, but he's ready to take a shot. Mitch, I hope you're not an organ donor. <laughs> I am an organ donor. Though I've never been to Oregon. Yeah. Let's go. James O, <laughs> did I hear tuna? Cheers, bro. You did. RDR for life. No. With the $10. Rebel says, sorry, Mitch, I'm at work, can't answer the phone. Brooks Nelson, Steelers Nation, let's weld. <laughs> let's what? <laughs> let's weld. Let's weld. John Alcala, what, what would a shot of Everclear be like? Oh, not good right now. That's uh, no I, bueno. IZ credit, appreciate y'all, or is credit. Isaiah McDaniel, odds of trading for a pick this week. All right, I think after this, I'm all caught up on yeah. the shots. I got one more to do. I got one more person I'm calling. After that, we'll see. We still don't have the contract details yet out on Jacobs. I Andrew Van Ginkle going to the Vikings. I mean, I'll tell you what, for the Vikings to be able to get Andrew Van Ginkle and Jonathan Grenard, I think they did a pretty damn good job there replacing Daniil Hunter. I like it. I am calling Robert Silvis right now on IG. Wow. Two-year deal, $20 million, $14 million guaranteed. Andrew Van Ginkle going to the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, my goodness. It's good. I mean, today's been a fun day, man. Today's Isaiah, already been a fun day. $2 Super Chat odds of trading for a pick this week. Odds that they trade up this week in the draft, Mitch? I mean, this week, at, at this point, if you're the Raiders, you're probably just going to ride this thing out to the draft. Yeah, it, I think it'll be a draft day trade. I mean, you're, you're going to overpay right now. Like, what you would have to give up now compared to what you'd have to give up on draft day is totally different, which anything's possible on draft. I, I think I, legitimately the Raiders are going to wait till the draft. The Raiders are going to try to get their quarterback on draft day. Encore, who are we getting at QB now? You're going to go in the draft, dude. I don't... Option A has always been Jaden Daniels. After that, I don't have the answer oh. for you. Jeremy, appreciate the super chat, but don't don't bring this in here, please. Not to be a downer, but what are the odds Wilkins ends up like Chandler Jones? No. I mean, I'll say this. I'm going to say 0% chance because I know people that are close to Wilkins, and I don't know what Chandler Jones was going on with him, but like... You, you can't even put two and two together. Like Chandler Jones's issues are way, way beyond football. Wilkins is one of those dudes that has like always been super focused on football, loves the game. Like go watch Hard Knocks. I'm telling anybody out there wondering about Christian Wilkins, your homework assignment for this weekend, watch Hard Knocks with the Miami Dolphins. My favorite player from that series is Christian Wilkins. He is a electrifying dude. He loves football. He's always the first guy there. He's one of the last guys to leave. Like his mentality and Max Crosby. I'm telling you, good luck, man. Good luck, uh, Derek. No, actually, Josh Jacobs was a free agent. Correct. Signed with the Green Bay Packers or signing with the Green Bay Packers. 
The details on the contract, not yet to be announced, but it is rumored to be Josh Jacobs signing with the Green Bay Packers, at least in principle. I'll tell right you now. what, because the salary cap went a little bit higher, we're seeing a lot of big deals. Like We're seeing a lot of big deals right away here in free agency, and it's interesting. You know what else is interesting? We're 100 away from a boot. You got a boot in you? Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Roman Sanchez, Raiders! Raiders! This is for you both. Defense wins ball games. Mitch, let's run it back in beer pong in Vegas. Me and, guy, and my guy Michael took you guys down. Oh, really? So that was, uh, was that at Red Tail then, Roman? Because I, I only lost one game at Red Tail. Ro to Roman. I guess I lost to Roman. I, I know at Red Tail, me and Raider Cody, we only lost one game. So if that was you, congratulations to you. Mitch Eisenberger, I'll do shots, but I only have absinthe. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it right now. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> I don't know how to not, describe it. Not a psychedelic, right but it's like. Oh. Is it like. It's an alcohol, but it also has. It has not like illegal stuff, but like it's legal to buy absinthe. Oh, okay. But. Makes you trippy? I think like it has something in it. All right, I got you. I don't know. I'll, I'll be honest. I've never had somebody, it. Somebody in the chat is probably going to come here in two seconds and then tell us exactly what absinthe is. So. Probably. We'll see. Uh, Jamal Raiderway Scott. Get to drive in. All right. I'll tell you what. I feel the exact same way right now. <laughs> I, I honestly couldn't have said it better myself. What the actual F? How do y'all feel about JJ? Oh, man. The Eagles are also signing Xavier McKinney. Xavier McKinney to Philly. Oh, can somebody, can somebody do a wellness check on Marshall? Marshall's in shambles right now. Also, Chugs, we are 40 likes away from another wheel spin 40 likes away from another wheel spin i mean this is i just i, I just need it to not be me what this wheel spin i'm kind of hoping it is what the actual f how are y'all feeling about jj i'm okay with D it depending on the deal again if if jacobs is getting close to what barkley got and again barkley's getting well so with, with Barkley can make up to 46.75. So it's three years, 37.25. So that means it would be a three-year, 12-point-something million-dollar deal. But with incentives, I guess, he can get up to um, yes. $15.8 million dollars a year. But so I mean, it's on base 13, or no, 12 point, I think 12.75. Yep. So. I mean, for him, for the next three years, his cap hit for the Eagles is... 13.25, 11.25, It's a lot of money, man. I don't Now Xavier McKinney heading to Philly. Wow. Honestly, I love Jacobs, but he coming off a down year and injury. Zeus held it down at the end of the year. I say draft another running back or sign one cheaper. Don't overpay for a back. I mean, I'm with you. I, I did not want the Raiders to overpay for a back. Obviously, there was some different situations. That uh, could potentially go. It also looks like Wes Steinberg is a fake account. So for that reason, I don't know if Xavier McKinney's actually going to the Eagles. So that one, we uh, I just saw it got reported by, what's his name, Dov? I think Dov got got. So therefore, we wow. got that. Wow. So Xavier McKinney, that one is not official yet. You know what it is official? Common Raider Bang! Boot! Said fill it up, Buttercup! Fill it up, Buttercup! <laughs> I mean, I feel like we all did. Oh, wait. Yep. I feel like we all got got. Sometimes it's going to happen, though. The amount of Christian Wilkins to the F and Raiders things I have is pretty amazing. Oh, wow. Also, Common, you're in for our 
Raiders jersey raffle at the you end of the day. You are so. in, my good man. You are in. Also, Jeremy, 3,000 likes. You ready to spin that bad boy? Yeah. Common. Nothing common about you. Every hondo, I'm gonna do. I'm doing my best here, guys, to do beer pongs. Okay. Oh my god. It's a marathon this week, not a sprint. So don't get mad at me if I don't do a full beer bong every time. Okay, I can do this. Karaoke for jugs. I can do this. All right, here's the name of the game. First person to super chat picks Jeremy's song. First person to super picks Jeremy's song. If you're the fourth person that sends one in, you don't get to pick the song. Any song. Did we already read this one from Justin? Yes. Okay. And then OC. Besides QB, what are your thoughts on the next top three positional needs? I actually believe I had that in there. Mm -hmm. It's not fully updated. But here are the top five needs. <sighs> Obviously, the Raiders already got defensive tackle with Christian Wilkins. Yep. Uh, right now, it's offensive tackle and corner. Like... To me, the Raiders, they got to find their right tackle. You got to find your right guard, and you got to find a cornerback one. Outside of quarterback, those are your next top needs. Like, you, you still need to be able to address. You still need to be able to address those top. Like, if I'm Las Vegas and I come away with this free agency, and if I'm able to add a cornerback one, okay, because if there's one thing that I'm confident in, is the offensive linemen, especially in this year's draft, like they're they still believe in Thayer Munford, so you know, take that with a grain of salt. I also think that it would be smart for the Raiders to bring back Greg Van Roten, maybe not as a starter, but just to bring him back because he did do at least a halfway decent job. But overall, offensive tackle, right tackle is the spot, offensive guard, right guard, and then your cornerback, I think are your next top three positions that the Raiders need to look out outside of QB. Roman Wilson, I mean Roman. Roman Sanchez says, yeah, it was. I give you my impersonation oh, of your voice. Yes, you did. Now that you say that, um, what's funny is a lot of times people are like, Raider Nation, what's going on type of thing. Don't get me wrong, Roman. Roman did a good job. However, there's a lot of people that try to like Im impersonate me, I guess, uh, because I start every show with Raider Nation, what's going on. I don't know if you guys have recognized that over this time. Some of you are like, believe me, we, we know. We um, know. <laughs> Roman did a good job. Roman was a Roman was a really heavy hitter there. I mean, also Roman, Nico, and there was another guy that hung out with us that day for literally like the entire night. Like, I mean, we had a bender, Roman. I mean, come on, bro. It was a freaking bender of a night. I went home hurting. I was hurting. Michael Gomez, yeah, Mitch, you lost to me and my boy Roman Sanchez. All right. Next time I'm out in Vegas, next time Chugs and I are out in Vegas, we're taking you down. We're taking you down. Uh, what do you got? Mitch Wilkins' is great locker room presence. Um, JC does it. Ah, dude, I, I Too don't know. Legendary by Rio de Young. OG. I have no idea what this song is. I looked it up. I love you, JC does it. Appreciate the super. I don't know if I can do it. Why? Is it bad? Every other word. It's a word that I definitely cannot say. On, uh, uh, on live or ever. Yeah. I, um, I'm not really. I'll be honest. That's a tough one. <laughs> uh, you might have checkmated me on that one. All right. You know what? I uh, I can't. I'll take a drink for that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not doing that one. As much as I want to, you know, honor the $2 Super Chat, I don't think my uh, – I don't think my job is worth it. <laughs> yeah. That the amount of clips that would come out if I sang that song. How about um, Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley? I can do that one. Okay. That's, that's a little bit of a different song. I'll be real. That's, that's a little bit of a, a different one. That's a little bit of a different one. Somebody JC, said. JC does it. Yo. Checkmate. Yep. Uh, that's on us. We'll Aggressive. We had one come in right before it with a different one. Ooh, Master but Raider. Rock and Jock. We need to restructure Adams, Myers, and Max so it opens up cap space before releasing Jimmy G and Renfro. Also, I'm the reason the rum is all gone. That's usually how it goes. 
Fade away. Vegas is on a roll. First, Vegas Knights pull off an ama pulling off amazing trades at the deadline. And now this. Let's go, man. Vegas on top, baby. Oh, dude, I sure hope so. Also, I got to add a few more people here to our duck race. Remember, we got a brand new duck race here. We got... What is this? What? There's a there's a picture of Christian Wilkins, and I just don't even know what I'm seeing here. Yeah, it's it's weird. There's a there's a picture of Christian Wilkins. He's like squatting down. I saw Graf just. This is this is I don't know. Uh, we owe some shots for Zooted. If you wanna. Oh, Francisco J. What's up, my man? It was dope AF to take a shot. With you, homie. Now, here's my contribution to the boot. Extremely hyped on Wilkins. <laughs> you can tell he did a few shots. Uh, but low-key, sad about Jacobs. I think everybody is excited about uh, Wilkins. He said, get me a CB1 in the draft. Oh, give me a CB1 in draft Daniels in the draft. And we Gucci. Our D is going to be fire in 2024. I mean, if there's one thing I'm confident in, is it's we got fire D. Got a fire D here in the, in the Raiders report. Zooted. Cheers to you. Woo, Francisco. Oh, you just read that one. Yep. Duh. Ruben, what are the chances Bears keep Justin Fields? There has been a contingent I'd out say there that's saying. 25%. There has been a contingent out there that's saying even if they don't trade Fields, they could still take Williams and just keep Fields, um, which would suck for Fields. I mean, honestly. Could you imagine your job's like, we're not going to fire you. We're going to keep you. But – also, we're going to hire your replacement at the same time, and we'd like yeah. you to work with him. <laughs> uh, Jeremy McLaggen is in. Wow. Vince. Jason E.B., William Gold also in. Vince, what running back do we get in free agency or the draft? I can show the list that we kind of showed earlier. Yeah, we're again, we're, we've been live today, y'all, for... These are some, some of the top options hours now. for free agency, even though Antonio Gibson... Strike that Antonio Gibson signed by the Patriots? Yep. Antonio Gibson signed by the Patriots. So I'll go ahead and add that little note in there. Uh, Chugs, I got to go take a leak. All right. I'm not going to lie to you. I, uh, I got to go take a tinkle. Here's, here's my deal. Okay? My deal while I am gone is this. Every $100 super chat that we get while I am gone, okay? Because we've obviously, we've had... I mean, we've had numerous, and I mean numerous bangs that have come in. Here's going to be my deal, because I need a little bit of help. Every one hundo that we get while I am away taking a pee, I don't have to do a beer bong for. However, it's going to count as two bangs for our bang race. Actually, you know what? It's going to count as three. If I don't got to do a beer bong... Every bang that comes in while I'm taking my pee, it's going to count as three bangs for our March bang race competition. Good luck to all of y'all, which actually I think the next person that bangs, we actually give away a free entry. Uh, yeah, I think so. But also, um, while you're gone, I do need you to fill up the boot for me. Okay. Because we got a boot to do. Yeah, we do have a boot to get. All right. I, I got to pee. I'll be right back. Carlos, Christian Wilkins' back shots go crazy. Uh, wow. Yeah, yikes. Um, how do we feel about getting a linebacker in free agency? I don't mind it. There's some good value guys out there, possibly a Blake Cashman, Aziz Alshire, as well as some other guys. We haven't seen a lot of linebackers taken or uh, signed today so far. Um, Patrick Queen is still out there, which I think he's out of the price range now. Frankie Luvu as well. Another guy who the Raiders could look at signing, but... I think those two guys are a little bit out of the price range. I wouldn't mind getting another, you know, low-key signing at linebacker, but I don't think the Raiders get any of the top linebackers in free agency now. I think it'll be a guy who they signed to three, four, five million dollars a year. Um, but I wouldn't mind it. I do like Robert Spillane. Divine Diablo is going to get a chance to see what he's got going into this next year. Now, don't forget, Divine Diablo originally had the green dot, was going to be the captain of the defense for the Raiders going into last offseason or going into last season. But Robert Splane showed that he is obviously the top 
linebacker in the draft. Um, but, yeah, I, th that's, wh that's where I would say for free agency linebackers as it turns into right now. So I have a quick question. Need you to sip that haterade. Mitch was saying this might be the worst signing today. Out of all the signings, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little... There we go. I'm going to put a little ticker at the bottom with all the signings that have happened so far in NFL free agency day one. What do you think has been the worst signing so far in free agency? Let me know down in the comments section what has been the worst signing so far. Mitch says it might be Saquon Barkley. Do you think it's him? Do you think it's someone else? Let me know down in the comments section. Oh, wow. Comments that he's trying to get in that race he's trying to get in that uh march you know, march bang race common raider bang he says looking forward to getting back to the old school raider way raiders let's go the latest signings also john runyon to the giants andrew van ginkle to the Minnesota Vikings, Sean Murphy bunting to the Cardinals, and Antonio Gibson to the Patriots. I see Barkley. I see Cousins, Cousins, Cousins. A lot of Cousins hate so far. Is he the worst signing in NFL free agency so far? Let me know down in the comments section. Francisco Michael, what do you think the next O-lineman we sign or go after? Now, for this question... Let's look at some of the top guys still available in free agency. Graham Glasnow is somebody who already signed. So, let's look at these other top guys that Mitch had. Robert Hunt, Damian Lewis, Graham Glasnow, he signed already. Resigned with Detroit. Greg Van Roten, Lakin Tomlinson were the other options. Mitch believes that it's going to be Greg Van Roten that Van Roten is likely to re-sign with the Raiders. Robert Hunt is a big name. I mean, bring over two Miami guys, Robert Hunt and Christian Wilkins. But I think Robert Hunt's going to take a lot of money to sign a guy like that. He's one of the best offensive guards in free agency this seat or this offseason. What do you think the next O-lineman we sign? I think it could be Van Roten or Lincoln Tomlinson. I don't think it'll be a big-name guy for tackle. Jermaine's out there. Makai Becton is somebody that Mitch said that he liked. But honestly, at offensive tackle, what we're hearing is that the Raiders like Thayer Munford and they want to start Thayer Munford at right tackle next season. Aaron Jones got released? Is this true? Yeah, Packers are releasing Aaron Jones. Could we see a, our running back swap? Could the P Raiders go after Aaron Jones? I don't mind that. I love Aaron Jones as a running back. They decide to go with Josh Jacobs, and they're going to release Aaron Jones. He had a decently sized contract with the Green Bay Packers, but now that they're signing Josh Jacobs, now Aaron Jones, there we go, released by the Green Bay Packers. My question's simple now. Should the Raiders sign Aaron Jones? Let me know. Should they sign Aaron Jones? Give me a Y for yes and in for no. Aaron Jones just released by the Green Bay Packers now that they're signing Josh Jacobs. Do you want to go with a guy like Aaron Jones? Maybe do they sign a guy like Austin Eckler? Give me a yes, give me a no down in the comments section as we are breaking down all the latest news and rumors around the NFL. Giants reportedly never made an, uh, to bark. Yeah, Giants apparently never made an offer to Saquon Barkley. Giants were not about to give Barkley a deal. But the latest breaking news, Aaron Jones released by the Green Bay Packers. Should the Raiders be interested? 
Give me a yes, give me a no down in the comment section as we welcome back Mitch as Renz. The only person who took you up on your deal, Common Raider. He wants three bangs. He banged oh. while you were gone. Common Raider. Common Raider. Add him into the list. Now, now that Bert, Mitch just heard about this as he's walking in, as I'm saying it right now. Aaron Jones released by the Packers. What are your initial thoughts? Should the Raiders look to sign Aaron Jones? No, I'm, I'm, I'm at this point. I'm not going to sign a running back. Like I think Jones can be a spectacular back. Honestly, the team that should sign him, Dallas Cowboys. Like really, he's, he's been a Cowboy killer. He's been a Cowboy killer. He's been phenomenal. In that building, they lost Tony Pollard. Aaron Jones is a Cowboys fan. He's got a lot of family that lives down there. Went to college at UTEP. So to me, like, that's your destination. And and I don't really think that the Raiders are going to bring him in. Like, oh, I didn't see this. Darnell Savage with the Jacksonville Jaguars yeah, it was as like well. Three year, thirty something million dollar deal. Again, you guys are going to see some breaking news pull up here uh, as it happens over the course of today because. Just like you, we're, we're finding out all this information right when you guys see it as well. Wow. <laughs> so you're not, not in on bringing Aaron Jones to Vegas? I don't see the point, no. I mean, it's going to cost $8, 9000000 million per year. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm team not pay running back. Like, I, I don't want to pay a running back. I think it's the easiest position to be able to replace in the draft. That's what I'm going to do. But now, now that this makes more sense, because you were talking about earlier when the news came out that the Packers were going to sign Josh Jacobs, you were like, are they going to try a three-headed monster? Like, what are they doing? That's why I was a little bit confused. I was like, Jacobs and Aaron Jones is a lot of money to allocate to that position. However, though... Now, now do they br bring back A.J. Dillon? I don't know. Because, I mean, Jones is a big... Like, he's not a big back, but he's a strong running back. He's a bruiser. That's what AJ Dillon is, though. But he also—that's uh, what I'm saying. Do you bring back two? Do you bring back a guy who's kind of a similar skill set as Jacobs? Until I see the contract details on Jacobs, that's kind of like the big determining factor there. Like, I mean, who's a better pass catching back, Jones or Jacobs? Aaron Jones is a better pass catching back. Yeah. Between the tackles, I might say. Um, between the tackles, it's Jacobs, but that's to me that's more of a Rich Basaccia, Josh Jacobs connection there. Again, I got, I got to see the, the contract details. However, based on my conversations with Jacobs' agent, I mean, they told me that whatever Barkley gets, like that's what they're going to try to mirror. I wouldn't mind signing Aaron Jones. If you, if you can get Aaron Jones for $7, 8000000 million a year, I like that. I think he's a good back. I just I would rather spend 7 or $8 million on your offensive line. I would rather spend 7 or $8 million on a corner. Like... If I could spend, if I have enough money to give Aaron Jones eight million, I'd rather give thirteen million to Kendall Fuller. Xavier Howard for eight million dollars, or Aaron Jones at eight million dollars. <sighs> like, I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of Xavier Howard right now. No, signing him to it's not that million. I just, I guess I'm just, I want to go based on what our needs are, and I just don't view that as being a big need. Uh, Blake Cashman. Signing a three-year, $25.5 million deal with the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are taking... Wow! Vi Vikings are stealing Texans. But I'll tell you this, that's a lot bigger of a deal than I thought Cashman was going to get. Three years, $25 million. Me too. That's $8.3 $8 8 million a year. I thought he was going to get somewhere around like 4 or $5 million a year. Same. Blake Cashman cashing in. I see what you did. Uh, Diana Rossini says, Aaron Jones has plenty of Sooners. This could happen quickly. Wow. Imagine if it happened this quick. Texans could be another option day. for Jones. Texans were in on Saquon, didn't end up getting him. I would actually like that move for the Texans as well because they were really in on Saquon. Ended up, the Eagles kind of blew them away with that offer. I mean, again, go back to Texas. Which, surprisingly enough, Texans came into today. Fifth most cap space entering free agency. They've made one move, and that is signing Lonnie Johnson to a $2 million contract. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I also see I got a Venmo here from Johnny Caldera. Johnny, if you want in our 50-50 raffle, it's a $20 Venmo at Mitchell Rand 365 so I need, either, I need another 10 from you. 
Another name that I see here is Michael Gomez. You're going to be in for our duck race. So as it stands right now, $20 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365 for a chance to win as it stands 70 Bree in Venmo. says Shaq Barrett, is he low value? He has shown a lot of good qualities. I don't know if he's been picked up yet. I don't know if you really need an edge right now. I think you go after other positions if you're the Raiders with the amount of money that you spent on Wilkins. I think you have to allocate that to getting another guy in the secondary, getting some offensive line help for sure. Yep. I mean, I'm really curious to see what the Raiders do from here on out because of how much money they spent on Wilkins. And yes, they overpaid for Wilkins, but I am okay with overpaying for a guy like Christian Wilkins. Like, I'm more than okay with that type of move. It really, really helps out your defense. But like... I do think Shaq Barrett could be an intriguing name. Like, yeah. he's got a lot of connections with Patrick Graham. He's got some connections as well. Uh, I want to say with Rob Leonard on top of that. So, we'll see what ends up happening here. Michael! Michael! Go Gomez! Bang! Bang! You're no stranger to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get it from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Where is this? Gonna you make you yet? understand. Never going to give you up. Never, Never going to let, let you down. down. Never going to run around and desert you. you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say, say goodbye. goodbye. Never going to tell a lie. Johnny it Caldera, you. you're in. Never going to get, never going to get, get Trey you. Hamada, you're in. And then <laughs> Michael Gomez. What? Also, oh, Gomez says, this beer is, bong, here at the Raiders challenge we'll accepted. <laughs> Roman Sanchez and Texas I want that getting, smoke, we're, and we're, I was Texas there all night moves. till you left. Also, great memory. Fifth, fifth most cast space. <laughs> yeah, fifth Michael, most cast space. Nothing. Wow, big time news. Robert Hunt to the Panthers. So the Carolina Panthers get Bryce Young, the top offensive guard on the market. They needed it. They needed that. They needed it bad. They needed that. Robert Hunt to the Carolina Panthers. Well, right after that, yeah. <laughs> well, how about this? I'm about to do a boot. We're two hundred dollars away from two point five. If we get a two hundred, Brett, Jane, or Brett, Mitch, do y'all want to y'all want to maybe join me? Do a do a little three way. Y'all do. I mean, I know that came out weird. No, no, y'all no, no, do. No. Y'all two do. He does the boot. We do two beer bongs. Two hundred. Two beer bongs with my boot. All right, we need two bangs here. Michael Gomez, my question to you is, do you want it three bangs for the month of March, or do you want a beer bong? Michael, I'll give you a few minutes here to respond back to me, though I'm pretty sure it was sent in while I was away. Um, um, John Rodriguez, Aaron Jones is a beast. Sign him fast. Well, you said Diana Rossini said he has a lot of suitors, and we could see Aaron Jones get signed today. I mean, based on what she said, it sounds like it could happen soon. Um, Blue Dragon says, draft Blake Corum. Don't sign a free agent running back. I don't disagree with him. Like, if you told me right now I could sign, I could draft Blake Corum in round. The problem is, where are you going to get him? Because I don't want to draft a running back on round one, two, or three. I'm looking more for day four type of backs. And so. I'm, I'm looking for better daily fantasy sports, and I get that. <laughs> with prize picks when you go to prizepicks.com slash clns and you use code clns you get a hundred dollar deposit match to the number one let me say that again clean out your ears wiki wiki number one daily fantasy sports app in the united states i mean come on you want to get started today or not with the best daily fantasy sports app, it's as easy as picking two or more players from any sport, which now we have baseball season coming up. We have basketball, college ba college basketball, March Madness is right here. We have hockey as well. Yep. All those, plus MMA the other night with the UFC. Oh, that dude. was a fun card. Electric. All that you can get started with today at Prize Picks. When you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS for that first deposit match up to $100. Mitch, why do you love Prize Picks? 
picks. I love prize picks because it's simple, easy to use, and it honestly helps me learn a little bit more about the NBA. It helps me learn more about the NHL, and even in games that, just to be frank, I don't really care about all that much. If you put down a few bucks and have an opportunity to win, sometimes up to hundreds of dollars, on any game, you're going to be locked and loaded for that two, three, four-hour stretch of you just watch it, and you're going to be able to learn. You're also going to be able to be entertained. In today's day and age, there's not many opportunities out there where you can be that entertained for that long for this price point with the opportunity to make a little bit of money. And yeah. if my dad can do it, I promise you, y'all could do it as well. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Make sure that you use code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Also, while, that, while we were just doing that read, yep. Bilal Nichols, three-year, twenty-one million dollar deal to the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, I'll tell you this right now: seven million dollars for Bilal Nichols, or twenty-seven million for Christian Wilkins. I'm taking Christian Wilkins at twenty-seven, and it's not close. I can't believe that Bilal Nichols just got a deal for seven million dollars. Like, don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot of fans that look at what the Raiders ended up giving Christian Wilkins, and I've seen it on social media. Oh, it's an overpay. I'll tell you right now, if this is what the market is and a guy like Bilal Nichols is getting seven a year, 27 for Wilkins is a good deal. Like, that is a, a lot, and I mean uh, a lot for him. One word reaction to Arizona signing of Nichols. Three years, $21 million, $7 million a year. Also, Robert Hunt, five years, one hundred mil, twenty million $20 a year for Hunt. I mean, this is, again, showing you that the Raiders are doing the right things here by bringing back Andre James. You were able to bring back James. You kept Parham at guard. I mean, if you were going to go out and look at some of those offensive guards, I'll tell you this right now. I'm not paying. Not that I wouldn't pay him. I'd rather give Christian Wilkins 27 instead of Robert Hunt 20. Like, that's a lot, a lot of money, man. That is wow. a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Um, JC does it. You are not scammed. Sent us two dollars and wanted me to say a ridiculous song that I can't say. That's like me being like, "All right, five dollars. You can get like whatever you want in reason." You're like, "I want your firstborn." I mean, no disrespect, JC. If you're gonna pick a song that drops, I'll just say the N word at least a hundred times in a song. That's on you. Yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm not even gonna entertain the <laughs> idea. JC, you played yourself. Yeah, that's, that's on you. Jordan Gill. Honestly, it looks more bad on you that you want us to sing that type of song. Um, Jordan Gill, better option. Trade up for quarterback, trade for field, pair him with Getze and our weapons, and draft defense at 13. What, what, what would you rather do, trade up for a quarterback or trade for fields? I mean, I'd rather trade up for Jaden Daniels or get a Caleb Williams or get a Drake May than trade for Justin Fields. Like, yeah. And now, would I rather trade for Justin Fields or draft Bo Nix, J.J. McCarthy at number 13? I'd rather trade for Justin Fields. That's, that's kind of where the, the deciding line for me is a little bit different. Francisco, thank you for the dollar super chat. Appreciate the support. Trevor Custer, Aaron Jones of the Raiders, he's released. We were just talking about that. Mitch, I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't see why you would do it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Devontae and Aaron Jones are, like, really good friends. Yeah. And it would be a intriguing backfield. It would be an interesting fit as well. I just, I just don't see the Raiders allocating that type of money. I also see Michael Gomez saying, Mitch, I get to pick. I mean, if I get to pick, then I'm going to give you three bangs because – to me, three bangs is worth more than one beer bong. Francisco, why is not one high on Bo Nix have him and AOC battle it out? Because you want to have a quarterback that has the potential to be a top 32 quarterback. Like, Bo is never going to be a top – or shouldn't say never. Bo is not a top 32 quarterback right now. Aiden O'Connell is not a top 32 quarterback right now. I just – I when I watch Bo Nix's game, I don't really see anything that inspires me to think that – this guy is going to be a quarterback that can start in the NFL on a I, regular day were basis. Were you higher on McCarthy or Knicks? Right now, I'm probably higher on JJ just because of the upside. I don't like either option. Like, both options scare me. Like, I, I know what Bo did at Oregon, but Bo was bad at the Senior Bowl. He was not very impressive at the Combine. I... I don't know, man. I, I, I do not want either of those guys. Jay Reezy. 
Don't know if you've talked about him yet, but how do you feel about Justin Simmons? Uh, I'm, I'm interested in what his market is going to be because he's just getting to that like 30 year mark around that age. Yep. There's a lot of safety still out there, which NFL media got got earlier. Xavier McKinney still on the market. Yep. The best free agent safety on the market, depending on age and like projection. But Simmons has been. I love Justin all, Simmons. He's been an all-pro the past three years. Justin Simmons is one of the best safeties in the NFL. Now, if you sign just, him, you're going why? with three safety looks. Yeah, and I don't think that going with a three safety look is a bad idea. I mean, again, if you're able to find a good value at a position, definitely entertain that option. But you have Marcus Epps. You have Trevon Merrick. Like, you already have a very solid safety duo. I would rather you spend the money that it's going to take to get Justin Simmons to put that towards a corner. What up, Raider fam? I feel like getting Jade and Daniels now would be crazy. If they're able to figure out a way to get Jade and Daniels Anything here to the Raiders. Is possible. I, if they're able to figure out a way to get Jade and Daniels to the Raiders, that is mind blowing. Mind blowing. I'd, I'd be a happy man. What up, Jermal? Get to drinking is what I, it, it was supposed to say. Remember, I drive over the road, Mitch. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a few shots in when I get off. All right, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Just remember, I drive on roads. Just remember, I drive on roads. I'm a road driver. Hey, some say those are the best drivers. So, most. I'm glad you're not a sidewalk driver. Uh, e Evanson P with Bakhti. Yeah, that also happened right after you left. David Bakhtiari, tackle for the uh, Packers. Packers released. With Bakhtiari being released, should the Raiders be on the lookout to sign him? I know that he has had the injury bug over the last couple of seasons. From what me and Mitch have heard, though, looks like they're looking to roll with Miller and Munford. Yeah, I mean, based on the conversation I had yesterday, which I was told yesterday that the Raiders were more than likely not going to be bringing back Jermaine Illuminor, they decided to allocate that money towards Andre James. So with that being said, they're confident in Munford, and they're going to give him a shot to be the starting right tackle, however... I could see them still looking at the draft and having somebody compete with Munford in that regard. So I, I don't think that the Raiders add a right tackle in free agency. Maybe I'm wrong in that. We will still see. But based off what I was told, I, I, I think they're going to roll with Munford and they're going to find somebody in the draft and have those two compete it out to be the starting right tackle. I think to the Raiders, they saw it as priority of being able to keep that left side together and if they do end up spending a little bit of money on the right side, maybe it does tip their hand a little bit of potentially them looking at Michael Penix Jr. But if you're Las Vegas and you're going into the draft and you know that you have nobody on your right side, does it make sense to draft Michael Penix? Like, yeah. I, we'll see. What's going on, guys? Very exciting offseason so far. I see us running it with Zamir. Wasn't bad this past season. Now let's go get Jaden Daniels. Can I get a Raiders? Let's go. Also, we are 50 likes away from another wheel spin. You got a boot in you? I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to. I have one right I here. Say you got a boot. I, I was just going to try to get through these supers and then. And then we'll get to it. I got you. Do that. Silver and facts. Time to catch up. I'll take this one, you, Chugs. Well, it's, it's two shots. That's what I mean. I'll take it. Oh, you'll take the two? <sighs> Time to catch KC. And hold, and hold L.A. Harbaugh's at bay. Wilkins was clutch. Time to get Fuller. He's saying he wants Kendall Fuller. And some fit pieces before grabbing Phoenix at 13. Or sooner if needed, Fisk or Peyton Wilson in the second round. And then what did he say? Uh, O-line third round, Marshawn, line fourth round uh, Marshawn Lloyd fourth round. Oh, and suck it, donkeys. All right, so according to Albert Breer, the Packers approached Aaron Jones about taking a pay cut recently. And uh, so it's going to be interesting how the addition of Josh Jacobs to that running back room affects those discussions. Now, remember, Aaron Jones was just simply released. So they asked him to take a pay cut. He said no. I said no, no, and no. And then they go get Jacobs. I said, I want you to get a pay cut. And he said no, no, no. 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 DJ Faze coming in. When would we know if we trade up for Fields? I think it might be closer to the draft whenever he gets traded now. What do you mean by trade up for Fields? Or trade for Fields, I guess. Well, that's why I'm confused. Is it trade up for Jaden Daniels? If it's trade for Fields. Oh, no, he's saying when would we know if we trade up or go for Fields? Oh, uh, okay. I, I mean, at, at this point, I think it's draft day. 
If Which? you're the Raiders, if you trade up at this point before the draft, you are going to overpay. Which, for, for fans, sucks. For us, we're going to have a lot to talk about until the draft. I mean, I, I'm telling you right now, I, at this point, I think the Raiders are going to wait till the draft. And they're going to roll their dice. and They're going to try to go get their guide. Also, Our, the Falcons are expected to sign former tight end Charlie Warner to a three-year, $12 million deal. Our guy, Chef! What up, Chefy? I don't blame JJ. He was always about his bag. That's why he held out. He knows running back time is limited. They tried for two years to sign him, and all, it was always about the bag. I mean, yeah, I mean, which is understandable. Man, if, I'm, if I'm going for a job, if I'm doing a, a job, if, if I told you, hey, Chef, you could stay at your job right now for five or for a hundred thousand, or you could go somewhere else for five hundred thousand. You'd go to that other job. Absolutely. Now again, like I know Jacobs wanted to try to stay. I also know that the Raiders tried to get Jacobs to stay, but based off of the numbers that you see coming out right now at the running back position, I mean, I don't blame Jacobs for going. Now again, we don't know how much money he's going to get. But after I talked to Jacobs' agent, I mean, he told me that they're going to try to get a deal very close to Barkley. If Jacobs ends up getting a deal where he's making $14, $15 which, million dollars per year. To me, then, it would be stupid by the Packers to ask Aaron Jones for a pay cut, which I think Aaron Jones and Josh Jacobs, it, it, I think Josh Jacobs may be a little bit more talented, but it's close. Like, they're right there one and two. It's, it's too close to make this call. Yeah, to it's, where it's if too close. Aaron Jones didn't take a pay cut and you pay Josh Jacobs significantly more, if I was Aaron Jones... I would be waiting to play the Packers to go oh, off. Dude, I, I think for Green Bay, again, if they're going to give Jacobs 14, 15 mil and they're unwilling to give, like, I'd rather take Aaron Jones at 11 million than Jacobs at 14. Yeah. Like, I would. I, I, would, take, I would rather take Eckler at six or seven. I agree with that. Luis but. Lopez, do you think Wilkins keeps 94? Who, who's wearing 94 for the Raiders right now? Oh, man. Matthew Butler? Oh, he's got it. <laughs> he's got it no questions asked yeah i'm pretty sure it's matthew butler if he says no you cut him <laughs> no nah, i i mean we'll see if wilkins wants 94 he's gonna get 94 like eric velasquez if no daniels or Penix, thoughts on joe milton gross the quarterback from tennessee he stinks he's not good don't let pd hear you i know but i i don't think that he's gonna be an nfl quarterback He's going to be a good athlete. Maybe he can turn his career into something that looks like a Taysom Hill. But no, Joe Milton is not a starting NFL quarterback in uh, in the in the league. Um, Anthony says Aaron Jones got cut. Can he slide to LV? We've been talking about this. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't really see it. I don't really see it. Also, Renfro just said on Wilkins, he's one of my best friends, and I'm going to have. What does this say? I'm going to have to hide my towel from him because I know he's going to try and take it during the game. I don't know what that means. Who said that? Hunter Renfro, I guess. That's what it's being reported. I don't know. Weird. Weird. It's a somebody from Quick Twitter. random question, but I was kind of thinking about this earlier. I think a lot of times you see tight ends take oh, the Mayer. year two leap. Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer. How good do you think he can be? Top five, top 10, top 15? How good do you think Michael Mayer can be next season? And I guess that's a lot depending on the quarterback, but yeah, I mean, I think he can be a. I think he's going to be a top five overall tight end. Also, we got some breaking news here: Patrick Queen going to Seattle. So that had been reported that he was going to follow his DC McDonald. Mike McDonald to the Seattle Seahawks. Yep. Looks like that. I'm, do we have numbers yet? Don't have the numbers yet, but this one's rolling in from Schefter: Patrick Queen to the Seattle Seahawks. That's a big deal. I'll tell you what, today's been fun. It's been a it's Today been a day. has been a fun, fun day here. I, I, I think we're ready for another Raiders signing here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am too. I'm stoked. It's like it's like you're chasing that white dragon. Right after you get the signing, you're like, I, I need another signing. I need another though. I don't think we're gonna get another uh Christian Wilkins today. Well, there's only one, so right, I, that, I would guarantee that we would. Imagine. <laughs> they sign Wilkins again! By God, he's got a chair. Devontae Parker has been released by the New England Patriots. Oh, no. All right. I'm gonna hit the, I guess I'm going to hit this boot. I will need to Take use the facilities. All right, that's fine. Uh, we will also need a, a spin when you get back. 
a spin. Oh, I can I can go ahead and spin it. You gonna spin it now? You would. If you guys haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. We're gonna be live all week, ma'am. Oh, give me that. Give me a chocolate. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, I was really hoping for a piece of chocolate, dude. That's devastating. Wow. All, All right. right. Well, I'll, whenever Robert I... Hunt, five for 100 mil, 63 guaranteed. Whenever I come back, I guess I'll bring you a uh, condominium shot. Appreciate that. Are you going to do the boot first? Yeah, I'm gonna do the boot, hit the restroom real quick. I'll leave you with a, a different way in. Okay. Get get the thoughts flowing a little bit. Six a.m. These thoughts. Remember, y'all. I just saw Will Duncan send in a ten dollar super chat. Every ten that we get, you're gonna be entered in for a chance to win a Raiders report jersey at the end of today's show. Let's go to Will. Just want to say you guys kill it every day. I usually sleep during the day and miss out on the fun, but always listen at work and at night. Hyped about Wilkins. Raiders! I'm watching the Raiders report. At night. At night. <laughs> I appreciate that, Will. Uh, Chugs and I, we do a lot of wild and crazy shit, but we do it because we love this show, and honestly, we, we love hanging out with y'all, and I have a lot more fun when we get wild and crazy. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. My body hates me. My mind's telling me no. But my body... But my body's telling me, yeah. Last name I got was James. Other people that are in this, we got David Garrison, you in. And then Brian Howell, you in. So $20 Venmo, you have a chance to win $120 as it stands right now. Chugs, boot time. You got it. I believe it. Thing is, in we're you. $600 away from your boot. Yeah, I know. We'll get. We'll figure that out. We can get there. We'll figure that. I think we can get there in the next five minutes. I don't think we. I don't think that would be. A good I idea. think we can. You think? I think we can definitely get to a Mitch boot in the next five, ten minutes. Wow, really? It's a lot of confidence on your end. Chuggy Bowl taking down a boot. Oh my lord! Have you ever seen somebody just? It's it's impressive. Uh. I've watched you crush over 100 boots in my time. I just, you got to stand back and watch. You just got to stand back and watch. Ooh. All right. Time out here. Oh, my Lord. What? Jeremy Fowler got got. With who? The Patrick Queen report. Oh! Jeremy Fowler just got got. This is nuts. The amount of people that are getting got is insane. Fowler just reported that Patrick Queen has agreed to sign with the Seattle Seahawks to find out that it was the wrong Adam Schefter. All right, so Patrick Queen is staying put. All right, at least maybe I don't know anywhere yet. Correct, Patrick That's Queen. The, all right, that's two, two, two gots today. Two gots already. Jeremy Fowler said that Patrick Queen, per Adam Schefter, is going to Seattle. I mean, technically three if you're counting Deion Dawkins getting everybody as well. True, though I am looking right now, and again I saw it from Fowler, so I didn't really see it. The, the tweet, Adam Schefter, the at is at Penix to Metka. <laughs> I don't know. It got Fowler. See, the thing is, they're all trying to be first. Yeah. Yep. This is, uh, that's wild. I, I, it's hilarious when even these guys, they get got. Because, again, I mean, I think it shows, and like you said, everyone tries to be first. Everyone wants to act like everyone's got sources, and they just they just spread shit. Oh, wow. That, that's you're, why, you're that's, trying to get them going. That's why the whole thing with Twitter and the blue checks has been a nightmare. Oh, I agree. But, hey, Elon's laughing to the bank. Elon's laughing to the bank. Okay, man. 
Is Aiden O'Connell a top 32 quarterback in the NFL? Rank him down below. Give me a yes. Give me a no. Manny, you're right. If you're not first, you're last. Uh, if you're not first, you're last. Is Aiden O'Connell a top 32 quarterback in the NFL? Yes or no? I'm going to give some shout-outs here on the show. See what you guys have to say. Uh, Vigenzo says no. Eric Duran's going to go with a yes. Alex says Jacobs to Green Bay. That is correct. Sweet Jazz, yes. Brandon says hell yes. Zalesbo, I think, ranks him at number 53. Emilio, yes. Just Nick, yes. Hector Gomez, no. How much cap space do we have left? The problem is I don't know if they have updated the cap numbers. Yeah, I don't. Over the cap and Spotrack both have not updated their numbers. So unfortunately, I don't know the exact number. If I was going to make a, a guess, a projection, I'm going to say that the Raiders are somewhere around 10 million in cap space right now. Again, that's that's a guess because Wilkins is making about 27 million a year. Andre James was set at 6.3. With Amir Abdullah, I'm going to guess you're somewhere probably around $10 million. Yeah, this is, it's wild. Let's see what we got here. We got yes from Stoffel the Badger on whether or not Jacobs is a, not Jacobs, Aiden O'Connell's a top 32 quarterback. Uh, Angel says 32. Stay Solid says no. Ryan Ross, no. Urza says 32 to 35. King Zay, no. Javier, yes. Eddie, yes. Ricardo, how about Eric Armstead? Uh, I would be open to the idea of the Raiders bringing in Armstead. At least I would have been. Now, I just don't know how much money you're also going to be able to allocate to that defensive tackle spot. So Armstead was asked to take a contract pay cut at $17 million. He said no. So, like, he's probably looking for 17 mil. Like, I think he's a hell of a player, but are you going to allocate then all that money also into the defensive tackle room? That I don't know if that one makes a lot of sense. You still have other needs. Like, I would rather the Raiders give 17 million to a, a cornerback or somebody else in the secondary than going out and spending even more money yet again at the defensive tackle position. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Antonio Gibson's deal is three years for $11.25 million, 5.3 fully guaranteed. So honestly, that's a pretty solid deal there by New England. I don't think that's a bad deal at all by New England. I mean, you saw a guy like Antonio Gibson. He can at least catch the football. I want to say that he's had at least 36 catches in all four years he's been in the NFL. So three years, 11.6. All right, we got some more news here. This one's kind of big, kind of. The Texans are expected to sign cornerback Jeff Akuda. So former first-round pick cornerback from Ohio State got drafted by the Lions, spent this past season, I want to say, with the Atlanta Falcons. He is headed to the Houston Texans on a one-year deal. One-year deal, Jeff Akuda. What do you guys think? Alex Gordier says, you know what, Mitch? Put me in that race. You got it. I'm also seeing a lot of other names. Don't get me wrong. We will get to all your Super Chats. Jeremy just had to take a quick little pee break, and he'll be back here in just a jiffy. He'll be back in just a jiffy. Anthony Green, you, sir, are in. If anybody wants in, we got two different races today, okay? The first race that we are doing today is a duck race. $20 Venmo. We've already given away $400 today. $20 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365. Right now, you have a chance to win $130. If you want to get in our March Madness bracket, that's a $50 Venmo at Mitchell Renz 365. You have the opportunity to win $1,600 plus. You're also going to be in another March Madness bracket that we do. So, the way that that's going to work, it's going to be interesting. Man, one on one type of races. Jeff Akuda, what is this? Oh, bro, that's gross. You're doing me dirty. Jeff Akuda, one year, 4.75. Did you hear me? Jeff Akuda, one year, 
4.75. I forgot about my condiment shot. Jeremy gave me Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh, dude. This is going to make me throw up. Okay. Bro, this is not going to be good. I like sauce, but not by itself. Oh. I did. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know, ma'am. It's something about when you just eat sauce by itself, it's, it's gross. It's gross, man. It's gross. Uh, I see some people asking about me, my take on Aiden O'Connell. I think Aiden is a good quarterback. I don't view him as a top 32. I will leave it at that. <laughs> that, that gets us usually into a whole other book of worms here. I do not view Aiden O'Connell as a top 32 quarterback in the NFL. Aaron Winnick says, you know what, Mitch? Put me in the duck race. Aaron, you got it, man. Eric Winnick says, get me in. You in. I will say for our March Madness bracket, it's the first 64 people that get in. We have 50 spots left. We got 50 spots left, and it looks like Rosario said, you know what, Mitch, put me in. Rosario Morella is in. And then Aaron Winnick said, I want to be in. March Madness. In. What up, Danner? If no Daniels, would you take Fields over J.J. or Knicks? Yes. I would. I would not take J.J. McCarthy in round one. I also would not take Bo Nix in round one. Those are quarterbacks that I'm not high on. Barlow. Raiders. What up, Barlow? Guys, we are live here on the Raiders Report. We're breaking down all the moves that have happened here around NFL free agency. The big news that happened today around the silver and black. The Las Vegas Raiders, they signed Christian Wilkins to a four-year deal worth $110 million, but they're also letting Josh Jacobs go, and Jacobs is signing with the Green Bay Packers. So it's been an eventful day here, to say the least, on the Raiders Report. Armstead or Young? For solid price would be nice. Young who? Chase Young? I mean, to me, I'd rather have Armstead than Chase Young. But what do you consider nice price? Because I think both these guys cost $15 million a year. That's too much for me. Let's go to DCAM. I think if we get Jaden Daniels and beef up the O-line, it guarantees us the playoffs. What are y'all's thoughts on needs to make the playoffs? We definitely need to bulk up our offensive line. Our left side's good. You got Colt Miller, Dylan Parham, Andre James. Your right side is a big old question mark. Your right side right now is Thayer Munford, and then I don't know. Like, I think Thayer is a good player. I would much rather uh, Munford be a backup. Like, I would rather him be a backup. However, I still believe that this team needs to allocate some some money to the offensive guard position. I, I like the offensive tackles that I see in the draft, and if the Raiders were able to get like a Talisi Fuaga, if you're able to get a J.C. Latham, maybe you're able to get an Olu Fashana, you kick him over to the right side. Like there's, there's some good right tackle prospects that the Raiders can get at 13, even at pick 44. Let's go to DG. What running back are we getting in the draft now? To me, the running backs that I would target are Ray Davis out of Kentucky, Marshawn Lloyd from USC would be another name that I would consider. Like, those would be my top two backs. Now, maybe they look at uh, Jalen Wright from Tennessee. Could be another name to at least keep in mind. Dude, that, that sauce by Chick-fil-A, that, that's not good. By itself, it's not good, dude. Yeah, it's not my favorite. But by itself, gnarly. Gnarly. Francisco, do we sign a cheap big-name tight end this free agency? No. Do we sign a big-name tight end this free agency? Cheap big-name. I If if cheap big-name is Mercedes Lewis, then yes. I, I, I think the Raiders signed Mercedes Lewis. I mean, he's been with Luke Getze from his time in Green Bay. Then he went over to Chicago. He's a blocking tight end. 
they want to rely on Michael Mayer. Hmm? Tanyan could be another name. However, how much does he go for? You don't think it'd be that much? Okay. Chuck said three or four mil. DJ, what's our cap space now? Potential top free agents left. If you want to talk about the top free agents left, I'll look at our list right here real quick. Let me see. We got... Oh, boy. There's a lot of names that are gone. Daniil Hunter is still out there. Tyron Smith, Kendall Fuller, Leonard Williams, Marquise Brown, DJ Reader, Patrick Queen, Cameron Curl, Calvin Ridley. We got Chitabe Awuzie, Chase Young. Derek Henry, Kevin Zeitler, Stephon Gilmore, Frankie Louvu, Steven Nelson, Dal uh, Dalton Schultz already got. Connor Williams is a name to keep in mind. Levanta David, Jadeveon Clowney, Kenny Moore, Zadarius Smith, Xavier McKinney, uh, Mackay Becton, Josh Uche. Dude, this is confusing. And now we have another source off. It was reported that Jeff Akuda signed a one-year deal with the Texans. And now Albert Breer is reporting that Akuda is signing a one-year deal with the Falcons. Dude, they have been all over the place today. Albert Breer says Jeff Okuda one-year deal with the Falcons. I don't know. It was also reported that Okuda signed a one-year deal with the Texans. I mean, that does make me wonder if what they're saying is true out there. Is Aaron Wilson just like... I think Aaron Wilson's just saying Texans for every time. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. But here's the thing. Pelissero also said Texans. Tom Pelissero said the Texans are signing Jeff Okuda. Mike Garofolo said it. I think Albert Breer's wrong. I think Albert Breer's wrong. I think Albert Breer's wrong. Albert Breer just said the Falcons are giving. I think Albert is not looking at the team name, and he's just throwing it out there because everybody else is saying that Akuda is going to the Texans. What does this mean? Jamar Chase said, I K Y L. What is I? Jamar Chase just tweeted, L O L. I K Y L, bro. What does I K Y L stand for? I know you lying. I know you lying. Ah, man. Um. Uh, almost two. Oh man. <laughs> What up, Alex? Shout out to you. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. I think it's the right. If you're going to overpay, you're going to overpay at that position. Oh, dude. And Albert Breer says, oops, a typo. He's going to the Texans. Uh, other news here, the Texans are expected to sign Danico Autry. Two years, $10 million deal. Danico Autry to the Texans. Two years, 10 mil. I'm with you. I think the Texans right now are playing a little safe. They're going a little bit of the safe route here. Also, Chuggy Bull, can you give me a wheel spin? 
Can you get me a wheel spin? All right, let me look here real quick at some people that we may have just got in our duck race here. So I did get a few extra names. And again, we got 4,200 people here. Every 250 likes, wheel spin. Though I am extremely nervous if I got to do another shot of whatever that sauce was. I don't know if I could do another shot of that sauce. The sauce bows. Darnell Savage's deal was 21 million with 12.5 million in guarantees. So that was three years, 21 mil with 12.5 million in guaranteed money. The last duck race name that I got, I want to say is Rosario. So you in? Run in place, Mitch. All right, this one's rolling in here from Schefter, and this one happened. The Packers are signing Xavier McKinney to a four-year deal worth $68 million. That's massive. For a safety, four years, $68 million? Xavier McKinney to the Packers. Four year, 68 mil. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a lot, dude. Rosario, you in. And then the next name that I see is Roman Sanchez, you in. Jose Ramirez, you also in. Nathan Wolf. Also in. So the Eagles tried to get him, but the Packers win the deal, according to Diana Rossini. Other names that are getting here in this duck race, I see Jose Corona. You in. We got Tim Gallon. Hope I pronounced that right. You in. Johnny Gonzalez. In. All right, so Texans, the Nico Autry deal comes in at two years, $20 million. 10 .5 guaranteed. Johnny Gonzalez in. We got Steve. Steve Briscoe in. Paul Brewer in. Ivan Perez you in. All right, ready? What up, I guns? No to AOC. I take a bong hit to that prediction. Remember that I am high and might be wrong. You're not wrong by not wanting Aiden O'Connell. He's a good quarterback. However, he's not a top 32 quarterback in the NFL. Dakota, what do you think about getting Becton at his best? He has the potential to be a great right tackle, but at his worst, he's a league provides depth. Get those knees up. Get those knees up. Oh, God. I would say that I would be okay with the idea of taking a risk on Makai Becton. I loved him when he was first coming out of college at Louisville. The biggest problem for him was his inability to stay in shape. And I know that was one of the things that the Raiders dealt with previously with Trent Brown. But, like, Becton is a massive human being. If he can stay healthy, he can be a dominant right tackle. But because he has not been able to stay in shape, he's put on a shit ton of weight. And his knees have been bullshit. So, All right, you can stop running once you answer this next question. With Pat's trading Mac Jones, do you think we get Jaden Daniels? I sure hope so. <laughs> I hope we get Jaden. Oh, man. Dude, 210 jumping jacks is insane. Two, 210 jumping jacks is insane. I'm hurting right now. Yeah, that would be nuts, dude. Is cap money we have... Be cutting uh, Renfro and Garage. Is the money, wait, is cap money we have now before cutting? Yes. They haven't cut anybody yet. They have, they have not cut Renfro. They have not cut Jimmy Garoppolo. They technically don't have to do it until the 13th. If you want to add me as a friend also on Venmo, if that makes you, just so you know that I am getting it, I can accept your friend. Uh. Ivan, you in? I also see Keith.
Uh, hang on a second here. Marcos Perez. Also, there is um, some reports about the Raiders potentially trading for fields. Um, this is a report that's coming in from the Silver Bulletin, which the Silver Bulletin is an Ohio State news service. So again, they got some Ohio connections, and it says the Bears and the Raiders have had early discussions about a Justin Fields trade. Fields OC in Chicago, Getze. I mean, that would be interesting, man. That, what would be insane is all the beat reporters would be totally wrong on it. Which, again, I know the beat reporters have been wrong before. But sometimes, like, you got to trust, like, what they're reporting. And all the beat reporters have said that the Raiders are not going to trade for Justin Fields. If it ends up happening now, I mean, if you're able to get Fields for a third-round pick or a fourth-round pick, it could be interesting. Dude, this would be insane if the Raiders traded for Justin Fields. Again, that's a report coming out. We'll see. Would you want the Raiders to trade for Justin Fields? Like, I'm still then looking in the draft, dude. Like, I'm still going to have the draft open. Michael Gomez, am I in the duck race? Yes. Michael Gomez, you are in the duck race. I gave you three bangs, and you're in the duck race. All right, we got a big, we got a breaking news deal here for the Giants. They are signing running back Devin Singletary. So their Saquon Barkley replacement is Devin Singletary. I don't know. I don't know if that's a replacement or not. All right, the next duck race is in two minutes. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. I'm not going to lie. I looked at that clock. I'm like, what is happening over there? What are we eating right now? I got nothing. I got some jelly beans. I did have a quesadilla. I did have a quesadilla. Honestly, pretty good quesadillas. Um, I see Oscar Meza. You in? $20 Venmo right now for an opportunity to win $260 here on the Raiders report. Yeah, right back there. The next duck race that we do. The next duck race that we do. Is going to be here in two minutes. And I'll tell you what. There is a, a lot of chatter. A lot of chatter around Justin Fields right now to the Raiders. I think that's where we got to go from here on out. Lots of chatter. Lots of chatter around the Raiders trading for Justin Fields right now. I'm I'm telling you what, man. <laughs> this would be insane. Should the Raiders trade for Justin Fields? Give me a yes. Give me a no. I mean, if if this ends up happening, I do think it just goes to show that even the people who are next to the Raiders every single day, the beat reporters, they don't always know either. Because there is a lot. Singletary's deal is a three-year deal. Wow. I mean, he, he was good for the Texans last year. Yep. Um, Dude. Justin Fields? But he got shut down in the uh, playoffs. So I don't know. Playoffs? Talking playoffs. I mean, there's a lot of people saying yes. My question would be for what draft pick? Because, again, I'm okay with the Raiders trading for fields. I am. I am more than at, okay with that idea. At, at this point, you shake them down for the least possible deal. You say a fourth. What else are you getting? We'll give you a fourth. Dude. Are you shake them down. You say, what are you going to trade them to the Vikings? Where are you going to trade true. them? true. I mean, you're right. I would say out of the teams that could potentially take a QB, Giants, Vikings. Steelers already got Russ. Broncos? Broncos, maybe. I don't know if he really fits with what 
Sean Payton wants. I don't disagree with that at all. Like I, when I think about what type of quarterback would fit with this Raiders team, I think Fields would be an option. But why would you bring in Luke Getze then? <laughs> There's a lot of questions that are going to be. Um, don't get me wrong. If the Raiders make the deal, I will be excited for Fields just because I do think he's a better option than a lot of other quarterbacks in the draft. And if you're able then to build around him, like even if you trade for Fields. I still don't think that that means that they're not going to trade up for Jaden. Talking about Derrick Henry on screen right now, Raiders mentioned as one of the teams, maybe. I think that's just because Jacobs left. I, I would be pretty. I'll tell you what, though, a fun offense. Josh or Derrick Henry, Justin Fields. All Are right, you... so Devin Singletary is getting three years worth sixteen and a half, worth up to nineteen point five. I mean, I'm just telling you right now, the amount of chatter that's going on right now around Justin Fields, dude, it's making me really wonder if he's coming here. It is. It's making me wonder. All right, we did hit the timer for our duck race, so All right. now is your last chance to enter if you want to get in. $20 uh, Venmo to Mitchell Renz 365 Where are we at right now? All right, um, I'm not going to lie. I got a shit ton of people that I got to catch up on. Uh, so we got Saul Lopez in. Richie Hutch, you in. Steve OK in. Clint Organ, you in. Nice. That's a close one there, Clint. Eric Wertman. What up, Wert? I got Philip Bogert in. Harrison Yaff in. Brandon Higgins, OG. Justin Gilbert in. We got Juan Gutierrez in. Soljaman Lack in. Nice. Yeah, I'm so. Soldierman, I'm sorry, man. That that name for me is a tough one. I see Jason E. B. In. Amy in Ryan Brown in. You know what, Jeremy? What's crazy about this race is we are exactly yet again. Winner gets four hundred. Alright, if you send in anything else, you're gonna be in our next race. Gonna be in our next race. Going to be in our next race. I sent you all the names. Make sure 40 names is there right now. So again, if we get anything from here on out, you're going to be in our next race here on the Raiders report. We just got this next race. 40 people are in for a chance to win $400. So people in the next race. Patrick Taylor, next race. Roy Garcia, next race. All right, Patrick Taylor, Roy Garcia are the next people in our duck race here. Dude, I, this is going to be something. So this race is going to be for what, 400 bucks? Oh, yeah. So we did the dogs the last time. What are we going with this <clears> one? <throat> um, did you send me the list? You did. Yes. Yes, I did. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go Lord. now. I really think, dude, I'm not going to lie, based on some of the – Shit's going on right now. Are they really about to trade for Justin Fields? That would be something, man. <sighs> if they did, I would feel a lot better about the quarterback situation. I really would. At this point, to me, it is either you're going to go get one of the top three quarterbacks or I'd rather you trade for Justin Fields. Honest to God. Shuffle it up. We got a lot of pot of gold. I will admit, this one is difficult to see because of the names. I will be honest. Three, two, one. Let's go. Winner's going to get $400. If you're wondering, am I in? The people that are in, Nicholas Potter, Williams Gold, Frank Rivas. Uh, another one for William Gold, Jason E.B., Jerry McLaughlin. Michael Gomez, Johnny Caldera. I see Trent Hamada, James Bowman. 
Um, I'm seeing Trent Hermada, David Garrison, Brian Howell, Anthony Green, Eric Winnick, Rosanio, Roman, Jose, Nathan, uh, Jose Corona. And actually, there's two names that I put here together. Corona and Tim are actually put in together, which uh, that one's on me. Johnny, Steve Briscoe, Paul Brewer, Ivan, Keith. So I'm actually going to give a few more spots here to some extra people. Oh, man. Steelers reach an agreement with Cameron Johnston. Nine seconds to go. Is Jerry McLaglin going to get a dub? Is Jerry going to get a dub? Nicholas Potter for the pot of gold. All right, so I feel like I ripped off Jose Corona and Tim Gallahan just because I accidentally put them in together. So for that reason, Tim and Jose Corona... You're going to get an extra entry into our next race here. Nicholas Potter. Let me just make sure I get your name correct. Nick Nicholas. Soldier Man gets the butthole pick. Sometimes that's going to happen. Nicholas Potter. You are just the winner. Of $400. If you could please confirm with me down below that you just received 400 bucks, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated there, good sir. Greatly, greatly appreciated, good sir. Get in. Oh, man. What is going to happen here, man? I don't know, bro. I, I legitimately do not know. Like I said, there is a lot, and I mean a lot of chatter around right now based on what I am seeing the Raiders trading for Justin Fields. There's a part of me that thinks it's going to happen, dude. There's a part of me that thinks it's going to happen. What up, Lamont? Not too late to get Trey Lance. You're not wrong, but then again, like, why do we? I'd rather trade for Justin Fields than Trey Lance, right? I would definitely rather that. Somebody said Renfro traded to Dallas. Haven't seen that yet. Eric, I'm telling y'all, Fields and Henry would be nasty. It would be a power running game, to say the least. Like, there'd be a lot of talent right there. Like, I will say, if you bring in Justin Fields, I would almost, I would want another running back. Also, though. I just got to say, be careful. There are a lot of trolls in the chat right now. Correct. Field to the Raiders has not happened yet. Correct. I see a ton of people saying, it happened. It happened. Field to the Raiders. They're trolling. It has they're, not happened. They're yet. just saying that because we just mentioned Fields to the Raiders. Yep. Once the breaking news comes in, if it does come in. Like Tony Williams, troll. Yeah. Once, uh, again, I mean, we've already seen Jeremy Fowler has gotten got today. Albert Breer. Has gotten got today. Yeah. There, there's been a lot of people that have gotten got because today is the I want to try to be first instead of double checking to make sure that it's accurate. You know what I mean? Which has never happened before in sports media. <laughs> never before. I'm telling y'all from Eric Velasquez, Fields and Henry would be nasty. Dude. I wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah, it would be. Uh... I wouldn't mind that. One bit. John Scheffler, I think it comes down to if they don't think they can move up in the draft to get a quarterback, I think they've tried. It's going to cost too much. It, it is going to cost a lot. And if you're confident that a certain guy is your guy, then maybe you go try to do it. But, I mean, I, I, I see the Patriots taking a QB. I see the Commanders taking a quarterback. And I see the Bears taking a quarterback. You know, like... Unless you think that one of those teams is going to take a J.J. McCarthy over to the top three, I don't really forecast that happening. But, like, if you're Las Vegas and you're able to trade, I mean, what legitimately, what if you're able to get Fields for a fourth-round pick? If you're able to get Justin Fields for a fourth-round pick and now you still have all these other options that you can use, that you can go forward with and build in free agency, build in the draft, like... Guys, that's not a bad option. Like, you might not like Justin Fields. I do view him, though, as a quarterback that has upside. I do view him as maybe in the right situation he could be better. I'll admit, I don't love the idea of him and Luke Getze getting back together, but 
What if it's a totally different offense in Las Vegas? Because they have totally different pieces, which they do. We'll see, man. There is a lot of speculation. Alan Cruz, Johnny Sins to the Raiders. You heard it here first. Roman Sanchez, yes, a third and some cash. What position does Johnny Sins play? Defensive end. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried you were going to say tight end. I was like, bro, you got to stop watching on HD then. Roman, third and some cash. Potentially. Potentially. Here we go. Uh, we got Will Duncan. Jeremy, we are 100 likes away from, from the next wheel, wheel spin. spin. Another one. Another one. And remember, every 10 that we get, you're entered in for a chance to win a Raiders Report jersey. Yeah, I keep looking. I'm waiting for this Justin Fields news to break. I gotta. I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm. I can't wait to see what happens. I'd be okay with it. I'm telling you right now. I'm okay with the move. Will said. I've said it once. I've said it twice. I'm okay with the Raiders trading for Justin Fields. Uh, agree with Chugs. You get Fields for a fourth or less. It's a W and a big upgrade over AOC. Weird getting him and Getzy, but I'd roll the dice <clears throat> there over rolling with AOC all day long. Agreed. I couldn't agree with you more. If you're telling me, yes, I know that Getze was kind of a weird fit with Fields, definitely something to think about, but I'd rather have Fields and Getze than O'Connell and Getze. Also, we got some big news here rolling in. Another defensive tackle prospect that we talked about a few times, Grover Stewart. Looks like he's going to be staying with the Indianapolis Colts, and that is going to be a three-year, $39 million deal. I mean, that's a... Or keeping Grover for three years, 39. So think about that even. Like, Grover was expected to get 10 to 11. Yeah. I mean, you're seeing it right now. Like, how, how much did he get per 39, year? 39, so 13. He's getting 13 a year. Wow. For Grover Stewart. Like, that would have been a move that McDaniels tried to make before. It was like, oh, we're not going to pick Wilkins. They went and got their guy. You can't, I'm telling you right now, you can't ruin today for me. Nicholas. You can't ruin today for me. For a tantu, no. How would you say that last name? Huh? Nicholas, am I in Mitch? Um, You're like, I'm not even going to try. Oh, wow. Gus Edwards going to the Chargers. Austin Eckler on the move. Eckler's a, Eckler's a Raider. <laughs> I don't know about that. Jason Frank, I do not understand why we would possibly trade for Fields. And yes, you were in the race. We have his old coordinator, who I assume got hired by saying Fields was not a fit for him. Recreating the Chicago offense is... I mean, what's, what's crazy is, again, the reason why I have been on the it's not going to happen train uh, is says, just... Is the plan, question mark? The reason why I've been on the it's not going to happen train is because every single Raiders beat reporter has said... The Raiders aren't trading for Justin Fields. Every Raiders beat reporter has said that the Raiders viewed that Fields was the problem, not Luke Getze. So, again, I, we know that the beat reporters have been wrong before, but at the same time, I do kind of want to wrap my mind around the idea of trying to run it back. Because running it back would be... <laughs> it's, it's a decision. I don't know if it's a decision that I would make. But at this point, if you don't think that you can get one of those top three quarterbacks, it's the option I would do. Like, I would rather the Raiders trade for Justin Fields than draft Penix, McCarthy, Bo Nix, any of those other options at 13. If you're able to get, if you're able to get Michael Penix Jr. At, at pick 44 or trade for Justin Fields, I'd rather you get Penix. I don't know how likely that is, though. What a day today has been. We got 4,200 people here in the chat, Jeremy. If you guys want to get those questions, comments up here on screen, hashtag Raiders or Super Chat. Uh, he said, I, I don't mind. Oh, Fields. great nickname. If he gets. If it, so Shields? I, I, I know it's a typo. Great nickname if he gets oh, Justin Shields. I'm a Raider man. I'm telling you this right now. I'm stealing, stealing this. I'm stealing this. Give me Justin Shields. Dude, uh, this tweet's going to go viral, Raider Man. And I want you, I'm going to comment from Raider Man. I don't know if you came up with it, but we're going to go with it. Justin Shields. Oh, maybe, I, maybe I won't be able to do this picture. 
Are you trying to get an edit of him? I have one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Justin uh, <laughs> Shields. He said, don't forget we have much better offense in Chicago. Take Fuaga at 13, trade back up in the first, and take Phoenix. Just win, baby. Now, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't trade back up in the first. But if Phoenix is dropping into the second round, do you take him if you trade for Fields? Or do you just try to build all the way around Fields? <sighs> I'm building around fields. Um, if you don't feel like that you're going to be able to get Jaden, that's why you're trading for Justin Fields. I'm drafting a guy like, like if you told me right now our starting offensive line is Colton Miller, Dylan Parham, Andre James, worst case scenario, Greg Van Roten again. Maybe even they kick Thayer Munford into right guard. And you draft Talisi Fuaga, who even there's some people that wonder if Fuaga is going to be a guard because of his short arms. Like I would still put him at tackle. Like. This gives you the opportunity to build a stacked roster all around him. I also just tweeted out Justin Shields, and in one minute, it's got 100 likes. And I put credit RaiderMan01 on YouTube. And then Jake Smith commented, real ones, no, Raider Man said it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love y'all. No, Raider Man, I need to know, was this a type? I think it was a typo. I think it was a typo. I love it, though. I love Justin Shields. Justin Shields. Give it to me. Luis Lopez, would Bears accept our 2025, 2026, 2027 first-round picks for this year's first overall pick? I think it takes more. I think it takes more than three first-round picks to go up to number one. And I don't think the Bears are willing to trade out at number one. I, it sounds like they're content on going with Caleb Williams at one and they're shopping fields right now. From all the reports that we've heard, they're shopping fields, so it wouldn't make no sense for them to go back and then try to trade number one overall pick. Oh, man. What Congrats a day. to Chugs and his wife. Excited for the upcoming season. Thank you. Married man. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Agent Red, how did we get here? I don't know how we got here. Dennis Cook. Dennis Cooked. Pair character sliding on the floor on his knees saying, Goal! Goal! DJ Faze, fifth and Renfro for fields. I don't... I think Renfro is a plus in a trade. Yeah, I he's think, not. Nice. I think teams would see that as a negative because you have to take on his contract. And uh, you're going to have to – why Why would you want to pay Hunter Renfro $11 million per year? Yeah. Like I would say right now if Renfro's on the open market, five or six at the max. Like, yeah. I don't see a team trading for Renfro because it makes no sense. You don't want to pay Renfro who – on the Bears, even right now, they don't have a great wide receiver room, but still like – once they draft, they, they have the ninth pick. They're, I, I'm almost guaranteed the Bears are going to take a wide receiver in the draft this year. Yep. Renfro would be, what, their third or fourth wide receiver at best on the depth chart? I mean, the problem is you're getting an injury-prone receiver that's had a bunch of concu concussions that can't run block. Like, I don't, I don't know if Renfro's got value anymore, man. I, I really don't. Joe Gonzalez, feels ain't bad. Look, has not happened yet. Too many trolls. I go to Clemson, and my vision is one, sign Wilkins, two, draft Nate Wiggins, three, Fields, slash Geno Stone going from the Ravens, and he's going now to the Bengals. Bengals. The Bengals. Geno Stone. Geno a stone. How do you feel about Nate Wiggins in round one? Do you go corner? Or, like, now that you have defensive tackle, if you – Trade for Fields, what position are you going for at 13? Um, I know that I'm a Nate Wiggins fan. However, one thing that I was told over the weekend is if the Raiders go corner, it's not Wiggins. Terry and Arnold? They, Quinion Mitchell. They love Terry and Arnold. They think that Terry and Arnold fits more of what they want from a defense. And I'm telling you right now, based off the conversations that I had this weekend, you guys have known Nate Wiggins has been my number one corner uh, this entire draft process. I'm telling you that I do this show based on Raiders, what I'm told for Raiders. Wiggins will no longer be my number one corner for the Raiders going forward. I actually don't even think Wiggins is top two. If I had to guess, again, this is just based off of what I was told over the weekend. Now, could have been like my media row source, which if Bro. I told you all my media row source, it would be hilarious. Wow. <laughs> What a great show, by the way. Euro Trip, great movie. Bro, 
What a what a great movie, um, dude. That is. If I could, if I told y'all who told Jeremy and I that Andre's not coming back, I think you guys would kind of laugh about it. However, I would say Terry and Arnold is the clear cut number one corner on the Raiders' big board right now. I I, I think that he would be the clear cut number one corner at the big board right now. Uh, I think Quinya Mitchell's a hell of a. I think he's a hell of a player too. But they want somebody that can. Give them a little bit more versatility, and I think Arnold's the guy that they have on their big board, based off of what I was told this weekend. We'll see, though. Let's go to Mr. Scheffler. Scheffler. What up, Scheffler? I'm saying all three teams need a quarterback, unless you're just going to way overpay. It's better oh, wait, just wait, get wait. him. One like away. Who's going to be the like to get us a wheel spin? One like away. Oh, boy. Who's it going to be? One like away from a wheel spin. Who's going to be that one person? We just need one of you. Yeah, I don't know who it's going to be. Who's going to be like 3,500? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Well, okay, it just jumped to 3626, so. There was a lot of you. All right, so there's a bunch of y'all. Well, that means we're, hey, okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're now 20 away from another wheel spin. Do we get two? What do you mean we're 20 away? Oh, wait, we're, we blew by that. Yeah. So now we're already at two wheel spins. Now we're 200 away from another wheel spin. We are 200 away from another wheel spin. You know what, Jeremy? Do you guys like to roll the dice here a little bit? You want to roll the dice here? If we get to 4,000 likes, whatever it lands on, times it by three. Too much? Nah. No? Okay. Roll it. Let's get at least one in here. All right. Because now we're 100 away from so, another one. Yeah, we're at, we're at two wheel spins right now, so I'll do the first one. Let's go. No whammies, no Oh, wait, 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 wait. They can't see it. Yep. This one doesn't count, which is so thankful. Just so you all oh. know, Chug spun the wheel, and you guys couldn't see it. It landed on run in place for Chug, just so you all know. But we can't prove that, so we have to spin it again. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Uh, this one, oh. Even better! 60 seconds on the clock! Every 50 is a bang towards our March Bang competition, and every 50 chugs owes a beer bong. When Jeremy puts the clock up, no, I need the clock. Oh. No, wait, this, this spin doesn't count. Yes, it does. What do you mean? What is that? Gives us two minutes? I don't know. Two minutes on the clock. Come on. We're not going any further. Give me two minutes on the clock. Every 50 that comes in is a bang for the March competition, and every 50 is a beer bong. Good luck to you. Dude, I am getting screwed. You're getting, you're getting pwned right now. I'm not going to lie to you. You are getting... It's it's been a it's been a rough day for Mr. Chugs. I'll just do it at that. We're just gonna do it here. And the clock is on every fifty. <laughs> JC, drink up, brother. I mean, three. If, if if I get three of them, that's a it's a boot boot skadoo. Wow, here we go. According to Josina Anderson, the Raiders and Commanders have been interested in Austin Eckler. I told y'all. Eckler was a name to keep in mind. All right, we're 50 likes away from spinning it one more time. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to pour up this first one here for uh, Monsieur Chugs. Here you go. There's one. There's one. Take it back. Take it back now, y'all. Uh, one hop this time. Uh, uh, one hop this time. Uh, right foot, let's go. Dude, I'll tell you what. Chugs has been taking a beating today. Here you go. Chugs has been taking a beating today, and every 50, JC, JC said, all right, I see you. All right, I think we got to another wheel spin. My, my computer froze for a second, but. All right, hang on. I got to tweet this out. According oh. to Josina, according to Josina Anderson, 
Oh no, we're we're thirty away. The Raiders are interested in Austin Eckler. Thank God, only one beer bong so far. Oh, dude, I don't know. Thank you guys. We're at fifty seconds. Appreciate it. Come on. Appreciate the love. Come on. Austin Eckler interest per Josina Anderson, which, I mean, if you're Las Vegas, it's definitely an interesting uh, one. Taino Raider! Add one on there! Taino said for Chugs. Taino! Oh. Taino! Come on, y'all! Oh, you, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Wait, I gotta pour one up here for Monsieur. It's uh, the the Monsieur Chugs. Seven, six, five, four. Wait, I just got something. Josh Melton. Hang on, Josh Melton. Sorry, Chugs. Oh my. Goodness. Taino Raider Bang! Oh, what is it? He wants a boot. 150. 150 from Taino. Yep. All right, here's the thing. We're 20 likes away from another one. Once we do that. <laughs> Here's the thing. We are 200 away from me doing a boot race against Chugs, which this is going to be your third. Are you all right? Uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little stuffed. Yeah, a little, little stuffed. I got gotcha. you. And then Melton said, sorry, Chugs. So this how one, about this, this Melton? One's for, this one's for Melton. You're going to do that one for Melton? All right. Taino wants a boot. I mean, the man's got your name tattooed on his arm. You know, like... Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um, this one from Tim Phillips. If the top three teams won't trade their pick, do you prefer Fields for a third rounder or draft McCarthy at 13? Oh, Mr. Scheffler. Chef, I'll do that one since, Ugh. Chef, you're about as you're, – Scheffler's the next person I think that gets in Mount Raider more, if I'm being honest with you all. So I'll probably, I'll probably count that one. I'll do that one for Chef. If the top three teams won't trade their pick, do you prefer Fields or a third rounder – for a third rounder or draft McCarthy at 13. I'll be real. This is not close to me. I'm taking Justin Fields. I I would not draft J.J. McCarthy in round one if I was the Raiders. I wouldn't draft Bo Nix in round one if I was the Raiders. The only four quarterbacks that I would consider in round one for Las Vegas are Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, and Michael Penix Jr. The, and I when I say in round one, I'm not talking about pick 13. I'm talking about all 32 picks. Oh, shit. All right. We're, we're three like – or we're – uh, seven likes away from doing another wheel spin. Dun, 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 seven dun, likes away. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, what a day, man. You all right? Oh. You want to give me that? I'll do this one for Chef. Yep. For the for the chefy. All right. For, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and spin it. I know we're going to get six more likes. No, we are. No, we, we're one away. Who's going to be like 4,000? What a day. <laughs> What's so good is he put the wheel together. He put the wheel together. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if we've ever seen this. Bro, I mean, how many times? I think I've done what, two? Out of the wheel spins, two of them impacted me. The shot, and I had to run in place. Besides that, we've done 12 spins. More than that, we've done 16 spins. 16 spins. I think two have impacted me. I'll tell you what. Today's not your day to buy a lottery ticket. I know that. Do not buy a lottery ticket. All right. Well, we'll wow. Josh Jacobs' deal. Four years 48 million. However, 12.5 is guaranteed. That is interesting. Maybe. I see why Josh 
Jacobs went to the Packers. No? What? All right. Schultz edited oh. the tweet, so the guaranteed numbers might be wrong on that. So now he's saying four years, forty-eight million for Jacobs. I mean, that's uh. uh. Yeah, that's uh. Oh. That's in insane. That's too much. Sheffler, maybe they did the old rope a dope and told everybody that that so. Uh, I mean, what's crazy is Josh Jacobs' agent literally told me, he's like, we really don't see us getting a four-year deal. I mean, that's that's insane. Scheffler's saying maybe they did the old rope-a-dope and told everybody that so that he gets fields on the cheap. <sighs> yeah, I mean, maybe. That's definitely something to keep in mind. I'm trying to see here if my tweet went out. I don't think it did. Twitter kind of glitched on me. Jeremy in Vegas. I wish. Remember, guys, Chicago is where QBs and offenses go to die. Is there another Purdy somewhere? Maybe. Get Fields. AOC is a great backup. Draft CB in the first and develop a QB from the fourth round. I wouldn't mind that. Get, like, Rattler in the fourth. Ooh. Hang on, sorry. My tweet was, uh, that's, dude, four years for a running back. I love, I think Jacobs is a phenomenal, phenomenal back, but giving him four years, 48 million, I think that's a, and then moving on from Aaron Jones, I'll be real. That one doesn't make a lot of sense for me from Green Bay. Like, it, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of a different situation. When the Raiders signed Kenyon Drake to like a two-year, $14 million deal. Yeah, that was, uh, that's wild. I'll, I'll text Jacobs' agent. Congrats on the four years. That's, that is wild, man. Four years. Wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Congratulations, man. All right, we got a few more people here. Raider Man, sorry, don't know what I was thinking. Yes, I meant Fields. I mean, I'll tell you this, though, Raider Man, you might have just created something beautiful. And you know what? Fields and Henry would be wild. We're making, if it happens, we're making Justin Shields t-shirts. I'm telling you that right now. Yep. Like, it's happening. <sighs> Justin Shields is a thing now. That's insane. Cameron Sproul, is JD out of the question now? Mitch? Uh, no. I mean, until until that fat lady is singing, then I don't know. Um, I don't know what the Raiders are planning to do. Like, you can have a plan. And if your plan is Jaden Daniels, your plan is Jaden Daniels. But if your plan is not, or you don't think that you're going to be able to get them, I think Fields is an okay option, y'all. Like, I really do. I think Fields is an okay option. JC does it. Drink up, brother. Brother. Did that one for the $50 <laughs> beer bong. The Gonzo, you think Arnold and Mitchell are top three DBs in the draft? I like. I love Quinion Mitchell. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I think Quinion Mitchell is a phenomenal prospect. One, one of our draft guys here, Jack Sperry, said Quinion Mitchell reminds him of Devin Witherspoon from last year and went top 10 to the Seahawks I don't know if I get that he, he says he says he's a top well like skill level he, he thinks he's a top 10 talent oh I think he's a phenomenal talent I was saying in the way that they play I don't agree with that like no like he was just saying like skill level like where he should go he thinks he should be top 10 yeah I mean what's crazy is I know a few years ago I said Sauce Gardner was my number one corner, and that might have been a hot take for some people, but I was like, Sauce is my number one guy. Quinion was somebody that I thought could climb high in the draft, and I took him in a mock way a long time ago in the third. Obviously, that's... Um, I, I will say this, though, about Wiggins. And what I, and maybe this is... Hang on a second here. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. 
That's an interesting move. Josh Melton. Sorry, Chugs. The Raiders have just signed wow. Gardner Minshew. The Las Vegas Raiders have just signed Gardner Minshew to a two-year deal. We do not have the contract details out yet. I'm going to be honest with you, though. This one I don't really love. I, I can't figure out how I'm going to wrap my mind around this. I know there's been a lot of speculation of whether or not the Raiders are going to figure out a way to trade for Justin Fields. I mean, it's being reported that Fields is in the mix right now for the Raiders, but this is a done deal. The Las Vegas Raiders are signing quarterback Gardner Minshew to a two-year deal. Let me know your thoughts down below. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. I don't, I don't get it, man. I, I mean, literally it's being reported that Las Vegas is looking at Justin Fields, and now the Raiders... It's a two-year deal. Two-year deal for Gardner Minshew. I don't know, bro. Does that mean they don't think that they're going to be able to trade? To me, this sounds now like I don't know if they're going to be able to go get a QB. I, I don't know what the figures are yet, but Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. I uh, I don't know what to think about this deal. I'm not going to be on. I, I have no idea. I don't love it. I don't really see why the Raiders would have went this route. Maybe somebody can give me a better answer on that. But in terms of Las Vegas right now, they they went out and they got Garner Minshew. <laughs> if somebody wants a more of a take than that, I don't have one. Because this would not have been the move that I would have made if I was the Raiders. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. That's a weird one, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. To wow. the Raiders. Ugh, dude, I don't, I don't know, bro. I think it's a weird move. I think it's a weird move. Did you already make your short? Uh, I'm making one right now. All right. Though the Raiders are in the mix, I am telling you right now, they are in the mix for Justin Fields. That has been well documented. It's been well reported at this point. Coming up here on the Raiders Sport, we're going to get in here to the news that they're bringing in Gardner Minshew. No, AOC is not gone. Well, the Fields rumors were fun for 10 minutes, fellas. They're not done. There's, there's, there's still a chance. It's literally being reported that the Raiders could still get both. Right. Who's saying? Who's saying? That? Vic Tafer. I feel like Tafer saving space. I don't know. After he Dude, it is, it is all over the place right now. Tafer is still saying that the Raiders are interested in Justin Fields, and they're still making calls. I guess if they can get him for super cheap, maybe. I don't know what to expect. Uh, quick question with. Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell, uh, do the Raiders have the roster with the most perv stashes in the league, the most pedophile stashes? It's definitely up there. Definitely, definitely the quarterback room is stacked. It I'm is uh, definitely, Finn. definitely up there. Again, I don't know what to expect here, but Raiders sign a quarterback. Holy cow. I mean, one thing that I did not want this organization to do, I mean, if you wanted to know what the Raiders thought about Aiden O'Connell, there you go. Right? Like, the Raiders obviously were not very confident in Aiden. Like, the only way that you sign Gardner Minshew is if you know for a fact that you're not very confident in the current quarterback situation that you have. We'll see, though. Raiders sign Gardner Minshew, what a day today has been. Holy shit. I do not have the contract details out yet. As soon as we get the details, uh, we're going to make a video around it here. But all we know is the Raiders have signed Gardner Minshew. Yikes. Um, I, I think now you're going to go for another quarterback. Like, now Aiden's your third string. Now, Aiden O'Connell is your third string. I mean, I think it just goes to show where the Raiders honestly thought 
what the Raiders honestly thought about Aiden O'Connell. What I'm scared about is the Raiders going into this upcoming season with Gardner, Minshew, and Aiden as your two top QBs. I mean, what's the figures that Minshew's going to get here? $10 million per year? I, I, don't, I, I don't get it. I don't love it. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't love this move. I, until I get the numbers here, Jesus Christ. Two years, $25 million. Two years, $25 million for Gardner Minshew. But why? $15 million guaranteed. I, I hate this. I don't understand how this makes any sense. Um, this is a massive... I mean, this is... This makes no sense to me. Mitch, I'm going to throw up. It makes no sense. You cannot oh. give me a reason why the idea of signing Garner Minshew for two years, $25 million makes any sense. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. And based off of that number... Maybe, maybe put that in production so they can add that to the... I mean, it sounds like... He's going to be competing for a job, though the Raiders could still draft a quarterback. Will you put that wherever you found the compensation in production so they can add that to the graph? Uh, yeah. Pelicero. Oh, my Lord, dude. I don't think you paid that money. Uh, no. I mean, it's still being reported that even now... It's still being reported that Fields' chances are still alive. I I don't know, dude. I mean, this move makes no sense to me. I'm telling you, again, Tafer just doubled down again and said, Sure, I know, I mean, Tafer... I get it, but they're still kicking the tires on fields, according to reports. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of WTFs. I'm seeing some whys. Holy crap. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. we need depth. This is a great signing. You Upgrade got, from Jimmy G. You've got to have seven quarterbacks. You're right. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a great signing. Venom said, Mitch, we still got Wilkins. You got Wilkins, but why would you spend... You, no, no, no. You said you wouldn't let anything ruin your day. Because I didn't think they would you, do something you, as dumb you as this. It, you said it wouldn't let it ruin it. Hey. Trying to win games four to three next week. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> With Devontae Adams. I mean, you Maybe have Gardner. No. But why? Why would you give Gardner Minshew two years twenty five? Like I'd rather you give a corner like Kendall Fuller that type of money. I mean, I just. Yeah. Gardner Minshew doesn't make you better. He, he you. Compared to AOC, he does. One game better. You're not going to the playoffs with Gardner Minshew at quarterback. The Colts oh. almost win. I don't think I don't think Gardner Minshew is a top twenty-five quarterback in the NFL. Well, you currently have a top seventy-five quarterback. I get it. He's an upgrade over Aiden, but he's not a top twenty-five QB. The Raiders still do not have a top twenty-five quarterback oh, on the roster. Ta Taper's now ta Taper backtracking. He's saying they they looks like they're going Minshew instead of Fields. Raiders still don't have a top twenty-five QB on their roster. I just, holy crap. This is just, uh. Justin Shields is dead. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get into this cut here. We got 5,000 people here watching the Raiders report. I mean, realistically, now, this makes me wonder if they're just going to move on from Aiden. Like, are they going to cut Aiden O'Connell? Like, you say no, but third-string quarterback Aiden O'Connell? Dude, I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know what this organization... This one's weird. This one's a weird one. I don't love it. You upgraded a little bit, but you still don't have a top 25 QB on your roster. 
Well, let's talk about it. I mean, the part when you look at though the money, the money they gave Gardner is not starting caliber QB money. It no. is high end backup money. Yes, it is high end backup money. All right, let's go. Let's talk about this Gardner Minshew news before I freak the f out. Raider Nation, what's going on? We got some breaking news here to discuss. The Las Vegas Raiders are signing quarterback Gardner Minshew to a two-year deal worth twenty-five million, with fifteen million guaranteed. Coming up on the show, I'm going to give you my honest, instant reaction to this move. What does it mean for the Raiders in the draft? What does it mean for Aiden O'Connell? What does it mean for a potential Justin Fields trade? There are so many rumors. There are so much things circulating around this move right now. That I mean. Let's face it, there was a lot of unknowns of why the Raiders decided to go this route, but whether you like the move or whether you don't, this is why you subscribe to the Raiders Report. We are keeping you up to date. Not only are we live on YouTube right now with over 5,000 people watching, but we're breaking this for you down right now, so hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. What I want to know from the nation, though, is grade the signing of Gardner Minshew on a two-year, $25 million deal with $15 million guaranteed. If you love the move, it's an A. If it's a good move, B. Average, C. You bad move, D. It's a fail. I want you to give it an F. Even though I do think that it's a weird move, even though I don't love the move, I'm not going to give it an F grade. I am going to give it a D grade for Gardner because at the end of the day, Minshew is an upgrade over Aiden O'Connell. He is. Whether you like to hear that or not, Gardner Minshew is an upgrade over Aiden O'Connell. And I kind of laugh because Minshew... Crosby was calling Minshew a little ass boy. I don't know if you guys heard that whole story back in week 17 when these two teams went up against each other. So the good news is, yes, you improve at the quarterback spot. The bad news is, though, you still do not have a top 25 quarterback in the NFL on your roster. I will say if there's like a, a little bit of a shining hope here, it's when you give a quarterback the amount of money that they just gave Minshew here, so two year 25 mil, Twelve and a half million is backup QB money. Like that's not starting quarterback in the NFL. So I'm not sitting up here saying that it's going to be Gardner Minshew against Aiden O'Connell in a quarterback battle. Like that's not what I'm sitting up here saying. What I am saying is there is still a chance that the Raiders maybe trade up for a QB in the draft. There is still a chance that potentially you could trade for a Justin Fields. I'll admit I would not have gone this route. I would not have gone. The Gardner Minshew route, if this tells me anything, it just goes to show how little of confidence Antonio Pierce, Tom Telesco legitimately had in Aiden. Like, I know that they said that they believed, like, I know that they said that they believed in Aiden O'Connell, and I know that they said it was his job to lose, but when you make a move like this, actions speak louder than words, this just goes to show you that the Raiders had never Never, ever thought that Aiden could ever have been their starting quarterback this upcoming season. When you look at some of the moves that they've already made, you got Andre James, you addressed the offensive line, you addressed the interior defensive line. This move, though, by Gardner makes me think that I'm still holding out faith that he's the quarterback, too. I'm still holding out faith that he's the quarterback, too, on this roster. When you look at his season this past year, he took over for Anthony Richardson on the Indianapolis Colts, and realistically... He took uh, over a team that might have been one of the worst offenses in the NFL. Like, how this team was able to move the football effectively on a weekly basis was pretty surprising. He had a 62.2% completion percentage, 3,305 yards, 15 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, a QBR of 59.6. When you go look at some of his numbers throughout the entirety of his career, he's bounced around. He's been on the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's been on the Philadelphia Eagles. And... You know, he's been a part of some winning franchises. I mean, he won a Super Bowl ring, right? With No, he didn't win a Super Bowl ring with Philadelphia. He was on, It was in the Super Bowl when he was a part of Philadelphia. Obviously, did not win one. That's on me. But, like, you're finding the dude who does have some starting experience. But, like, I can't sit up here legitimately look in your eyes and tell you that I love it. It's a D move for me overall because, yes, you upgraded at the quarterback spot, but you still do not have a legit QB that you're going to be able to go out there and compete with. Like, the Raiders still have a need at quarterback. Your still biggest need is that QB. So, like, I get that you were able to secure a backup. Like, Gardner's going to beat out Aiden O'Connell. 
lock that one in right now. Is Aiden going to be the third string QB? Like, is that is that what you're going to roll with for your third string QB? Is going to be Aiden O'Connell potentially? And they're going to battle it out. But there is still a lot, and I mean a lot of unknowns yet to be had here. Coming up next here on the show are the Justin Fields trade rumors dead because there's a lot of speculation out there that the Raiders are talking to Fields, that there's something in the works right now. I am seeing it from multiple credible sources. I mean, Tafer's been throwing out the idea that they could still potentially kick the tires on Justin Fields. And then there's even more rumors out there that the Raiders could potentially be looking at Fields. Like, just because they signed Minshew, to me, does not mean that this team is done looking for a quarterback. And if they are done looking for a quarterback, then I'm, I, I'm not happy. I know we have Christian Wilkins, but you still got to be able to go out and find a QB. Now, we're going to talk about the Justin Fields trade rumors here in just a moment. But today's show is presented by Price Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app out there. Go to PricePicks.com slash CLNS and make sure that you use code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. All you got to do is pick two-plus players, choose more or less. It's super easy. It's fun. Way to go. Taino, I just saw your message. No, you did not miss the Chugs boot yet. And if anybody's watching this live, we're going to be doing it here in just a little bit. But to me, you can get started with Price Picks because they are the number one daily fantasy sports app out there. And whether you want to get started with NBA, college basketball, or NHL, we got picks for all the following. So to me, listen up right now. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Make sure that you use code CLNS. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments and in the description of today's show. So let's continue to talk about Justin Fields because I am being told that there is still a chance that the Raiders trade for Justin Fields. And I think that if the Raiders end up trading for Fields, it kind of just goes to show and I don't mean any disrespect to some of these Raiders beat reporters, but Vic Tafer tweets out that the Raiders are kicking the tires on Justin Fields, and I'm not shitting you. Two minutes later, the Raiders end up signing Gardner Minshew. Then you can see Tafer kind of backpedaling, backpedaling, backpedaling here a little bit. And then now I'm looking here, and again, every single Raiders beat reporter said that the Raiders ended up hiring Luke Getze because they thought Fields was the problem, not Getze. Every Raiders beat reporter put out there that the Raiders were not going to trade for Justin Fields. And even though I sat up here on the show and I've said, you know, there's a lot of connections and there's a lot of reasons why it does make sense of why the Raiders would trade for Fields. You know, if you can get him for a third round pick, there's still some interest there. And the Raiders should still show a little bit of interest in that regard. But this one to me just seems like a big old swing and a miss by the Raiders beat reporters, which it is what it is. I know how difficult of a job it is, but like, Right now, you got Amir Abdullah, you got Andre James, Christian Wilkins, Gardner Minshew signed to the Raiders. There was one move that I was really worried how the Raiders would address their quarterback position. I was hoping that nothing crazy would happen. This is uh, chalking it up to be a little bit crazy. So, would you, if you were the Raiders, trade for Justin Fields? Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, because due to reports, the initial price is not as high as what it was originally expected. If it was a third round pick right now for Fields, pick number 77 overall for the Raiders to go get Fields, would you do it? Would you do it? Give me a yes. Give me a no. The reason why I'm sitting up here saying yes, yes, I would do it is because Fields is the better quarterback than Gardner Minshew. Fields is a better quarterback than Aiden O'Connell. Like, the Raiders with Gardner Minshew are not a playoff caliber team. The Raiders with Aiden O'Connell are not a playoff caliber team. I don't even know if the Raiders are a playoff caliber team with Justin Fields, but I do think that there is a better chance of them making the playoffs with a young QB that's actually got some upside in Fields rather than somebody like Gardner Minshew, rather than somebody like Aiden O'Connell. I mean, how can Antonio Pierce and Tom Telesco say that they don't want to put a Band-Aid at the quarterback position? Gardner Mitchell was the definition of a band-aid at the quarterback position. They said that they were looking for a franchise quarterback that they could have for the next 10 years. If you think Gardner Mitchell is your franchise quarterback for the next 10 years, I got a lot of questions about what you're doing as an organization. So yes, I am reacting to this just like all of you are. The instant reaction of the Raiders signing Gardner Minshew. And the reason why I'm worked up right now is because I'm legit scared that Las Vegas is going to go into the season with Gardner and Aiden O'Connell. I'm still hopeful and hoping that Telesco and Antonio Pierce know that that's a bad decision and that you still need to upgrade at the quarterback position. So whether that means trading up for Jaden Daniels, whether that means 
going out and trading for Justin Fields or maybe trading back and figuring out a way, how can I get a Michael Penix Jr.? A lot of questions to be figuring out. Luckily, though, that's why you subscribe. We're going to be talking a lot about the quarterback market, and I mean a lot about the quarterback market this entire offseason. To make sure you never miss anything, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and if you're not watching this live, pull up to the Raiders port. we got 5,000 people here. Let's turn up. Ooh, man, would you trade for Justin Fields? Let me know down below. I mean, this one scares me. I don't think that Minshew is the starter, but I still do not know why the Raiders made the move. Like, if, if you told me right now Gardner Minshew is going to be the starting quarterback of the Las Vegas Raiders, this is an F grade. If you're telling me Gardner's just going to be the high-end backup for the Las Vegas Raiders, I'm still going to give it a D grade. Like, why are we spending this extra allocated money to the backup quarterback spot? The reason is you have no faith whatsoever in Aiden O'Connell. I mean, it's got to be it. Somebody just said, Mitch, you're out of control. Am I out of control? I don't know. I am a raw... You're getting the you're getting the real life instant reaction to some stuff. Now, obviously, there's going to be more information that comes out. There's going to be more stuff that comes out. We're going to get more of that. But like, to me, you did not need to spend this money, and that's why I am upset right now. I'm upset because you did not need to spend this type of money at the backup quarterback spot, like. You didn't. You had Aiden. Aiden, to me, was good enough to be a backup quarterback in the NFL. Now you have Aiden as your third-string QB. Gardner's going to be your backup, and now you still need to go out and find a starter. You need to. We'll see, man. Julian says you're just a Fields fanboy. I feel like I am not a Fields fanboy at all. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably one of the more lower people on Justin Fields in the media world and Definitely here at the chat sports world. I know that. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm a Fields fanboy at all. I think I just look at the fact that Justin Fields is a better quarterback than Gardner Minshew, and he's a better quarterback than Aiden O'Connell. If that makes me a fanboy, then I guess I'm a fanboy. I, I'll take the player that I believe is the better quarterback overall. Like, let me ask all you right now. I got 5,200 people here in this chat. Who is the best quarterback out of Justin Fields, Gardner Minshew, or Aiden O'Connell? JF, GM, or AOC? I mean, who's the best quarterback out of that group? Because whoever that answer is, is the guy that you should want. Whoever the best quarterback in that scenario is, is the guy that you should want. Oh, man. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I What up, Chef? Chef said, give me a little bit of a bong, a beer bong. How many do we owe? You just owe your boot. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure, which I will say this. We are 100 away from a boot ski. 100 away from a boot boot. Could do RIP in the chat for Chugs. Yeah, Chugs has been having a rough day today. I'm not going to lie to you all. And you owe 10 push-ups? Really? That's brutal. Logan, would you get Justin Fields and draft Spencer Rattler? No, because now that's just too much. And I don't know if this came in like when the Raiders signed Minshew, but to me now, you're only going to add one more quarterback to your roster, whether that be Fields or whether that be in the draft. A lot, a lot of unknowns out there, man. Raider fan, is Fields to the Raiders likely to happen now that Kirk is in Atlanta? I think a lot of these came in before the Gardner Minshew signing, if I had to guess. Jeffrey, Jacobs will be missed, man. Great bro, and hey, Chugs. We are going to miss him, no doubt about it. Sir Chai, welcome to the Raider Nation, Gardner Minshew. I'll tell you this, a lot of mustaches flying around in this locker room. A lot, a lot of mustaches. Jesse, signed and trade, I'm shocked by this. I mean, I don't really see why the Raiders would sign and then trade Gardner, like, Who's going to trade for Gardner Minshew? What would you get for him? If the Bears are having a hard time trading fields right now, I mean, what are you going to trade Minshew for? Not a lot. 
Let's go to Scorpion Ruff. What in the Josh McDaniels kind of shit is this? To me, this just goes to show that the Raiders were never confident in Aiden O'Connell to be their backup quarterback. Like, actions speak louder than the words. This is the loudest action possible that Antonio Pierce and Tom Telesco never, ever viewed Aiden O'Connell as a legit starting quarterback in the NFL. They obviously don't even look at him as a backup. That's what this is. They don't even view Aiden as a backup in the NFL. Jersey boy, Minshew is a backup for Fields. I mean, my, I guess my next question would be, and hear me out on this, why, why are you paying, like, why, like, why pay him, though? You know what I mean? Like, like as much as I don't think Aiden O'Connell is a good starting quarterback, I think Aiden's good enough to be a backup. Like, he's good enough to be a backup. I would have rather the Raiders use that $12.5 million and go get yourself a Kendall Fuller. Go get yourself a... Uh, and Xavier Howard, go get yourself a starting offensive guard. Like, you had other needs. This was Finding a backup quarterback was not a need for the Raiders. Eric M., he was the last QB to win in Oakland. This is crazy. Gardner Minshew, I was there at that game. I want to say it was, what, 16, 15? Something like that. Heartbreaker, heartbreaker. Minshew sounds like they had zero hope for a move to get a top three quarterback in the draft and draft maybe Penix or Rattler and have to battle. I don't think the Raiders are done at the QB position. I really do not. I, uh, I, to me, he is a backup. He's a backup. They gave him backup money. They didn't give him starter money. Mitch, don't forget that AOC is an AP's QB. I will never forget that. It's more of a based off what the Raiders were saying you would have thought that they had at least some hope like you would have thought that they were at least kind of confident that Aiden potentially could be the starter this move right here tells you that they knew Aiden O'Connell was never going to be the starting quarterback for the Raiders I mean everybody out there do you agree with that statement by signing Gardner Minshew give me a Y for yes and N for no by signing Gardner Minshew to a two-year, $25 million deal that Antonio Pierce and Tom Telesco knew that Aiden O'Connell was never going to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Because if they do believe that, then this even makes even less sense to me. I mean, it's the only way. Chitabe Awuzie, three-year deal to the Titans. Titans, Chitabe Awuzie. Give me a Y for yes and N for no. Gardner. I mean, what do you think, man? What up, PG? Horrible, and it's a loud boo. Real Cowboy. Jacobs, four years, $48 million. That is correct. I still don't know the guarantees on that one yet, but maybe we'll be able to get them soon. Let's go to H&F. Devontae must have a 1,000-yard stare right now. I mean, there's going to be some questions that are out there. There's going to be a lot, a lot of questions out there. Raider fan, Gardner Minshew, the most looking Raider, LOL. What, what classifies the most looking Raider? Is it just the stash? I guess, maybe. Ryan Campbell, Minshew is there to be a mentor for Jaden Daniels coming out of the draft. I do think if you're looking for a quarterback that is a proven good mentor, Gardner Minshew can be a good mentor. I, I, I totally, totally agree with that. Twelve and a half million, though? It's a lot. Well, damn, 20 minutes ago, my boy Mitch said nothing could ruin today for him. Fast forward to now in this Minshew deal. Today's not ruined. Like, I, I am just, again, when, when you get news like this, and this is just the God honest truth, you got to be able to process it, right? When I process it live with you guys, I work through my emotions 100% live, and it's raw, it's uncut. Like, the Raiders, to me, by going and getting Christian Wilkins, by re-signing Andre James, they were in first place of the biggest winners of free agency. Now you get Gardner Minshew, and I'm like, well, that grade now goes from being an A. Now I think it just knocks you down just a little bit to maybe like a B grade. I just, I, I don't understand why they did it. That's all. To me, you could have allocated that money in a little bit of a better way. You could have gone uh, a little bit of a different area overall. Also, Jacobs is getting $14.8 million in year one. Wow. What up, Tasty? They didn't pay Minshew that money to not start. I mean, they didn't give him starting quarterback money. 
I, I, I totally disagree with you on this. If you think that that's starting quarterback money in today's NFL, then you got to wake up. Tyler, I act really like, wait, I actually really like Minshew as a quarterback, but that money is too much. Uncle Rico, don't disappoint me. It's a lot of money for a backup QB. That's what they did. They gave him backup QB money. Fire Tom Telesco. Who idea was this? I'm lost. Uh, I don't know whose idea it was. Now, I do see some people like Graf just tweeted. He thinks that this could potentially actually lower the Justin Fields market even more. Where like if you were the Bears and you thought that the Raiders were that one team, does it make sense for you to sign a quarterback like Gardner Minshew for two years, 25, and now every team that you thought was potentially in on fields is now out on fields. So could you get them for even cheaper? Like, would you be willing to pay Minshew that contract to now get fields for a fourth rounder? I don't know. Again, conspiracies. What up, Josh? I shout out to you. Minshew, I guess is plan M. Also, would you rather have Minshew or Jimmy G? Minshew and it's not close. i Jimmy G, he's bad, bro. He's 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 washed. He's worse than Aiden. Latoya, Latuya, what the actual Tom? That's an old school one right there. That's old school. Cameron, why don't we just keep Jimmy G? Why would you keep Jimmy G? Why 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 would you pay him all that money for a quarterback that's even worse? Garoppolo, no. Jacob Benjamin, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. Def Halo, and you said nothing could ruin your day. I'm still holding out hope that nothing could ruin my day, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to question some of the moves that this organization's doing. TR, too much money for a gardener. Should have spent that on a corner. I, I agree. I, I agree. Aaron, why we go and sign... Hang on, hang on. Um, Terry, Teron Armstead expected to return... To the Miami Dolphins, which uh, the deal is now agreed on and done. He's back in Miami. So that's uh, just kind of an update from yesterday. Why are we going to sign Uncle Rico? Please explain. To be the backup quarterback for the Raiders. That's that's the only explanation I'm going to give. It's going to be the explanation I continue to give. I'm sick to my stomach. This is just stupid. From Jacob. Let's go to JC Does It. We definitely drafting a quarterback now. Only thing that makes sense to the Minshew signing. I think what they did is they tried to find the cheapest, and I mean the cheapest backup quarterback that they could find that they still had some hope in. I will say that because they spent a little bit of extra money at the backup QB spot here on Gardner, this makes me wonder if they're going to try to find a quarterback that they are a little bit concerned about staying healthy. Like, are you Justin Fields has struggled to stay healthy. Jaden Daniels, very small in stature. Maybe even a guy like Michael Penix Jr., who has been healthy of late but does have injury concerns. Just something to think about. Adrian, what if they mean to cut AOC, sign Minshew to the premium backup money, and plan to trade up for Jaden Daniels? Again, you're not the first person that has thrown out the idea of cutting Aiden O'Connell, but, like, why would you cut Aiden? I mean, as much as I don't think Aiden's a starter, he's good enough to be a third-string quarterback in the NFL. I mean, he's good enough to be a backup QB in the NFL. So that's why I'm a little bit – that's why I just don't get this move. LV, the new quarterback carousel location. I'm hoping that they sign Minshew because the quarterback that they're going to go after, they're worried about his injury prone. Was hoping he was a Hoyer replacement. Uh, he's better than Hoyer. Again, this is uh, you, you still upgraded at the quarterback spot. So I know it's not the name you wanted, but you still upgraded. You still upgraded. I, I would say Minshew is a premium backup. Premium backup. That, that's the level I would put him in. Premium backup. Jake Browning or Gardner Minshew? Minshew. That's close to me. But like that's the but that's the type of backup. Jacoby Brissett or Gardner Minshew? Minshew. All right. Yeah. You're still gonna have to go out and get a QB. Might as well put Jacoby Myers at quarterback. No. No, no, no. Poor chap. What up, pork chop? I think the Minshew trade is smart signing. Make him quarterback two. Move AOC to QB three. Trade for top three in the draft. Trade for top three in the draft or fields. Then drop AOC to the practice squad. 
I mean, if AOC hits the practice squad, he's getting claimed. Like, you're not going to put a QB that's got as many starts underneath their belt like Aiden to the practice squad. I, I think he would honestly legitimately end up getting signed, getting claimed to another team. And I don't want to just lose AOC. But to me, you, you still got to find a quarterback, man. Like, you do. You still have to find a QB. You still got to find one. We got 5,300 people here. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. We're going to be live today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all day, basically every day. Here on the Raiders Report for free agency, when breaking news happens, I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to get the information anywhere else. So hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, because uh, we came to ball today, man. We, what up, Lamont? How about Trey Lance now? Raiders with best decisions, like always. I don't want Trey Lance now. Like, you don't need another backup quarterback. New pull here. Could the Raiders still trade for Justin Fields? Chugs wants to know. I want to know as well. Give me a yes, give me a no on that live poll. Oh, boy. I mean, what a... Uh... So, Vincent Bonsignor says, insurance in case the Raiders don't get their quarterback in the draft or if the rookie isn't ready to start the season day one. So, I mean, there you go. Which, again, that's been kind of what we've been talking about. This is just insurance. So, the Raiders were obviously not confident in Aiden O'Connell, and they felt like that they needed to spend a little bit more money on insurance. On hell, Telesco, don't give a what Pierce wants, JJ gone, and no Jaden Daniels. I actually don't agree that he doesn't care about what Antonio Pierce wants. It's just maybe a little bit of a uh, different conversation. But, like, if Jacobs just got a four-year, $48 million deal, like, there's no way that you think that the Raiders should have done that deal, right? Like, like I get the Raiders lost Josh Jacobs, but the only way that you were going to get him back is if, let's say, four years, $50 million for Jacobs. No way in hell am I giving that type of money to a running back. I wouldn't give Jacobs half of that contract. Cardinals? Signed Bilal Nichols earlier. Yep. They signed another low-level defensive tackle. Justin, I wouldn't say low-level, mid-level. Three for 30? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. That's bad. All right, this is kind of interesting. Now, according to Shayna Quick, who's a Panthers beat reporter, and Dov is going with this story, Barring a complete breakdown in trade talks, the Giants will trade for Brian Burns. That is from a Panthers beat reporter. That would be bananas. That would be bananas. Watch them Aiden or Renfro for Fields. If you told me Aiden O'Connell and Hunter Renfro for Justin Fields, I would be streaking through this facility. Tim, this feels like we're going to draft a project quarterback. This uh, this sounds like the Raiders are still going to draft a QB, and this, if he's not ready, that they're going to turn to Mitchell. This stinks of Michael Penix late in the first. I guess my concern with that would be, though, is if, it, if your plan was legitimately Michael Penix Jr., uh, like, honestly, that was your plan. I I think that you would try to address the right side of the offensive line more, better. Like, if, if you were going to go out and get Penix, you would want to protect your blind side with him. But, I mean, what if he doesn't? <sighs> you can't just throw away a year. If you start Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell, you're throwing away an entire season. Silvis. Silvis, what's up, man? Mitch, no more drinks. Relax. Minshew is a backup. I'm good, dude. I am uh, I am okay, but I do owe a boot. So, unfortunately, it is what it is. Beto, good quarterback for the roster with to help Jaden over Aiden O'Connell. I mean, we know that Gardner can be a good leader. We know that Gardner can be a good teammate, and that's kind of what you're hoping that he just comes in here and he, and he does. You're hoping that he's just a good teammate. We'll see. Elijah... We need to look at Minshew signing as a Brian Hoyer replacement. 
not our starting quarterback. We can still draft a QB this season. Why are we losing hope already, Nate? See, the thing is, but it's so, if if you if it's really your Brian Hoyer replacement, your Thank third you. string quarterback, that's like you getting a ten thousand dollar rear view mirror. Like, why are you getting such an expensive? I like that like, analogy. Like random part of the car. Like, yeah. it's not something that you need to like. I guess you do need it on your team, but like, you're getting the most expensive rear view mirror. Yeah. On the market. I I I agree. It's a Brian Hoyer upgrade. If anything. It's a cheaper Jimmy Garoppolo move, and Aiden O'Connell is the upgrade over Brian Hoyer. Like if, if this is your third-string quarterback, like you are wasting money. Yeah, it's it's wild. Also, according to Diana Rossini, the Panthers and Giants have been discussing a trade for Brian Burns for a while. I am told at this point it's not complete, but there is hope that they can get there. We'll see if it's going to be finalized from Diana Rossini. Number six to the Panthers? Holy shit, dude. That would be... I, I feel like that number six for Brian Burns straight up. They were t- they were saying two firsts. I know that's what they were saying, but if you're the Giants, I don't know if I'd want to trade my number six for Brian Burns. I mean, he, if they really want edge rusher, Brian Burns would be better than any of the edge rushers in this year's class. Oh, I don't disagree with that. He's also 25. 25. I think he's still pretty young. I, I get it. Number six overall pick for Brian Burns. I don't think you're getting him for a second. If the, if if it, if they and the Panthers are a poverty organization, if you go from two firsts, well, they do have to, to give a, up two first because hmm? of the tag, the non-exclusive tag. So you have to give up two first round picks for him. So I'm trying to figure out: does that mean Right? Like, if, if, if it's two first-round picks on the non-exclusive I, tag... I think that's if you're going to sign him. Like, if another team... No, because if when the Raiders tagged Jacobs last year, if another team wanted Josh Jacobs, they had to give up two first-round picks, and you'd have to pay him. So since he was tagged, the non-exclusive tag, by Carolina, that means to me that they have to give up two first-round picks. Will Disley plans to sign with the Chargers. So... So, I mean, that's why I don't think it's going to be pick number – it's six in another pick? Like, that doesn't seem right. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's going to be an interesting situation here. Let's go to Mr. Benjamin. I'm scared, to be honest. What a waste of money. I'm scared. I'm still not saying that it's a waste of money. Well, I still want to see the entire plan in place. Like, I, I got I to gotta jump. I got to get away from the edge a little bit. I got to back up and try to see what the total picture is. If the total picture – if you told me at the end of this whole thing that – Garnu's just going to be the high-end backup, then it is what it is, but you still need to find your answer at QB. Like, you still got to find your answer at QB. I'm a little bit confused by it right now, but it Gardner does give you a better chance to win than Aiden O'Connell. Akash, let's hope the Pats trade for Justin Fields so we can trade up. Oh, man, if the if the Patriots traded for Justin Fields right now... We'd celebrate. We'd make and it. then if the freaking Giants... Traded that number six overall pick for Brian Burns. I might stay alive till the draft. <laughs> what up, JM? Minshew is the best QB2 and got paid. Took Colts to the playoffs. Fields is injury prone. Raiders two steps ahead. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Again, I got to see and, the full picture. And the only thing that would make sense is you don't necessarily have to pay Fields when you trade for him. He's still on that rookie contract. It's ending, but... He's towards the end of it, so you necessarily wouldn't have – if you traded for him and extended him, his contract wouldn't really hit for yeah. a year or two. This is a big deal uh, for the Commanders. Panthers linebacker Frankie Louvu has agreed to a three-year deal, $36 million with the Commanders. <laughs> Me and Matt, you could have got Frankie Louvu. Same price as Gardner Minshew, basically. Wow. Wait, so did Blake Cashman get more than him? Blake, no, he got three for twenty-five. Okay, and then he's getting how much? Three, three for, for thirty-six. Oh. I mean, still though. What up, Christopher? If New England takes McCarthy, hang on a second. Uh, Titans, Lions, and Bengals are interested right now in DJ Reader. That's a team that's showing some interest. If New England takes McCarthy, we should trade up to four since Atlanta got Cousins and snagged Daniels. That would be primo. 
I mean, if any of those top three picks are not Jaden Daniels, if you're the Raiders, you trade up, right? Like, if any of those top three picks are not Jaden Daniels, you trade up to number four. You do what you can. You go make the move. You make it happen. You got to try to make it happen. You can't just sit back and let... You got to be aggressive in the AFC West, man. You got Patrick Mahomes in your division. You got to get aggressive. What up, G-dubs? Hopefully, this security for Jaden Daniels, Justin Fields, or Michael Penix Jr. At this point, this is what I want. One of those three guys. Tell me what you want. That's what I want. Or, obviously, I'll take Drake May or Caleb. I see Fields, Gardner, and either Daniels or Penix at three. AOC is released. But why would you release Aiden? Like, I don't really think that that's a smart move. He's liked in the locker room. He's still a good enough quarterback to be on your roster. Rich Wolf, I... I, bro, I woke up to this, uh, or I woke up from a nap to this shit. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what can't, up, Rich? With Kirk off the market, this feels like a backup plan if they can't trade up. Okay. Telesco is doing the contracts. He's, He's not, not, though. He's not. Delaney is. Schmitty, they are setting up for Jaden Daniels. We'll see. I do think that they're setting up for something else. Like, Gardner's not their answer at QB. Raider DB, damn, I can't believe we signed little ass boy. Put me in, coach. <laughs> Ruthless Raider, let's say we get Fields, and then, God forbid, he gets hurt. Would we really be willing to risk having AOC as our only option once again? But, I mean, it's, it's not like it's your only, like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you think, unless they really believe, which maybe they do, that they are going to make a run at a Super Bowl this season. Sure. Uh, let me go fill up the boots. I also got to pee really, really bad. So, Chugs, yeah. you can hold it down. And, we got, we uh, got a lot of supers, so I'm just going to run through them. That sounds good. Let's see. D. Jax, Minshew is backup, bro. We paid him good backup QB money. Premium backup QB money. Stop stressing, bro. Fields will be coming in if not trading up. This is not our starter. I agree with that. I think... This is the backup option. I just think it's a lot of money to pay for. 808 Raider, Minshew equals or Minshew slash insurance if we can't move up in the draft. I think that's been the consensus is that like a good neighbor, Minshew is there. He's the insurance for the Raiders. Uh, Matthew with a $5 super chat. Appreciate that. Luis was celebrating the Wilkins signing and had to step away for a bit. Saw the Minshew news and had a flashback to McDaniels. WTF F grade. Yeah. Nico Laz, I actually like... Minaju, don't like the money. I think this is all about system fit. AOC being an immobile McDaniels guy won't work in Getsy's system. I think we are getting Fields, Jaden, or Phoenix. I, I, everybody is consensus. This isn't the guy. This is the backup guy. Uh, Mr. Leroy, getting a feeling that the leadership could be just like the last. I don't, I don't see that at all. The last leadership would not have gone out and made a move like getting Christian Wilkins. They neglected getting defensive tackle year after year. Telesco and AP saw the biggest weakness, and they got one of the best guys for that position in Christian Wilkins. Yoda Jenkins, Minshew must be insurance plan or backup. Sure, JF is a better QB, but it's not that simple. JF and Getsy equals oil and water. JF to the Raiders equals the Chicago Raiders. Now, I, necess I don't necessarily believe, with, believe in that, in that – it's a whole different offense around both of the two guys. You have the same offense corner, same quarterback, but it'll be a different running back, different wide receivers, different, you know, O-line. So it'll be a lot of different guys. Maybe maybe it was the circumstances around everything that kind of led to that. I know J Justin Fields gets he doesn't show a lot of promise, but saying that it'll be the exact same, I don't think that's true either. Glenn Jones. Minshew was one of the best backup QBs last year. That is true. Almost took the Colts to the playoffs. Was one game away. Darian Schofield, realtor. GM is more uh, mobile than AOC. Drafting DM at eight. Drafting DM at eight. Is that Dr Drake May? Gardner Minshew is more mobile than AMC. Drafting, I don't know, Drake May at eight? I don't think he makes it to eight. If that's who you're thinking. I don't know who else you'd be thinking of. Street Sweeper, $2 Super Chat. Appreciate the $2 Super Chat. James, Raiders playing chess, not checkers. Minshew is a decent backup plan in the event we don't get our guy in the draft or free agency. Can I get a, oh yeah. Street Sweeper, might as well sign Carl Nassib. 
lockdown. They might have signed Gardner to force Bears into trading them fields for a much cheaper price. Now, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't the contract become guaranteed on Wednesday? Can't they? I think you're saying can't they back out? Yeah, I mean, can't they can't they back out of it? I mean, I guess in essence they could, but that'd be a really messed up thing to do to Gardner Minshew if that if that was their plan. That'd be super effed up to use him as a pawn, basically be like, oh yeah, we're giving you a contract, and then immediately negate it on before Wednesday. I mean, I feel like that would be very messed up. And, and players would see that around the league, and they would not want to come and play for the Raiders if that was the case. I'm telling you that right now. Players notice that stuff. If that was their actual plan, players would be pissed at the Raiders for doing that, and it would impact free agencies in the next couple of years if they decided to ne- use Gardner Minshew as a ploy like this. I don't. I don't think that's the case. I really don't. But if that is, that would that would be really shitty. Aaron, Aaron Acorn, draft JD, and perhaps get Ayuk. I don't think that's happening. Our San Francisco 49ers guy has been pretty adamant that Ayuk is going to stay in San Francisco, that they're going to work on a long-term deal um, and trade for a cornerback. There are a couple cornerbacks available in the trade market. Jair Alexander, Marshall, and Lattimore, two big names that have been mentioned around possible trades around NFL rumors you know, circles as guys who could be available. Wouldn't mind that. Knight Uchiha. Jack Jones is asking Raiders to get Aaron Jones. I I like Aaron Jones. I wouldn't mind that at all. Jeff Halo, Minshew Minshew seems like insurance to draft a QB later with early starting questions. Penix or Rattler or Fields on a third, fifth round grade or third, fifth round trade. Yeah. Seems like the consensus. Max Crosby. uh, Not cool. Transitional guy, Uncle Rico will be solid when he gets in. Welcome to the Silver and Black Minshew. This is Tyrod Taylor with Herbert. Yeah, I could see that. That's that's pretty good in comparison. Thanks, Damian Lillard, for watching the program. Misty Williamson, I definitely think we'll still draft a QB or trade for Fields. Maybe AOC could be part of a trade for Fields. Otherwise, it looks like uh, they're looking for Minshew to have a Mayfield-like season. Maybe, maybe. Carlos Gonzalez wasted cap on a dude who won't see the field. That's another way to look at it. Bob Alito Hill, we can still get another QB and trade Minshew later in the season if someone goes down. I guess, I guess, but I wouldn't really look to sign somebody to then trade them. I, I, I guess the thought is that's hoping that something happens down the line like, you're not signing somebody to be like, oh, hopefully I can trade him. That, that's not really the thought process. Better, better than Mariota signing. Yeah. He's better than Mariota. Raiders playing 40 chess and lure the Pats into the field trade so they, can, they don't need the third anymore so they can trade up to you. Yeah. Hopefully they get Jaden Daniels. That's, that's the big hope. Darian Schofield. Mitchell Rins back in the... Back in the building. Back in the saddle. This screams they don't believe they can get into the top three and they're getting a second round or late first round pick. Now AOC and Minshew will battle for day one start. Eh, again, I don't know if I 100% agree with that. Like, I, I still think uh, Patriots linebacker Mac Wilson goes to New England three year, $12.75 million deal. Will Disley to the Chargers. Yeah, we got that one. All right, uh, I do want to update some people here on our duck race. So the last name. Okay, the last name that I got on here was Tim Galligan, Jose Corona. I got to add Ken Souza you in, Jason E.B. You in, and then William... Gold, you in twenty dollar Venmo at Mitchell Rents three six five right now for a chance to win seventy dollars. We've already given away eight hundred dollars here on the Raiders board. And remember, the other deal that we got going on is the Browns are re-signing Zadarius Smith, Petey. Petey, 
I don't know if you can hear me. Brown, Zadarius Smith, two-year, $25 million. You could have gotten Zadarius Smith. Um, yeah? Yeah, you could have got him. Also, though, remember, if you want in our March Madness bracket, what we're going to end up doing here, $50 Venmo at Mitchell Ren 365 Winner is going to get $1,600 in this. So just like the normal March Madness bracket, it's going to be 1v1. So right now we got 15 people in. So hypothetically speaking, it could be like Ira Jackson against Jason E.B. Winner of that advances to the round of 32. If your duck wins every single race, you're going to win $1,600. On top of that, you're also going to be entered in to uh, play actual March Madness Bracketology with Chugs and I. We're going to do a Raiders Report League, and if you're one of the first 64 people that are in, we're going to invite you to that league as well. So just something to keep in mind, have a little bit of fun here. Let's go to Mishael Hernandez. We need long schlong Austin Eckler on our team, bro. I'll say this. I don't know him that well. I'll take your word for it, but I do think that it is at least a player that the Raiders could potentially bring in due to his connections with Tom Telesco. That I, I, I will admit that, and it's the reason why I've talked about it as much as I have. Jacob Benjamin, we still have so many holes, man. I'm going to pray for May or Daniels. <laughs> I grew up watching Russell, Collins, Walter. We need to go all out. Time for a superstar behind center. You're not wrong. We need a QB. Caleb Landry, what part of the – Desert is Minshew going to park his van in? <laughs> Dude, do you get it? He, he did that van. Gardner Minshew. Nico. Or, uh, oh my God, Uncle Rico. He parks his van. Oh. You know, Gardner Minshew actually did like a. Yeah. I think it's because of Uncle Rico. Oh, okay. Phoenix is a lefty. The next stabler just win. Baby. A baby. Minshew plus Moxie equals a Raider. Good move, in my opinion. Oh, boy. HF, this move only makes sense for drafting a quarterback or trading for field. Still have to trust in the organization. That could be. The, yeah, I want to uh, tweet out some of the videos that we've put out. If you could just hold yeah. it down the fort here while I just do some of that. Yeah. J. Roy. Minchu is a far better backup than AOC. Raiders are still yet to find their starting quarterback. Simmer down, ladies. So much weird outrage and whining. Sad. Yeah. I don't think it's the absolute worst. Lionel Matthews keeps on spamming update on Brian Burns. We told you the latest update is that we're hearing that the Giants are looking to trade for Brian Burns. That's the last update. You made me feel better knowing Minshew is just a backup. Thanks, and I love the Raider report from Steve Richardson. Thank you for super chatting. We appreciate that. Cougar Slayer 69, I think AOC will be traded. He doesn't fit the system. I don't know who's trading for him, though. Legitimately, who do you guys think trades for him? Patriots? No. Uh, no. Francisco Michel. Upgrade over AOC and makes me feel better. At least we got uh, QBs. Have them battle it out. If AOC wins, then he's improve, uh, improving. Minshew can be the starter, though. Yeah. Ian Rappaport now. The Panthers and Giants are in discussions on a trade that would send Brian Burns to the Giants. Mando. Minshew, like our uh, Marcus Mariota, overpaid backup. Uh, again, he's, he's a better backup. Then Mariota, so I don't really think that it's all that comparable. Logan Gray, I guess we're tanking for Shador Sanders. I mean, as much I love making content, I don't think Shador Sanders is going to be a very good. Uh, I don't think he's going to be a very good quarterback in the NFL. I don't know, dude. He's pretty good. Isaiah McKell, I have a screenshot of Jack Jones of a Jack Jones deleted tweet. What does it say? That's very open-ended there. Oh. <laughs> I have a text message from Jeremy. What does it say? Anything is possible. You'll never know. Jose Romero. Minshew. Sorry, I'm still trying to send out some of these videos. Uh, Minshew mentor for Bo Nix, who's taken at 13. Oh, I think Mitch would freak out if that happened. What was it? He said Minshew's just a mentor. Bo Nix is getting taken at 13. 
Yeah, that would be a disaster. SGGSG. At least our defense is going to be elite. You like to think. LA Crash Dog. I'm, I'm awake. What's up, fam? What did I miss? Anything big for us yet? Yeah, huge. Christian Wilkins. Best defensive tackle available. Signed earlier today. Mr. Wilkins. Then Gardner Minshew, um, which quickly... Yeah, guys, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just, I got to share some of these videos before I do anything else. So just give me a minute. Chucks, keep holding down the fort. Um, anything big for, yeah, that, Christian Wilkins, that's the biggest. I can actually show you really yeah, it's quick. Like Christian Wilkins, Gardner Minshew, those are the big moves today. Josh Jacobs signed with the Packers. Like, all those are, I would say, pretty big stories, no? Yeah. J.D. Raider, why in the blue hell would we try to pair Fields and Getzy again? Minshew had a legit chance with our wide receiver room. <sighs> Keep going. You're doing good. Uh, Stanley, I'm not going to show that because that's kind of effed up, but thanks for the five bucks. Yep, yeah, I don't show that. Angel Diaz, we should get J.D. or Baker Mayfield. Baker's already gone. Say Baker's, uh, Baker's gone. Brady wants uh, Sanders in silver and black. I mean, you want to talk about getting a lot of attention to the Raiders. Shador Sanders would bring more eyeballs, I think, than just about anybody you could imagine. Right? Like, I don't think there's another quarterback out there that brings more eyeballs to the Raiders than a guy like Shador Sanders. I mean, he's going to bring eyeballs no matter where he goes because of his dad, but, like, He's going to bring a lot of eyeballs. That you got to know. Um, here are the last deals that Ooh. have happened since we've been, you know, breaking down all the latest with Gardner Minshew. Will Disley to the Chargers, three years, $14 million. AJ uh, Epineza, yep. two-year deal to stay with the Buffalo Bills. Anthony Walker, linebacker, one-year deal going to the Dolphins. Zadarius Smith going back to the Brownies, two years, $23.5 million. Million dollars. Uh, Isaiah see, said he sent it to you on Instagram. I see Joe Maldonado sent me what? I guess the the screenshot. Oh, okay. The elusive um, screenshot. The elusive screenshot. I will go to my IG. And I am looking right now, and uh, unless your name matches, it's really hard for me to be able to find it. Whew, boy. $20 to enter our 50-50 raffle that we got going on. Yep. I don't see it, buddy. I don't see it. $20 Venmo to get in our 50-50 raffle. And Mitch. Some of the deals we got going on, yeah, we got to spin it. We have to spin it. Uh, we got to we gotta spin it up. We also got to do a boot race here. We got a lot of deals that need to be had. <laughs> I mean, dude, this is close to the gimbal. This is close to the gimbal. All right, pick a number. One, two, three, four, or number five. What do you want? All right, how about this? What did I do? All right, how about this? What did I do today? I'm going to pick one that's really spicy, okay? I'm going to pick one that's really spicy, and I'm going to pick one that's not spicy. I'm just going to let you pick. Would you go right hand or left hand? Left hand or right hand? One is spicy. One is not. Which hand do you go? Left hand, type L for left, type R for right. Oh. And one of my hands is a, I, I think that's Sriracha. And the other is a mango habanero. Give me left. Ah! Why? Womp, 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 
Bum. This blows. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Now you got to do a boot. Got to do a boot. Got a boot coming up here for a Taino. A lot of people are saying I see Aiden O'Connell getting released. I mean, it would be a little bit of a surprising move to me, but uh, we will see. We shall see. I know. What? They're saying, Chugs, you need, haven't done your push-ups yet. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. All right, how about this? Hear me out. I'll do your push-ups if and only if you do the next beer bong that we get. Oh, I, th I, I think I'll just do them. You're just going to do the push-ups. I'll, I'll just do them. All right. That's fair. That's fair. I get it. Try me. Relax. What? What is it? Dude, they're spicy, man. They're, uh, they're pretty freaking spicy. I'm not going to lie to you. If you want in, Mango Habanero is 300,000 Scoville units. If you don't believe me, look up these Bean Boozle jelly beans. They are super, super spicy. So spicy. Oh. Very, 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 very spicy. Very, very spicy. All right, let me see some of the people here that got in our duck race. We got oh. a new one. I see it's from Jason. Texans were apparently Revenel. in on Saquon. They offered him three for 33. Eagles came in with three for 37. I mean, you're seeing the running back market a lot higher than what I thought it was going to be. I am, I am blown away by, high, by how high huh. this, by this running back market. What? Now what? Dude, look at this Lamar Jackson tweet. Real Lamar Jackson. Wow. Geno Stone. You're dead to us. You're dead to me. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope he's kidding, but. I mean. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a rivalry, man. Lamar Jackson tweeting out to Geno Stone, you're dead to me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's, a, that's a heavy hitter one right there. All right, Jeremy, how about this? Can we bring up some of the super chat deals that we got going on <sighs> yeah. today's show? Because we got some catching up to do. Here are the deals. Every 250 likes, we do a wheel spin. Every $10 super chat that we get, you're going to be entered in for a chance to win a Raiders Report jersey. Every 50, Chugs and I both take a shot. Every hundo, you get entered into our March Bang competition. I should mention that every single hundo that we get, you are also going to be entered in for a chance to win this Raiders helmet signed by Jeremy and I. And every time that we bang, we are also giving away some extra entries. Which, you know what, Jeremy? I feel like I haven't done a good job in doing that. So, here's the thing. The next three people that bang. So, if somebody bangs right now, I'm going to give away an extra entry. The next person that bangs after that, I'm going to give away an extra entry. The next person that bangs after that, I'm going to give away an extra entry. So, think of it as almost you're helping out the nation to the next three bangs that we get here on the Raiders Report. So, just keep that in mind. Uh oh Okay, there's what people are telling me that he was quoting Tiki Barber. He was quoting somebody else. Okay, God, I hope so. I mean, that is uh, Kyle says he bang, she bang. If you don't know what a bang is, then ask the chat. If you don't know what a bang is, you got to ask the chat. When she move, she move. She go crazy because she looks like a flower, but she stinks like, like a, a bee. bee. Like every other girl in history. I oh, said so she, she bang, bang she, she bang. bang. <laughs> All right, you ready? For the boot? Yeah. Do I? Who you got? M for Mitch, uh, C for Chugs. I think, I'm, I, think I might try a, a sad attempt at, at these push-ups first. You're going to try the push-ups first? I think so. Arboro! Bang! All right. Who wants a free entry courtesy of Arboro? Here's what Starting I want you to this do. off with a bang like the Raiders and free. Uh, funny enough, L3 that just popped up was the Christian Wilkins. I want you to spam AM. AM. 
Let's do that. AM, you want a free entry? Spam AM down below. Arbora. Some other super chats that we missed. Christopher Ramos, thoughts on Kool Aid at 13? Pinnix in the late first? Uh, to me, Kool Aid is not the corner that you would take in round one anymore. He's probably more of a round two guy for me. If you're going to take a corner at number 13, if I was the Raiders, I would base it off of this ranking. Terry and Arnold would be number one. Quinion Mitchell would be number two. Then I would actually say Nate Wiggins, three for them. And then Rakestraw from Missouri would be number four. Then followed by Dijon. And then probably Kool Aid. I, I would say if you're going to target Kool Aid, it's probably going to be a pick 44, not so much at 13. All right, I'm seeing a lot of AMs flowing in this chat right now. I am going to give this spot away to oh, a lot, a lot of names are flowing in right now. I'm seeing a lot of AMs. Um, all right, I think I see one that's popping up here a bunch, and they are a OG. Raiders report watcher. I see. No, I think he's already got one, actually. I was going to say that name. Let's go with. Um, yikes. Gary Osborne. Let's go with uh, Gary Osborne. JD with silver and black. We get a ring. That's the hope. Hey, is my goat Amik gonna resign? Yeah, oh, man. At this point, I don't know if Amik's gonna be back, bro. Josh, I, I think really GM don't. signing is pretty decent considering how well he did on the Colts with a mediocre roster. Uh, Marcus Davenport sounds like he's going to the Lions. Marcus Davenport to the Lions. Christian Wilkins, smiley face. Josh Jacobs, frowny face. Minshew, frowny face. Jeremy Chugs, smiley face. The math checks. The like math it. checks. Thank you, Jonah. Michael, Minshew is the same as Telesco signing Tyrod Taylor before drafting Herbert. Uh, people have kind of done that comparison uh, in the past 15, 20 minutes. I, I don't hate it. Yeah. I, I think it's there. Um, I think we end up with Nix, Penix, or JJ. I mean, to me, you again, Bo Nix not would be – I wouldn't like any of those besides Michael Penix Jr. I'm just being real with y'all. Supercharged. Super rare. Because they they didn't believe in Aiden O'Connell. That's what this tells me, and that they wanted the legit backup quarterback. <sighs> That's what they were looking for. That's what they got. They wanted the backup. They ended up getting a backup. That's what Gardner Minshew is. I like this question. Who's going to be the Raiders starting quarterback in 2024? Gardner Minshew, Aiden O'Connell, or somebody else? Aiden O'Connell, Gardner Minshew, or somebody else. <clears throat> what do you guys think? What do you think? Who's going to be the Raiders starting quarterback this upcoming season? Chugs, 10 push-ups. <clears throat> you got it, bro. You're good. How about this? How about we race? I'll start my boot. You got to do 10 push-ups and then your boot. Yes. All right, how about this? I'll do 10 push-ups and the boot. If you do 10 push-ups and the boot. No? All right, you're good. Do your 10 push-ups. I'll, I'll, I'll race your 10 push-ups against the boot. You're going to win. Bro. All right, here we go. Here we go. As soon as you start, I'll start. This boot's not going to be quick for me. Yep. We call them chugs, not push-ups. All right, how about this? I'll try to do my push-ups before you do your boot. 
Oh, man. That one hurt, though. Oh, I'd have to go over there. No, not really. Oh, you're good. If it lands on me, it lands on me. Oh, my Lord. That boot. I know I didn't turn, turn the boot, but I was not going to do that one quick. That needed to be a slow boot. I'm hurting right now. Oh, boy. I'm so bloated. It's, it's unbelievable, the bloat. I feel like a bloat fish. What? It's not ice cold. It's just they're not room temperature. I didn't want to open up a brand new case, so I just took some out of the fridge. What? Making babies with the floor instead of push-ups from H&F. <laughs> right, I, I challenge everyone at home. Get down. Give me 10 push-ups. 10 push-ups. It's easy to type. Ha, ha. Go and give me 10 push-ups. Yep. 10 push-ups. Re record yourself doing 10 push-ups and send it to us on Instagram. We'll I like, see. I like it. We'll see. Uh oh. Scott. I thought Come on, Scott. Ten push ups. Let's go. And that's how he has three kids. And that's why. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that. Oh, it was uh, the push. You're, the push up. It was a good pump. Well, he had to do push ups. You have yeah. kids because of the good push. Oh, no, I, 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 I got that. Yeah. Oh. I got the rhythm down. Yeah, he's. I'm wondering why they were getting fed. Oh. Yeah, I, I did some push ups over there. Might have, might have had a little bit of chest on the ground action. Just rumor. Yeah, I would say. I mean, was he doing the worm? I'd give it a two chucky heads. Yeah, there was, there was a little bit of worm action. Oh, yeah, dude. He's. Dude. Locked and loaded. Locked and absolutely loaded. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Oh. I saw the Ravens have been in contact with Derrick Henry. I saw an R and I was like, dude. Oh, my Lord. That would be nuts. Oh, I guess it's because. What? Yep. <laughs> uh, tiki Barber to Saquon. Gotcha. That's weird. Yeah, that's now, weird. Now now the Lamar thing makes more sense. Now the suits seem kind of fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Now they seem a little weird. Who's going to be the Raiders starting quarterback in 2024? X Dahlia says Mitchell JD5 is the guy. We will see. I can slide in. All right, Chugs. Third boot of the day. Keeps the doctor away is what I've been told. Who? Fields just followed the D line. Did he? I mean, interesting landing spot. Oh man. Yeah, I uh, I don't quite understand. Yeah, it's very interesting, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. 150 likes away from another wheel spin. We are live here on the Raiders Report. Today has been an interesting day in free agency. The Raiders have signed Christian Wilkins, and they have signed Gardner Minshew. Nobody for Houston. That is kind of weird. Danico Autry. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, honestly, it's a lot easier to do boots than this 10 push-ups. That's insane. Unbelievable. I don't know, but this is the part of the day where it's it's getting a little bit interesting right now. I'm going to be real. You need a what? Oh, he's got to go. Jeremy will be right back. <laughs> He's going to go take a quick little pit stop here. All right, y'all, continue to get those questions, comments in here on the show. Hashtag Raiders, or you can super chat to get those questions, comments a-flowing. I thought there was a chance he might have
gone to pull the trig. He just went to go get a quesadilla. So, soaking it up. He's soaking it up. Oh! Feathery! Mars! Bang! I'm excited to see what Christian Wilkins and Max Crosby can do. If you want a free entry in our helmet giveaway, spam FM right now. I want to see some FMs down below. And real quick, to everybody that's watching the show, Max Crosby, Christian Wilkins, over or under 30, com let's say, let's say 30 and a half sacks, over or under, more or less, how about that, more or less, 30 and a half sacks for Crosby and Christian Wilkins, you think? I'm going over. Wilkins had nine last season. I get it. But he's never played next to Max Crosby. I mean, to me, if, if Wilkins can match his nine sacks again. I hear you. I hear you. I'm just saying, if Wilkins gives me eight to nine sacks, I expect Crosby to now be somewhere in that 16, 17 sack number range. I know, but he's got to get there. 30 and a half. It's a lot. Can he get there? All right, I'm seeing a lot of F and M's rolling in here. Let's give this one to. I'm going to give this one to try me. Try me. You get the extra entry. All right, that means the next person that bangs here on this show, they're also going to get, they're going to be giving away a free entry. So Feathery Mars, I believe is the name I'm looking there for. Feathery Mars. You in. And if anybody wants to join our March Madness Tournament, $50 Venmo at Mitchell Renz365, the first 64 people. The first 64 people, winner is going to get $1,600. And right now, as it stands, oh, Aloy Gilman going back to the Chargers. There's a safety that I talked about a few times, had some ties to, to, to Lesko. He ends up going back. As it stands right now, we got 15 people in our 50-50 raffle. You all right? I know. It's been a, it's been a day. It's been a, it's been a hell of a day, man. Hell of a day. It has been one hell of a day. Our, so far, again, we have not done anything with Justin Fields. I still see some people asking about Fields in that regard. Nothing has been uh, said yet. Nothing has been said yet. What up, Edgar? Do you think us signing Minshew means he's starting this season to tank for next year's draft and get our quarterback of the future, or is this a backup role? I think it's a backup role. To me, it has to be a backup rule. Like, you know that Telesco and Pierce don't have a long leash. Like, they don't. Like, they got to go out there. They got to win right away. They obviously view him as an upgrade over Aiden O'Connell. And because of that, they're just looking at, like, they didn't give him starting QB money. They gave him quality backup QB type of money. So yeah. because of that, I am just going to continuously sit up here and say that Gardner Minshew is your backup quarterback, and the only reason why that you bring in a quarterback like Gardner is because you don't have confidence in Aiden O'Connell slash the QB that you're going to target in the draft or potentially trade for in Justin Fields is a QB that has struggled to stay healthy, which is, a, which is a fact. Also, we got a trade. The Detroit Lions are trading for cornerback Carlton Davis from the Bucs. So Damn. the Lions just made a trade for Carlton Davis from the Bucks. That was the name that I was really looking at. Yeah? Yeah, him, Marshawn Lattimore, Jair Alexander were three guys who all starting caliber corners 
on the trade market right now. Cameron Abbott, you in. AC3 aspect, third in Renfro <laughs> for Fields. The, we, we've been saying it the, the whole day. Renfro has no value. There is no value in trading Renfro because of his contract. I don't, I don't think – I'm not saying that he can't go I, somewhere else and be an okay wide receiver, a decent wide receiver, but for his contract, zero value. Like, if I'm an NFL team, I would rather – not get red from. I would rather get a seventh round. I would rather you give me a third and a seventh rather than a third and Renfro. Correct. So, and that's that's kind of the issue here. Like, I, I wouldn't view Renfro as anything. Yeah. Let's go to Eric Barron. Minshew gives me Stabler vibes. I mean, I will say Minshew maybe 30 years ago could have been a Terry Bradshaw type of quarterback. Could have been a potential Ken Stabler type of guy. I will say this. He's going to be a great locker room dude, and the team's going to absolutely love him. That's a fact. Andrew Webb, you in. Would you rather have had Jacobs at $12 million or Minshew at $12 million per year? Neither. I, I would have said neither, because if you have enough money to give Josh Jacobs $12 million per year, you should have just given that $12 million to a, a star cornerback or another position in that regard. I will say the running back market today, Chugs, has been hot. Yeah. The defensive tackle market today has been hot. The block has been hot. Right tackle? I really haven't seen much of the right tackle spot. Robert Hunt getting $100 million. That was a little bit surprising today. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I to me, the cornerback spot has been very quiet. Yeah. Very, very quiet Search cornerback I. market. It, it, see, can we sucker New Orleans to trade for – like I said, there's no value in Renfro right now. His contract is too high. He's not going to give you anything close to I mean, the value for his contract. You're trading for a guy who is going to be your third, fourth wide receiver at best. I mean, even if you're the Raiders, do you want to trade him? So here, if you trade Hunter Renfro right now, okay, if you trade Renfro right now, you save $8.2 million, but you eat five. You eat $5.5 million. Or if you cut him post June first, then you save eleven point nine. So you have the opportunity to save a little bit over three and a half million dollars. Sure, you're not going to get a draft pick in return, but would I rather have three and a half extra million or a seventh round draft pick? Like I'm going to take that three and a half million dollars. Because of that, I don't see the Raiders trading Renfro. Now, if you're able to get a <coughs> High draft pick for him, sure, but there's not an NFL team alive right now that is going to be willing to give you anything more than a... Like if you got a six-round pick for Renfro right now, I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked if you got a seven. I, I don't disagree, but like I'm just trying to make the point here. It would be shocking, shocking news, man. I don't see why they would. Uh, Colton says, Mitchell, how much cap do we have? This is the one question that is going to be a really, really difficult question to answer just because Spotrack over the cap, as far as I'm concerned, I have not seen them update uh, their cap numbers. Also, Saints free agent linebacker Zach Bond going to the Philadelphia Eagles. Kind interesting. of an interesting move there. Yeah, I'm seeing... Let yeah. me know. Who do you want the Raiders to sign? I don't know what the salary cap situation is. Who do you is. want the Raiders to sign next in NFL free agency? Who are you looking at? Kendall Fuller? Adoree Jackson? Yeah. Xavier Howard? Uh, they got to get someone. They got to get someone. Also, uh, Feathery Mars. I think I owe you a beer bong still. I don't think I ever paid that up. My stomach, though, from that boot is, yeah, it's a, it's rather girthy. I got a girthy, I got a girthy gut right now. I'm not gonna girthy lie to gut. you. Girthy gut. Check a, check. I got a girthy gut. I got a check girthy Tuesday. Gut. Check Tuesday. Girthy gut. The Dolphins are working to get in cap compliance. Uh, they're working on Jalen Ramsey's contract. Hmm. I see Derrick Henry in there. I see Kendall Fuller, Patrick Queen, Alvin. Uh, Frank says Alvin Kamara going to be released. I know they've been trying to trade him, so we'll have to see on that front. Trying to fix my camera. You want to talk about a perfect running back in our system? 
If Alvin Kamara gets released, sign me up. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about a perfect back in a Luke Getze, Antonio that, Pierce type of offense. He's that had needs some trouble in Vegas. Ah, true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, I, I didn't even think uh, about that. Uh, uh, We're talking about on the field. Yeah. On the field. Great. <laughs> <sighs> yes. A little bit of a little bit of trouble in Vegas. A little bit. A little bit of the trouble. Sign me up. I hear you. I mean, it'll be it'll be fun to see. Speaking of sign me up, sign me up for prize picks. Sign me up for a little bit of the prize Prizepicks.com picks slash CLNS. Code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy, folks. All you got to do, choose two or more players from any sport, pick more or less on their projected stat types, and then place your entry. Easy as that. Mitch, why do you absolutely adore this number one daily fantasy sports app in the United States that is Prize Picks? Uh, I adore it because it is probably the best way to make sure that my time is being valued. And the reason why that I say that is in today's day and age, and I'm sure a lot of the people out there, maybe you got kids, maybe you got a significant other, I don't really get as much opportunity to watch sports as I used to. However, I have kind of figured out a way where if Alex and I, if I can get Alex to watch a game, I'll be real with you. I'll put down five, ten dollars, and if I have an opportunity to win a hundred, I will seriously just like be like, "Hey, babe, we're gonna split the money if I end up winning it." So what does that mean then? That means I get the opportunity to sit down, watch a game, enjoy that game, and then she gets to sit down next to me, and we're just having a good time. Like, there's just not too many chances in today's day and age that you can legitimately sit down for three hours, put ten dollars down, and give yourself a chance to win $100, and even if it does cost 10 bucks, $10 for three hours of entertainment in, in today's world is just insane to me. Like, don't get me wrong. I love watching the different shows that Alex and I do. We've really recently been watching, like, Resident Alien. Hilarious show. But, like, would I rather watch that or would I rather watch, like, a good NBA game? Like, I'd rather watch a good NBA game. So the fact that I'm going to have some money riding tonight with Luka Doncic we're going to be able to sit down. We're going to watch that game, and I'll be like, hey, we'll be able to split well, this. You have even said going to the games, it makes it more fun. You and oh, Alex dude. went to a Mavs game. Went to a Mavs a game about a ago. month ago, and we my prize picks did not hit. But just being interested in the idea of uh, who's the guy uh, from Michigan, their shooting guard? For the Mavs? Hardaway? Tim Hardaway Jr.? Tim Hardaway. We had the more or less on three-pointers, and he was one away. And we would have hit. Dude, every time they came down the court, it was like, hard away for three. Oh, dude, it was unbelievable. And it kind of reminded me of, Price Picks, you know what it reminded me of? At, at Mavericks games, they give away free chicken sandwiches in the fourth quarter if somebody misses two free throws. Every single person in that stadium is just like glued into those free throws. Oh, yeah. It's electric. That's what Price Picks is going to do. PricePicks.com. Slash the LNS. Uh, Josh I, do you think the Raiders can sign Steven Nelson? I think you can. I would have said before free agency, I would have said that he probably would go back to the Houston Texans. Now, I don't know what Houston's doing, dude. I mean, I think I think now it's even more because it's like, what are they even doing? They are taking their slow time. They are uh, taking it slow. Very, very slow. We got some trade details in here again from the Carlton Davis move. So the Lions, they receive cornerback Carlton Davis. The Bucks, they're going to get a 2024 six-round pick and a 2025 six-round pick. The Buccaneers receive the Lions' 2024 third-round pick. So trade that literally just ended up going down here. I do want to give a shout-out to today's MVP. So far, today's MVP... Can you name him? Ira Jackson. Oh, I know it's Ira. Ira Jackson got this party started very, very early. And whoever is the MVP of today's show, you're either, I'm going to be wearing your jersey tomorrow or I'm going to get you a jersey here on the Raiders report. But from top to bottom, man, today's been a lot, a lot of fun. I don't know if there's going to be any other moves today by Las Vegas. The plan for Jeremy and I is to remain live for, I'd like to say another hour. We'll kind of dictate how free agency goes here at Chat Sports. 
just because there is so many other moving parts going on right now. But Raiderman01 says right tackle on Wainu, just win, baby. And I, yeah. like, okay, but I really do think the Raiders are looking and saying, we're good with Thayer Munford. Yeah. Or if they were going to resign, or if they were going to get a right tackle, I think they would have just re signed Illuminor. Yeah, based off the conversations I had over the weekend, and I can't tell you who told me, and Jeremy can confirm this. I texted Jeremy, I go, uh, Jermaine's not going to be coming back to the Raiders. And then an hour later, Andre James signs. And then I go, Thayer Munford's going to be the plan as it stands right now for the Raiders at right tackle. Not saying that he's going to be your starting right tackle. However, um, he is going to compete for the job. And if you're Las Vegas and you do decide that, you know what, I, I'm okay not trying to trade up for a QB or I'm okay with potentially trading for Justin Fields and then taking somebody in offensive tackle at 13, I, don't, I like that move. Like, I, I do. I understand the Raiders building an overall team, and to me, that is a good team that they're building. Yes, they are showing up. I mean, Justin Fields right now is the talk of the market right now. People don't know where he's going to go, and people are in shambles. Like, legitimately, what team trades for Justin Fields right now? What team still needs a quarterback? The only team that still needs a quarterback off the top of my head? Giants. Giants need a QB, but if they're about to trade for Brian Burns... It, then, really, they would need Justin Fields. Because they wouldn't be able to no, draft yeah. one in the first round. But they'd trade do they just third stick with Daniel? They could. Daniel Jones. I mean, the Raiders are a team to me that still needs a QB. The Broncos need a QB. Justin Fields to... That would be interesting. Dude, Saquon Barkley fired back at Tiki. What did he say? You've been a hater since I got to New York. And the all dead to me talk. Don't smile on my face when you see me. Yep, you're the prime example of loyalty to a team. I got the deal I wanted, secured more GM, which wasn't given to me before. So if fans are going to hate me for that, then so be it. But I never turned my back on my teammates and always had theirs. Ugh, yeah, Tiki talking mess about Eli Manning the year after he retired. I don't think he's really in the space of talking about loyalty and respect. Yeah, I mean, Tiki's also the first player I ever drafted in fantasy football. The What? Feathery! Oh! Mars! Mars! Bang! Sorry, whenever I, I literally saw red up on my screen as you were talking. He said, drink up. Or she, I don't know. Feathery Mars. They pour it up, pour it up. Pour it up, pour it up. Oh, watch it all fall out. I'll tell you what. I the amount of food that I have consumed today, I'm I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't consumed a ton of food. I've I did my factor meal. I feel pretty I good. Ate, I ate one quesadilla. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be a little bit upset with my body at the end of this week. I've just already come to that conclusion. I'm just so full of liquid. Dude, I I lost ten pounds last week. I'm gonna put it back on. I already know it. I I already know it. Feathery Mars. Who is Gunnar Olszewski? Holy shit. That could be a rugby player. I would I would give you I would Venmo you 10 bucks right now if you can tell me what college Gunnar Olszewski went to. I'm going to guess either Wisconsin or Iowa. Not even close. He went to like a D2 school in oh. like Nebraska or he, Minnesota. Uh, I figured that. He looks like he's from that area. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. There is no doubt let's about see. it. All right. Let's go back to it. If you want a free spot. He went to Bemidji State University. God bless you. You say Bemidji? Bemidji. Bemidji. Bemidji State. B Bemidji State. You heard me right. Bemidji State. Sean Kennedy, you're getting the entry. Mr. Mr. Sean Kennedy, you're getting the entry. 
Kennedy. I'm gonna lie. All right. Cheetah Bay Awuzie's deal is there. Who did he sign with again? The Titans. Three years, 36. Three for 36. Also, Feathery says, <gasps> since JJ is gone, do you think we draft a running back or stay with Zeus? I appreciate the fact, the clarification there, in case I didn't know it was his nickname. Um, <laughs> I, I think the Raiders draft a QB. I do think that their number one plan still is that Samir White's going to be that back, complimentary with Amir Abdullah. However, it's been reported that Austin Eckler is a name to at least keep in mind. Uh, I spoke to Eckler at NFL Media Row. He said he would be open to the idea of signing with the Raiders depending on the paycheck. I will say, based on the deals that have been coming in today, I don't know if I love the idea of signing Austin Eckler. Uh, I, I would rather the Raiders just draft a running back. Like, go out, get your running back, go out and get your guy in the fourth or fifth round and just kind of go about it in that direction. Like, that's that's the direction that I personally would go in. I mean, we'll see what Las Vegas obviously ends up doing here, but... Good question. Oh, will the Raiders trade up? Will the Raiders trade a player to move up into the draft? Yes or no? Oh, man, oh, man. You know what's crazy? <clears throat> Our Gardner Minshew cut is off to a better start than Wilkins. That's kind of crazy. That one's a little bananas there. I'm not going to lie. A little bananas. Um, Dolphins restructuring Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, we got that one. Juwan Jennings, one year. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are 100 likes away from another wheel spin here on the show, which... Dude, are you nervous? A little. A little bit. The wheel has kind of effed me today. The wheel has not been on Jeremy's side at all. At all. And I also, in four minutes, I got a deal. In four minutes, I got a deal for the nation. It's going to be an interesting one. All right. Uh, Miami also did conversations on contract with Zach Sealer. Alec Ingle, Durham Smythe, they're trying to clear up $28.78 million. They're, they're trying to get underneath the salary cap. They are in salary cap hell right now. Them and the New Orleans Saints. A lot, of, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of different moving parts out there. All right, so I would say today the biggest moves around the Raiders. Raiders signed Christian Wilkins. They signed Gardner Minshew. And Josh Jacobs went to the Green Bay Packers. Oh, my God. Marshall's so soft. What? He just tweeted, Saquon Barkley's lied to us for two years and just put, together, put out a video that was like Saquon saying, like, I'd love to be a giant for life. The Giants reportedly didn't even offer him a deal. <laughs> what, are you, what is he supposed to do? I mean. <laughs> like, what? I mean, it would, I mean, imagine if Josh Jacobs signed a contract to go play for Honestly, the Chiefs. People would be very upset about it. But imagine at the same time if they gave him an insane deal and it was reportedly the Raiders didn't even offer him a deal. Sure. Sure. What do you do? Sure. I hear you. I hear you. Guy was supposed to play on Hopes and Dreams. And Jermaine Illuminor signing with the New York Giants. Do we see if we can get him on? <laughs> Congrats to Jermaine Illuminor signing a two-year, $14 million deal with the New York Giants. So it was uh, definitely one of the teams spoke to somebody at the NFL media row that told me Carmen Brasillo, obviously with the New York Giants now, is really looking at Jermaine Illuminor, and he ends up getting that deal done, going to the New York Giants, Jermaine Illuminor. Uh, congratulations to him, man. So Jermaine goes off the board. I mean, Jermaine was saying that he was looking at a few different teams. <clears throat> I mean, that's, uh, he was one of the top tackles. However, though, I look at $7 million and 
I kind of expected him to go get a little bit more. I think even he expected to get a little bit more. Two years, $14 million. Jermaine Illuminor. Oh. What? Uh, cut for us? No. Uh, for us, no. Yeah. Okay. No, for us, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, again, so Jermaine uh, spoke with him over the weekend, and one of the things that Jermaine told me was that Yeah, one of the things that Jermaine told me was that there was a lot of other teams that were being interested. Again, Jermaine from day one has always said that he wants to remain in Las Vegas, but he wanted to find a deal that... Oh, and it looked from... Maybe maybe just mistyped typo. He wanted typo. a multi-year deal. Mistyped typo, but they're classifying him as a guard. Yeah, it's a typo. I mean, Jermaine flat out told me that he only wanted to play... He only wanted to be a right tackle. So I think that might just not... I think they're getting that one wrong. If you're talking about Schefter. I mean, I will say this though, two years, fourteen million. I thought that he was gonna get a little bit more. Yeah. I really did. Good for Jermaine. I mean he only got fourteen million. True. Still can't believe Jonathan Grenard, four years, seventy-six million. Leonard Floyd, that's a lot. With the Niners, two years. Two Here million. we go! The Panthers have just traded Brian Burns to the New York Giants. Panthers are trading Brian Burns to the Giants. Burns gets a five-year deal worth $150 million with 87 and a half guaranteed. Wow. Well, sorry, Jermaine. You're getting cucked. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Burns, breaking Ooh. news. Jermaine, you're, you're in the second paragraph. Breaking news. The Is Giants are trading for Brian Burns. Oh. We do not have the details have yet. Nobody. Top five in calf space. They've signed we Danica do Lockett not have and Jeff Okuda. the details yet. We don't have the details yet. I mean, it's got to be multiple first-round picks. It's got to be multiple first-round picks. I can't wait to see what happens here. I mean, if it's this year's number six overall pick... That helps the Raiders move up. Do we do a cut? I got to until the pick comes out. I don't know if we're going to do a cut, but this is massive, man. The Panthers are trading Brian Burns to the New York Giants. Wow. <laughs> Brian Burns said he wanted to be a Panther. He's a horrible person. <laughs> no way anybody could ever root for Brian Burns being on one team and then going to another team. That's awful. Oh, my. Oh, my. I see some people are saying, check out Josh Jacobs' story. I'll see if I can. I recently have unfollowed Josh Jacobs, as honestly now. What's the point? So Jacobs is claiming that the Raiders were unloyal to him. Which, again, I don't know. Josh Jacobs claims the Raiders were possibly unloyal to him. The Giants pass rush next year, if Kayvon Thibodeau improves, is going to be really good. It's going to be Brian Burns, Kayvon Thibodeau, and Dexter Lawrence up the middle. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Interesting. Dude, I'll tell you what, man. I, I got to see this deal. What do you think it's going to be? Oh, my Lord. Trade details. Giants get Brian Burns, Panthers, second round pick, and a fifth. 
No first round pick involved. A second and a fifth for Brian Burns. So the Panthers last offseason turned down apparently two first round picks for Brian Burns. This offseason, they trade him for a second and a fifth. I mean, make that make sense. I mean, if that... I got to make sure that this is accurate. I got to make sure that this is accurate because if that is... Yeah, Ari's saying the Giants for a second and a fifth. I mean, <laughs> this is a unbelievable, disastrous move by Carolina. A second and a fifth? A second and a fifth for Brian Burns. I mean, what is Carolina doing? You could have traded them last offseason for two first-round picks. You said no. This offseason, a second and a fifth. I mean, how does that make sense? Make it make sense. I, it's a horrible trade by Carolina. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. But why, do, why not just... You extend him. Holy They're not paying crap. anybody. They don't have anybody else to pay. <laughs> They're paying. They have a rookie quarterback. Oh, oh What's your one-word reaction to the Giants trading for Brian Burns? I think the best one-word reaction I've seen so far is Tyson Hughes suckers. I mean, uh, Carolina. Are... What is Carolina doing, man? That, again, bad organizations stay bad. Bad organizations stay bad. That's a that's a bad organizational move. I, I just, what? Yep. Ah, <clears throat> uh, that's a steal for the Giants. It is. It's a steal for the Giants. It's like the the Giants are like. Oh, we'll trade for Brian Burns. What do you want? A six? Be like, no, we'll take a second and a fifth. Be like, you don't you don't want the first over or first round pick? They're like, no. Of course not. I mean, that's crazy. They literally turned down two first round picks last year. And now they take a second and a fifth. I mean, that's Giants clearly win this trade. And it's not even a fifth rounder this year. I know. It's a 2025. Oh, my goodness. What a, I mean, this is a fleece job. You got to be shitting me, man. I mean, this is, I agree. Giants playing with accept all trades on Madden. <laughs> That's, I, uh, I can't even believe this. Can't even believe this. Uh, that's good for the Giants, dude. I mean, this trade wouldn't get accepted on Madden. Giants clearly win. What are the Panthers doing? I just... Honestly, I was kind of hoping that they were going to have to potentially give up a first-round pick. I mean, realistically, I, I, I was thinking that legitimately they were going to have to give up one of their first-round picks. And the fact that they don't is shocking. I'm just... That is bananas from Nico. Bro, I, I hear you. That is bananas. All right, Jeremy. I, I, I want to... I'm going to do this. I don't know how much longer we're going to stay live for here. Obviously, there's still a lot of stuff flowing in around the Raiders. So what I want to do here is I want to put, let's put an hour on the clock. Okay. Let's put an hour on the clock. Chugs and I are going to stay live for another hour longer. Now, obviously, if more breaking news happens around the Raiders, we will do our best to come back, go live, do all that kind of good stuff here. Not a shot clock. Not a shot clock. No. What I am going to do, though, is this. Every single time somebody bangs on this show, from here on out, okay? Here on out, you're going to get two bangs for our March bang race. I'm going to do a beer bong. I'm going to do a beer bong, but for every two bangs, every bang, you're going to get two. Sorry, we're, we're, we're catching up here. We're oh. trying to catch up here. 
I mean, my, oh my, oh my. This is, uh... Somebody, somebody's spamming Hollywood Brown as a chief, which we haven't gotten that information yet. Yeah, I don't have that one yet either. If so, that, that sucks. Oh, boy. Jermaine Illuminor, he's going to the New York Giants. Interesting. Nico Laz, can we get Jair or Lattimore for a box of scraps? I mean, if, you, if, they, were, if they were on the Panthers, then yes. I don't think you're giving up a top pick for either of those guys. Maybe a third or fourth rounder because of <laughs> their age and whatnot. But yeah, I, at this point, Jair, like I actually think Marshawn Lattimore, you could get for very cheap because of the situation that they're in currently with their salary cap. I think you could get Marshawn Lattimore for a fifth round pick. Yeah, I, I, I legitimately do. Like the Saints are in salary cap hell. I think that you could. I mean, five years, 150 for Brian Burns. Holy shit. That is a massive, and I mean massive deal. What's crazy is if you remember the Giants, they traded away Leonard Williams for a second and a fifth. And now they use essentially that second and a fifth to go get Brian Burns. Yeah. Give me Brian Burns over Leonard Williams. Oh, I'm with you. That's uh, they got Kevon Thibodeau and Brian Burns. Dexter Lawrence in the middle. Oh, Christ. Again, games are one in the trenches, man. Games are, games are absolutely one in the trenches. I don't care. Now, what I... Will Kevon Thibodeau continue to excel this next season? I mean, he's got to step it up. I don't, he, he, he did good. He was good last year. Uh, yeah. Carlos, we definitely read yours. Yes. Giants probably won't be able to trade up anymore. We definitely had it on screen for a while. Yeah, we did. We definitely did, Carlos. But it's all right. Not at the table. Not at the table, Carlos. All right. I am looking right now. I'm going to refresh my phone and see how many people are in our 50-50 raffle here. Remember, $20 Venmo at Mitchell Rents 365 for a chance to get in. The last name that I see is Triban and Cameron Abbott. So that means the next name in here is uh, Jamarcus Russell. Not even shitting you. Uh, soul. Soul. Bro, you got to tell me how to pronounce your name. Soldman LAK. All right. And then I got another one rolling in here from Mr. Scott Eckert. As it stands right now. Okay. Um. Here is the exact trade for Brian Burns. The Giants are sending their 39th overall pick along with a fifth round pick in 2025. Albert Breer is struggling today. Albert Breer just said Giants are sending the 39th overall pick along with the 2015 <laughs> fifth round pick. <laughs> so 2025 fifth rounder. Uh, New York still has the 47th pick. Wow. I am if that's all it costs to get Brian Burns, um that's crazy. I mean, no wonder. I mean, there's gotta be a bunch of other NFL teams out there going, that's what it took to get Brian Burns. It's like this is like the DeAndre Hopkins trade. Where teams are like, really? A, a running back in a in a in a second or a third? Are you sure? I mean that is um That's wild. I, I can't believe the Panthers just did that. $20 to enter our 50-50 raffle, but if you want to go a little high stakes, okay. we're doing a March Madness style bracket, $50 Venmo to enter. Yep. The winner is going to get $1,600. Correct. So basically what it's going to do, the first 64 people to send $50 to Mitch yep. on Venmo, you're going to be entered in our March Madness bracket, which we'll do later on in the month. It'll be head-to-head -head duck races until we get to a final two. The most insane duck race of all time. Two people for $1,600. Dude, can you imagine? You're, there's going to be two people in that race, obviously, and they're just going to be sweating. Sweating absolute bullets. Two, 1v1. 
and then you can spin the dreidel after. Oh, dude, I don't know. The dreidel would be intense. <laughs> oh, man. The dreidel would be intense. I agree. Eagles reportedly talking with Justin Simmons right now. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Also, y'all, we are 30 likes away from spinning the Chug that, death that, wheel. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> his, Simmons. Some of his best years were with Vic Fangio in Denver. Yep. Vic Fangio now the DC in Philly. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. He's no Xavier McKinney. <clears throat> no Xavier McKinney. All right. Uh, Chugs, can you hold down the fort here for five minutes? I got to go take a leak. I'm sorry. It's at this point the bladder is uh the bladder is interesting. The goose is a loose. Robert said that's like giving up two firsts for Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Not quite, but it's close. Not quite. All right, everybody. Right I would do that. I'm in. I'm in. Wow. That is insane. With all this talk about Josh Jacobs, I do have a quick question. Because Saquon got a crazy deal today. Josh Jacobs got a long-term deal. Uh, I mean, who are the top five running backs in the league right now? Uh, Girls, Dad, Chugs, can you explain the March Madness raffle? Yes. So the first 64 people to enter, sending Mitch $50 on Venmo, they're each going to have a slot in our March Madness raffle. And basically it's going to be head-to-head duck races to advance on. So it'll be... You know, 64 people, and then it'll be 32 people, and then it'll be 16, and then 8, and then there will be 4, and then 2. And whoever wins that, it's winner take all, $1,600 to the winner. So you want to enter our March Madness style raffle, winner take all, $50 Venmo to Mitchell Wren 365 uh, DB, yes, that $10 is good for our jersey raffle that's going on at the end of today's show. I believe, yeah, Raider DB, I have you in there. I have you in there, but let me know, who are the top five backs in the NFL right now? Christian McCaffrey, and then, who? I mean, Bijan, is he up there? Are we talking Saquon, top five? I see Jacobs, Henry, Saquon, Pollard, and Eckler from Siena. Well, the list your list has to have Christian McCaffrey. He's number one, if not in that top. I see Patrick B said Gibbs from Detroit. He's a good up and comer. Nick Chubb, he got hurt this year, but before this season, he was regarded as one of the top five backs in the league. I see Devin says McCaffrey, Chubb, uh, Chubb, Henry, Saquon, Jacobs. Eckler isn't even top 20 from Dylan. I think Telesco let JJ walk because he wants Eckler. I mean, the, there's the familiarity there. There's already familiarity with Eckler and Tom Telesco. Eckler's good. Uh, Adam's talking to Jones right now. I like uh, Aaron Jones. Mitch was saying he didn't know if he would want the uh, Raiders to sign Aaron Jones. I would absolutely love that move. I see Joseph says McCaffrey, Bijan, Gibbs, Brees Hall, and Barkley are his top five. I th- That's the point of this whole question is I don't think there's a consensus top five. I don't think there's a top five where everybody's like, yeah, that's 100% it. I think it's McCaffrey and then a big question mark because a lot of injuries this past season, a lot of young guys who – Played well from time to time, but didn't really prove that they were the guy. Brees Hall had really good games, but also disappeared in some games. Could be because the Jets sucked last year. Uh, Bijan Robinson didn't get used really by Arthur Smith, but I think I still think he's a top five talent. Where do you put DeAndre Swift? Where do you put Aaron Jones? Aaron Jones at times looked like a top five running back last year. He killed the Cowboys in the playoffs. Cowboy killer, notorious. Derrick Henry had a little bit of a down year. Jack Sperry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Super chat coming in from Victoria. I really liked JJ, but he def was becoming a diva. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think it's hard whenever a lot of people have a lot of outside expectations, also a lot of, you know, outside noise on what guys should should slash shouldn't be doing in the league. And then also, you know, the expectation of yes. Players do have loyalty. He got the shield tatted on him, but at the same time, he's got to make sure he takes care of his and uh, his family and his, you know, his own. And the only way for him to do that is make sure to do what's best for Josh Jacobs. So I don't blame him at all for going. Just like nobody should blame Saquon Barkley for going to the Eagles. They gave him. I mean, he was looking at the Texans, and the Eagles just went ahead and threw that offer out the window. With what the Texans, I mean, not out the window. They gave him three and a half more million than what the Texans were supposed to offer, but it's still three and a half million. That's a lot. So I think there's a fine line between Diva and like how we perceive these guys. I don't necessarily think that Jacobs was a Diva. Now, did he say that he would wanted to be a Raider all like yeah for life? Yes. Was that the case at the end? No. I think it's just one of those things where, again, I'm, the reason why I do this show and the reason why I don't try, I don't care if I upset players is because players are going to go where they want to go, right? Like players are going to go where the money leads. I'm a Raider, right? I'm a Raider through and through. People watching the show, you're a Raider through and through. Like this is your team. It's always going to be your team. And I respect JJ. I respect a lot of these other players that have spent time with us. Like Jermaine Illuminor, that's my guy. He's a giant now. Like, there's going to be multiple players that we sit up here and we rally behind. But at, even like Derek Carr, like at the end of the day, they're going to go where the money makes sense. And that's their job. That's fine. And my the, job on here, though, is to be loyal to the nation. And, and But you can't my, – my point was at the same time, yes, that is true. But you can't also get mad at the players because the, the teams do the same thing. And we have yeah. to realize it is – a way of life for a lot of people, but for the guys in it, it is their job and their business. Sure. So you can't take it personally with a, when a guy le- with when a guy leaves somewhere. Yes, I mean, it sucks. Like he's got he got four years, forty eight million. If you would have told me that Josh Jacobs would get a four year, forty eight million dollar contract, I'd laugh at you. Like I'm looking at all y'all in the eyes right now. I was on the phone with Josh Jacobs' agent last week, and he literally told me that there's no. He literally said that he did not think that there was any chance in hell they're getting a four-year deal. They got a four-year deal at $48 million. They're going to take it. If I told you right now you could quadruple your salary. Of course. Yes. <laughs> of course. I'm taking it. Right? Like, people are going to take that. Now, if you told me I'll pay you X and you got to go cover another team, it'd be a lot different conversation if I'm being honest with you. 20 mil to cover the Chiefs. Holy Oh my lord, twenty million—that's a lot of money. I mean, imagine me with a Raiders tattoo covering the Chiefs. See, I think there's a difference, though. Could I cover the Chiefs? Yes, but I'd still be a Raider at heart. Like Chiefs score a touchdown. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, Chiefs score. Get the FKCs going. <laughs> Steve, what up, boys? Minch you to the Raiders would be nice to have one off season before I die, where I don't scratch my head on our decisions. This isn't that season, obviously. I mean, there's one move, no doubt, that I do think a lot of people are a little bit curious about why it ended up happening. Also, Austin Eckler, he is signing with the Washington Commanders. Eckler, on a two-year, $11.43 million deal, Eckler going to the Commanders. I think that that move makes some sense. Um, oh, let me... Uh, you want to fill in this last part for me? What is it? Oh. We're getting we're getting challenged by bears right now. All right, I'm listening. They're uh, they're trying to beat us in a super chat battle. Okay. So we're exchanging information, seeing who's ahead of who at the moment. I'll tell you what, it's definitely close. I think they honestly got us right now. I think it's pretty close. I do. 
which don't get me wrong, I don't like losing in any battle. If we battled against the Bears today, are you guys in? Type me if you're down to try to beat the Bears in a super battle. If you're down to battle the Bears in a super battle, let me know right now. I need to see who's in because... Kinfa, the thing is, we'll be live all this week. Correct. All right, so let me get some other names here of people in our 50-50 raffle. Patrick B., you in. I see Robert in. Robert Bozen, that is, you in. Then I see Lori Sandoval in. Carlos Pacheco in. Trivan is actually in for our, uh, whatchamacallit, our March Madness bracket. So Trivan is number 16 in that. You in. I see Ronnie Serrato. Hopefully I pronounced that one right. You in. Three million signing bonus for Eckler. Grant Corona in. Though I spelt that just unbelievably wrong. I sure wrote it. And then Matt Fluhi is in. As long as Ronnie Serrato. So as it stands right now, $20 Venmo, you'd have a chance to win $230. Our live show today is going to end in 42 minutes. Unless you guys want to keep this party rocking and rolling. That's up to y'all. I see Mitchell Wren's fan page. What are the odds of us landing Gilmore or White? Stephon Gilmore and Tredavious White. Uh, to me, if the Raiders were going to go and look at a veteran corner, it wouldn't be one of those guys, personally. To me, if they're going to go out and add a veteran corner, I would say Xavier Howard is the more likely candidate out there Cameron Johnson three years nine million with the Steelers I think that one already came in though yeah or the the details the contract yet. details just came out yep yep all right are we battling the Bears I think they got the lead on us right now Uh, it's going to be close. I don't know. Wait, let me see. Matthew said, wow, you just saw that? Um, no, I just saw the contract details. The deal itself was reached about two hours ago for that punter. But it is what it is. Over 3,000 people here. I do know this. We got to spin the wheel. We do. We do. Already spin... read, we already read this one from Steve, right? Yes, the Golden here, Bachelor himself. Read this one first. I did. Oh, you did? Yep. Uh, I got that one, and then glazed donut. We still going for an in draft. I don't know what that means. I glazed think a donut, QB. a QB. Yes, I still see the Raiders going out and trying to get a quarterback in the NFL draft. Yeah, it's wheel time here. Spin it, spin that wheel. What do we got? What do we got? I like it. I like it. All right, I'll make you a deal. Hear me out. Every 20, Chugs and I both take a shot. That way you're not by yourself. And if I got to do a few more, I got to do a few more. I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting Puff right now. Oh, this is just... You've been, you've been taking a beating. This, this wheel is F me. This wheel is... Uh, it might be a lopsided wheel. So 60 seconds on the clock starting now. If you want Jeremy to take a shot, it's 10. If you want both of us to take a shot, it's 20. Starting right now. Martin said, get the 2 o'clock going. Get the 2 o'clock going. Sorry, I'm just moving over. What? I'm just moving over the, uh, what's it called? I don't know. The super battle. Oh, okay. So we're going to do one. Page day. What is up, Paige? Remember, every hundo we get from here on out in the remainder of the show. I'm going to count on this two bangs in our bang race off here. Paige Davis. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. And so funny enough. I'm listening. 
Paige Davis, $100 Super Chat. What's up, Nation? Mitch and Chugs. Been very busy day for the Raiders. I like Wilkins and Jacob and J- Jacobs move, not signing Jacobs. Yep. Not sure about Minshew. Going to be a great season. You already know that, Paige. Uh, Paige, I sure hope so. Um, but the thing is, I was actually about to put this up. We were tied. Yep. We just took the lead. We just took the lead. Oh, man. We're doing a super chat battle against the Bears right now. It's close. I'll tell you this. I don't like losing. I, I do not like losing. We do this thing here at uh, Raiders Report. We do it at a bunch of different stuff here at the channels. We kind of have bragging rights here, and I don't like to lose. The Raiders Report has only lost one time to the Giants, and they are challenging us to a super chat battle. So here's where I'm just going to tell you all, I'm going to put my body on the line here for the last 37 minutes. I'm going to put my body on the line here for the next 37 minutes. If you guys want to take down the Bears with me, I need your help. Can you check your phone? Hmm? Check your phone. Um, I will not, check my phone. Not from, not from Vin. All right, I'm checking my phone. Uh, I don't know. I don't see anything. Hang on. What time is it? All right, that makes sense. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm actually missing a, quite a bit. Um, how about this? You got to add. You got to also just add that. I, Taino, I totally didn't add Taino's in there. This one! Oh, shit. Rolling in from. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I got to. I got to get it right. Taino! No. Ray! I'm saying in total, you got to add his total from cash to the total. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. Correct. Taino. <laughs> Taino Raider decided to pull up. So, Chugs. Ceiling missing. Oh, man. All right. So, we owe quite a bit. We owe quite a bit here, Mr. Chugs. I see... So we owe 10? Yep. Uh, 12? Yep. 13, 14, 15, 17, 27. That's it. Only 27, you say? Only 27. All right. Here we go. Latin. Matt Fluhe, drink up on the ski. Save your last one. We'll do the last one on the, on, on the shot ski. Is that, is that, is that fair? Mitch? Yeah. All right. Legend Trivan! Oh, man. Does anybody... Dude, that's uh, that's spicy. I'm not going to lie to you. That's an extra spicy meat the bone. D-Rocks extra said... Extra spicy meat the bone. D-Rocks says, shot, 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 shot. Everybody. All right. Go ahead and pour the two shot skis and then hand it to me and I'll do my shot. Peyton Jack, you in? All right. Um, Trivan, gonna... my man. How you been, Trivan? What's up, my brother? Love you, big dog. Mr. Trivan. Pour one out for Jermaine. I'll pour one out for Jermaine. I obviously really wanted Jermaine to be back. Or no, put him in the shot ski and then, oh. and then I'll do my shots and... In this. Okay. I got you. They're in there. So and then, and then pass me the fireball so I can do my shots. There you and go. Then we'll do the last two on the shot ski. Oh, Peyton Jaqueef, you in. That's not the name. I can't. What? J A Q U I T H. Quith? Jaqueef? Jaqueef? I just refuse to believe the name is Jaqueef. I didn't say that. I said Jaqueef. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said Jaqueef. No. Come on, man. I wouldn't go that low. I wouldn't go that low. Without Manscaped. I will say this. Also on top of that, I know you guys are probably looking at the Super Chat numbers. 
Jeremy and I, our chat sports team, we do not keep any of the super chat money. We invest it back into the company. So we invest it into our software, our lights. Um, I've been trying to tell you all that we are trying to build a Raiders report only we're, studio here. We're hiring here. two more people. We're going to be hiring two, probably three um, more people, full-time employees. So every time that we do stuff like this, again, it doesn't go in my pocket. It doesn't go in Chugs's pocket. It goes into back to the company to help you, if you get know that you some, guys more videos. If you know somebody that wants to be a sports producer, yep. send, them, send them our way. Correct. Yeah, well, yeah, we're hiring in Cincinnati. We're hiring down here in Dallas. If anybody you won't wants to be work able to with cover us. the Raiders. Correct. Yeah, but no, no Raiders content. If uh, you'd cover somebody else, Coach Palumbo, Chugs, and Mitch, what's up? Coach Pierce what's is up, going Palumbo? to make our team the toughest in the NFL. It's going to be an eleven angry men all over again. Drink up, Raiders. I mean, this is the mindset that I think that this team wants to have, right? Like. This is the mindset that this team is trying to go with because, I mean, let's face it, if you're going to have this bad boy mantra, you got to be able to win on the interior. And the Raiders right now are investing their money on the interior. It's that's, what they're doing. That's a spike. It is absolutely positively what they are doing. They are investing on the interior right now. R. What kind of fish is that? Bass. What kind? Big mouth bass. I don't know. You could have said small mouth or big mouth, and I was in. I was uh, I was totally in there. Do you think the Raiders make any more signings today? Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Any more signings today? Hope so. I do too. Peyton, love you both. Oh, thank you, Peyton. You, you were, were cl close enough. It's Jake with. Jake with. Yeah. But oh. That's not, that's not how you said it. Jaqueef. Jaqueef. <laughs> Jake with. Peyton Jake with. All right. I mean, I could see that. Yeah. Jaqueef, though. <laughs> I think it's close. Mitchell. It's like Mitchell. Mitchell. <laughs> Jeremy Hugs, the sea is silent. <laughs> Jeremy Hugs, the sea is silent. All right. Let me go come up so we can do the shots. I don't know how many. Did you catch them up on all of them? I was counting these as two whenever I filled them because this is a big shot. That is a, a spicy meatball. All right. It is a very, very me, spicy meatball. Let me meatball. come up so we can do this shot for Jaqueef. All right, Jaqueef. We got you. I'll tell you what. Tomorrow is going to be a tough day. Today's Monday. We got four more of this. Buckle up. Four more days of this, buckle up. I don't know if today, I, I mean, I think today might be the biggest day because of Christian Wilkins. However, you never know, Jeremy. Y you just, you never know. I'll say that. You never know what ends up happening here. All right, let's go. Let's get this one started. We got our Raider Shotsky, courtesy of the woman with no shoes. Raider Shotsky. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But I know. I was going to say, that means I'm going in your hole. I don't know. All right. Man, Lahayam. Uh, yep. Uh, man, I feel like, I don't know if it's getting easier or if I'm just getting more drunk. Go! Buttercup, drink up to the Buttercup, Feathery Mars, man, this is, uh, dude, I don't know, Bears has given us a run for our money, I'll tell you that, 
They are giving us a run for our money. They, I, they're partying over there. I give them credit, man. Drink up, Feathery. Not trying to kill you, Mitch. Bring it. Honestly, at this point, Feathery, you are two away from a gong rip. Two away from a gong rip. And two away from getting your own Raiders Report jersey. I'm just saying. So far, today's MVP has been Ira Jackson. Feathery Mars right now is in an interesting spot. It's, uh, it's going to be an interesting spot. It's also going to be interesting if the Raiders sign anybody else because it's uh, we're getting a little bit blurry here on these streets. Feathery. Oh, man. What a day. What a freaking day. I'm on the edge of my seat wondering how our draft is going to look like. Also, I think it would be cool to take a long shot on drafting a speedy receiver like Xavier Worthy. Uh, to me personally, I don't really think that the Raiders should do that. I know that they want to try to add some speed here, but like at the end of the day, wide receiver is a position that you're more than set on. Like I've definitely thrown out the idea of potentially moving on from Jacoby Myers just because he might not hypothetically fit with the, the fact that the Raiders are looking for a little bit more speed at receiver. But like if you go into to this next season, excuse me, with Devontae Adams, with Jacoby Myers, with Trey Tucker, with Michael Mayer, you got a pretty good core there of your top four pass catchers, which I think is a pretty confident unit from top to bottom. But like, I would I would just like, where you're going to have to take Xavier Worthy, man, you're going to have to take him probably in the top three rounds. And I, I would just rather you address some other needs in the top three rounds of the draft. Like, if you're going to go out and get a right tackle, all right, let's go get a right tackle. If you're going to potentially get an offensive guard, I'd rather you go get an offensive guard. If you're going to try to get a edge rusher, linebacker, if there's the position that to me is on the lotus, lowest of the totem pole, it is wide receiver. And I get it. Xavier Worthy ran an incredible 40-yard dash. But we've seen it before. Just because you run an incredible 40 time, that does not mean that your game is going to be able to translate to the NFL level. It, it doesn't mean that. We'll see, though. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Just based on, he said, like, we should try to go get Xavier Worthy. Cameron Abbott said, Mitch, put me in. Cameron Abbott said, put me in for the March Madness bracket, which Cameron, my good sir, you are in. Our 17th person in it. Uh, Jason E.B., you are in. And I am being told that the Bears just tied us up in our super chat battle. Tell how much longer are we doing this? Um I need to know. Let me, <sighs> I know, but if they're gonna keep going, we gotta keep going. Thugador, man, what a crazy day. So long, JJ, and welcome Wilkins. Thugador. I think it is one of those things. Zon, we are live. Zon, I'm going to be honest. We are in a hefty super chat battle right now against the Bears. We are in a hefty super chat battle against the Bears, Zon. And I don't know if I can do a boot right now, Mr. Zon, but I'm going to try. And I mean, I'm going to try to do the best I can because this is, uh, this is getting out of hand here. I see a bunch of supers coming in. We will get to those questions. Jeremy just had to go take a quick leak. Jeremy had to go take a quick leak. I know, Zon. I'll get it up on screen. I'll get it up on screen. Oh, boy. Mr. A David Azone. It's going to be interesting today. This is, this is a lot of boots. Jordan Brooks signing with the Miami Dolphins. Three years, $30 million. $6.30, so that's 15 more minutes. Okay, 
So I, I still say we just do our show ends at 23. Let's just keep that time. That I think I don't want to take time away from people. I also, uh, I don't know if you saw this. This is going to be, this is going to be really bad for me, but also maybe really good for the nation. This one's rolling in from David Zon Bay. So we said 6.30 Central. So okay. 7.30 Eastern Time. That would be what Pacific? Uh, Pacific. 3.30. 3.30. So we got 15 more minutes of this battle. I uh, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go get a boot. I'm going to go get a boot, Chugs. I'll be right back. We're gonna. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a boot. And you know what? If somebody's... If we get $500 before Mitch does his boot, I'll do a boot with him. If we get $500 before Mitch does his boot, I'll do a boot with him. If we get a single $500 super chat, we can make it a three-way race. Three-way race for $500. Who's down? Venmo or super chat? $500, we're doing a three-way race. Wow. Breeze. Do you think Gardner will start? Does it feel like we took two steps back again? I don't think he'll start. I think at worst he's going to be in there to compete with whatever rookie they draft. 4.15, yeah, so we're going until 4.30. 4.30 is when our competition with Bears is going to end. Woo! All right, Gil, Minshew is a backup. The story isn't over yet for the QB hunt. Go Raiders. I agree with that. So, Mitch, you'll do your boot when we're done with the Super Chats. If we didn't get it at 500, uh, then you'll do it by yourself. If we do, me and Seeps are going to race you in a three-way race. All right, friendly reminder that every time somebody bangs right now, it's a double. Counts as double in our bang race. So, Zahn... He's now got seven. Thug the door. Man, what a crazy day. So long, JJ. Welcome, Wil Wilkins. Hey, we've been saying the Raiders had not had they spent $12 million at the defensive tackle position. Wait, you're not gonna wait for us? What? I'm, I, I said after we read all the supers, you'll go. Nope, oh, that's on me. That's on me. Uh yep. I hear you. Yes. yes. Which obviously. Schmitty. Didn't the Steelers screw the Broncos with that $1.2 million signing of Wilson F the Donkeys? In a way, yes, they did, because no matter what, uh, if if Wilson would have signed for anything more than $1.2, the Broncos would have got a credit. So because of that, the Broncos are still just eating at 39. David Zon Bang! Oh. That means we are four bangs away from a three-way boot race. I'm putting out my bat signal to Mount Raider more. I'm, I'm putting out my bat signal to Mount Raider more. Um, for oh boy, for, for Vin. What is it still? Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, and then. Man, oh man, oh man. Mr. David Azone. Spam Mr. Zone. Let's go. Zon's like, that's all I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Ed Fitz. It's a long week, Zon. Lemon character and baby lemon twirling around in the air, hugging. I don't know what that looks like. That's, that's shots. That is 50, a shot. 50 piece. Patrick B. B. Mount Raider Moore. We're three hundred dollars away. Oh, oh, C. Boot race. 
I'm not letting the Bears take us down. Not today. I'm not, not today. letting the Bears take us down. OC Raider. 200 away. Stephen Rockwell, oh. if we get a wide receiver in the draft, get Xavier Leggett out of South Carolina. Tyino Ray! That's on me. I got, <laughs> I got excited. He said, I'm not Mount Raider more yet. Yet. But just saw the Raiders report bat signal. Hi, Zon. Hi, Patrick. Hi, OC. We are one bang away, and it's driving bang. Seeps. Three way boot race. Seeps, we need it. Oh, Darth. Bang! Put the nail in the coffin. I think just over there. Put yeah. the nail in the coffin. They're down. Shh, shh, shh. Put the nail in the coffin. They're down right now. The Bears community is shook. The Bears community is shook. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot about it. <laughs> The Bears community is shook. The dark side is strong with the Raiders. All right, what are we up right now? I mean, we just got a comfortable lead. However, they're still close. They are in striking distance. They are in striking distance. I am a little bit concerned. I am a little bit concerned. We're, Chugs is getting a boot. Seeps is going to get a boot. D -Rock this, is, says, this is liable to get nuts. D-Rock says, more shots? Oh, I watch you guys every day. I watch other ones to see what they want from Raiders to move up, and they're boring, especially Bears chat sports. <laughs> uh, beer spawn. Yeah. Yeah, you can pick. You can pick. Yeah. Oh, I, my I, I, I wouldn't goodness. Say that. Our, our Bears guy is good. Not as good as us, but they, they're good. <laughs> What's they're good. the race at now, though? Uh, they haven't sent me their latest number. I sent, I sent them, and I think they're quivering. Uh-oh, they're quivering right they now? They were at 6.5. That took us to 7. Okay, so I'm going to say right now, we're a few bangs ahead of them. Also, Aziz Alshire expected to sign with the Texans. Okay. Expected to sign with the Texans. Yep. Love that. That is uh, officially rolling in here. J. Rowe. Raiders. Raiders! What up, J-Ro? Thugdador, pray to God Minshew doesn't start, and we go for Jaden. I don't think he's going to start again. They gave him backup money. They, they gave him backup quarterback money. Mitch. What? We can't lose twice in a year to the Bears. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Eisenberg, I agree. Could not agree with you anymore. J-Ro. If it was a mosh pit between Raider Nation and Bears, we would demolish them. If, if, it's a, if it's a mosh pit between the Raiders and every single NFL team, I'm taking the Raiders, right? Like, don't get me wrong. When I say, like, I think Raider Nation would win in a fight, I don't think of me as in that regard. Like, I'm not a fighter. Though, I've been around Graf. Graf's not afraid to throw hands. We got, we got a Bears fan <laughs> in the chat. Graf's, uh, Graf's not afraid to throw hands. That's a different... We grew up in different areas. I love my man Graf. If I know two things about Graf, not afraid to throw hands, not afraid to throw that ass. <laughs> <laughs> throw that ass in a circle. Oh, man. J-O Raider 805. All right, we need an update from them. We need an update from them. Also, we got to do this boot before... I piss my pants. Oh! Common Raider! Bang! Just win, baby! <laughs> Say bye-bye to the Bears! Locked. 
Say bye-bye to the Bears. I'm not going to lie. That made me nervous. <laughs> that made me unbelievably nervous. Common Raider. Let's go. Come on. We got to do this. We Respond, do this. you coward. We got to do this. Respond to us, Bears, you cowards. F Chicago. Hey, you know, last year we battled the we battled the Giants a bunch last year. It looks like our new battle partners might be Chicago. Hayes D, wasn't Sean Payton interested in AOC last year before the draft? Maybe a donkey trade coming. Oh, let's send him. Send him. For a second and a fifth. Same as Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they give him a five year $150 million deal, whatever the hell it was. Come on, let's go. Let's do these. I want to do these. Jay Schmitty. Come on. Finally going to tour Allegiant in April. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'll, I'll, I'll pour. Schmitty. What do you got? You're good. Pour it now. You're good. Pour it now. Wait, oh, you have yours? Okay. I got mine. You got to pour yours. You got the Nathan, final one. Switch it up. Hottest cartoon character. I like Bugs Bunny's chicken Space Jam. Lola Bunny. Lola. Not that I know that or anything. Mickey Camacho, did someone say hands? R4L, let's go. Yeah, again, I'm taking Mickey Camacho on my side here. Like, they if just, I'm getting into a fight in a dark alley, I'm just saying Mickey's on my team. All I'm saying is they just got another big one, and we have four minutes left in the race. We have four minutes left in the race, and the Bears just got a monster. They just got a monster. This is going to be close. Let's go. Come on. We got to be able to put our bodies on the line here. We got three more minutes of this race. Aziz uh, Al Shair, three for 34. Three for 34 to the Texans. I also broke my chain today, which I'm just devastated. I did. My prayer hands fell off today when I was changing. I got stuck on my beard and it literally ripped off. All right, this is uh, to the nation. We got to take down the Bears community. Four more minutes. Ah! Seep's going with the upside down boot technique is an interesting technique. I'm not going to lie. Oh. I'm telling you right now, I'm not in a good place. If the Raiders sign somebody, I'm in trouble. I'm just going to be honest with you. I am going to be honest with you. All right, y'all. This, this battle is going for three more minutes against the Bears. I am being told that we are up only by a little bit. We're up only by 200. This is going to be a nail biter. We need to put the nail in the coffin. We need to put the nail in the coffin. I'm doing shots for every 10 that comes in. Daniel! I know that not everybody can bring in a one hundo, but I'm going to do it. Nathan Wolf! Bang! I'm not shitting you. Every 10 that comes in. Oh, Alex, I'm sorry. I'm not losing, though. I'm not losing. I'm not losing to the Bears twice in one year. It's not happening. No way. No way, Jose. Hey, D-Rock, everything helps. Even if you can't <sighs> super, just being here, liking the video, commenting, Click that like button. Click that like button. Click share. Anything you do to help the channel, it is appreciated. It doesn't matter if you send in 100 or if you send in a dollar. Whatever you can help, if, you can, all, if all you can do is like the video, comment on the video, that helps us a lot, When too. we tell you to, hey, spam me right now, comment LV down below, that helps. We do it for a reason. Spam LV down below. 
Can I get some LVs down below? Isaac Hernandez Bang! Let's go! And we are pouring it on. Uh-oh. I hear them going wild. Uh-oh, they just got something over there. Daniel Madrigal. Are we... When's the race? Is it done? I think it just ended. Is it, uh, is it over? Ugh. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what this means, though? Taino I can tell you this, they have officially waved the white flag. Really? We have won. Oh. Raider Nation with the dub. I'll Spam tell you what. LV. Spam LV. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much more I was going to be able to do. Also, the Patriots are re-signing Michael Owenu three years. Fifty-seven million. Imagine him getting three for fifty-seven and Jermaine getting two for fourteen. That's mind blowing to me. Yeah. That's uh if I'm Jermaine, I look at that deal and I go, how the hell did that happen? Um Taino said, My sister's a Bears fan, F her and her Bears. Oh, <laughs> 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 Okay, that might be close to a gong for Common. Oh, dude, Common's getting close. Common is, uh, n there's nothing common about him. Nothing common about him. Let me, uh, I gotta Ooh. do some math here real quick. Though. LFG Raiders! Adrian oh, says, bro. Mitch, your beard acting like Aqib Tlaib against Michael Crabtree. Who? Aqib Tlaib, snatching chains. Oh, yeah, dude. Honestly, I was pissed. I am pissed. D-Rock said, heard 10 was something, so here you go. It is. You're in. Uh, you in. I got I to gotta do some math here. Darth, Mr. Mr. Darth. Remember, every bang that just happened there, it counted as double. For our bang race for this month. Isidro... With the 20 piece. He, said, he says, he said, LV, Raider Nation for life, baby. All right, I got to look up Common here. Common went kind of wild here. Common. You know what? So what? How many times did Common just bang here? One. Two. All right, so that's uh, Common's got eight bangs this month. Eight bangs for Common. Common right now is in fourth place of, for our March bang race. Taino's up there. I got to add Isaac Hernandez into this mix. Isaac Hernandez. I'm just going to warn you all ahead of time. Some of your guys' names, not going to be the best. Isaac, I, I can't even spell Hernandez right now. Mr. Isaac Hernandez, you in? Nathan Wolf, which I saw the Wolf got in. The the Great Wolf. Rustin Long, Raider Nation for life. Have you ever been to the Great Wolf Lodge? I have not. Heard good things, though. Heard good things as well. Never been there. I feel like that's just where Nathan All Wolf right. resides. We're about to finish up here. Three Holy and a half minutes. Holy shit, dude. Last chance to get in. Our last duck race of the evening. 
Woo. Also, dude, I don't know if we can get there. 90 likes away from another wheel spin. <laughs> we can get there. I mean, at this point, we got to get there. 90 likes away from another wheel spin. Jeremy, because the nation just went balls to the wall there. Free, free spin. Hello, 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 rare. I'm uh, I'm in for a free spin. I love the show, but we ain't trying to see grown men drink on screen. Uh, why not get creative and do something else? P.S. Oak vibes, Las Vegas vibes. I hear you, hella rare. Um, you can do what you want to do. I'll say this: I do the show because when I was partying in Oakland, I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, some people like to have fun with us. I think about this show is not just you're watching two grown men drink. I would look at it as when I take a beer ball, you do one with us. When Jeremy does it, uh, you guys just participate. We started the show again about four years ago. We did it during COVID, and we did it, we did it when you couldn't actually physically go to games. So when the idea was created was when I do a beer ball, you do one with me because in that moment, we weren't actually able to get together. Uh, together. So I hear you, but if – I appreciate you supporting the show. I will take it into consideration. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm just here to have a good time and celebrate the Raiders, and that's what the show's about. What up, David? I genuinely love you guys. <laughs> I literally love No Homo. I mean, I'll tell you this. like The amount of people that I've been able to meet from this show, like honestly, I, I love being able to meet people like hanging out in person, uh, You know, getting to meet like Nico Laz this past year, getting to meet... Um, Man, Hendo, this past time out in Las Vegas, uh, being able to do the show when you hang out with people on a daily basis, right? Like legitimately, we go live four days a week. We're going to be live five days a week. And today we're going to be live for over eight hours, eight and a half hours per day. I think people, the reason why they do what they do for this show is because people understand that we do work a lot, but I also think it's because people know that how dedicated we are to what we do. Like, you can, you can say, like, oh, these guys are getting drunk. These guys are doing stupid, crazy shit on the show. You're right. Believe me, I tell you this. We are. But I also feel like we have the ability to do what we are doing because a lot of people didn't see when we were at 2,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. Like we've, we've worked our way to 166,000 subscribers. We've also worked our way to be able to make – uh, make unbelievable connections and on top of that we're going to be giving away close to two thousand dollars on today's show right like that's pretty awesome to me um the fact that we were already able to give away a bunch of money on today's stream that's pretty freaking cool so um yeah we're getting drunk but at the same time i made this show around the idea of me and my buddies just hanging out talking ball and at the end of the day, right now I'm talking ball to 2,000 people watching. That's freaking cool if you ask me. So, all right, I'm going to refresh my phone here. Last chance to get in. Last chance for you to get in on our 50-50 raffle here. And I see, as it stands right now, 25 people in. 25 people are in, which means winner would get 250 bucks. However, we did just get a lot of last-second entries in here, so... The last name that I see is my man, Jason E.B. Aaron Winnick, you in. And then I see Rosario Morella. Bro, I can't see. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Brown. I have 20-20 vision, but right now I'm looking underwater. Anthony Green is in. Amy, you in. Um, Jose Corona is in. I see Philip Bogert. You in? All right, let me see here. Uh, Philip Bogert in. Isidro in. George Talart in. Steve Briscoe in. So that means right now, $20 Venmo for a chance to win. $350. Steve OK. In. I see my man Mo Shav. In. Um, Timothy Acker. In. Which means now $20 Venmo for a chance to win. 
$380 here on the Raiders report. That's uh, it's pretty good. Also, remember, we are doing a March Madness bracket. And the first 64 people that Venmo $50, you're going to be entered in for our March Madness bracket. And the winner of that is going to go home with $1,600. You got a chance to win. You got a chance to win. It's pretty good, man. All you got to do is win a few rounds of March Madness. That's all you got to do. Are you confident in your ability? <laughs> but then we're also going to do one like, you're going to be entered in a duck race style one, and then you're also going to be entered in a uh, a random style one. I will also say, because it's still light out, my time is like all over the place. Like I'm so, like at 6.40, I'm used to it being dark. That extra hour of light, man, it helps. I'm not going to lie. It really does. It really, really, truly does. Oh, man, oh, man. Do we have your list? Um, final refresh here. Final refresh. I see Troy. Troy Maldonado. You in? Oh, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I got to pee so bad right now. I got to pee so bad. Um, all right, so Alex just texted me, and she goes, would you guys care if she got in the race? This is a question for y'all. I'm asking you guys, would you care if Alex got in the race? And the only reason why I'm asking is because if she does win, I don't want to hear the bullshit of it was fixed. All right, if you guys are okay with Alex being in the race, she's going to go in the race, is what she just told me. Are you guys okay with it? So many people want to let her in. <laughs> no. Uh, Chris? I, was, I, I almost said it the other way, and then that was even almost worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris Rolden is in, and I think you guys are okay with it, so I'm going to put Alex in this race. Which means now, Jeremy, winner gets four hundred and ten dollars. All right, wait. Can we get one more person to enter? One more. All right. How about this? Uh, one more person. Final one. I'm texting. I'm texting Danny right now. Yeah. Or just put you put the money in now for Danny. Okay. All right. We got it. We got forty-two. Danny, you in? All right, Chugs, I'm going to send this list here. Here's what's going to happen. If we get any more entries, if we get any more entries, we're just going to put it for tomorrow's race. Um, let me let me send you this to TV. We would have put it in Chuck uh, Chuck's college fund, but he's actually struggling with the, uh, the SATs. Correct. <laughs> or should I say the... Uh, SARs. Mm. Sit and roll. Yeah, Chuck's a elite sitter. Chuck is great with sit. If I do that, he'll sit. He'll shake with his right. He'll shake with his left. My new trick that I have with Chuck, which I love, I'm telling you right now, anybody out there, you can't cover Chuck one-on-one. -on -one. If I go, I swear to y'all, I have to get it on video. I got a tennis ball, and if I go green 18, he'll sit. And as soon as I go hut, he runs. So if I throw the tennis ball, it's going to bounce one time. Guaranteed, he's catching on the hop. It's a guarantee. Dude is 3-2-40 fast. Oh, Buddy Bear, he said, what up, Nation? The show usually not on when I'm off work. Miss you all. And as always, F Tom Brady. <laughs> um, also, Lori Sandoval is in for our March Madness style tournament. So we already got 18 people. 18 people are in. Lord Body Bear, chat sports legend. Just Daddy also said, let's go Raiders. Let's Not sure go to if the I Raiders. got in the race for the jersey, yes, you're, you're in, Matt. Anybody that's in a 10 or above, you're in for a chance to win a Raiders Report jersey. All right, here we go. We're going to do this, and then we're going to sign off.
Well, we're going to do this. Oh, this, and then the jersey. Yes. And this, then we're going to sign off. This jersey and then sign off, though. You're probably going to hate me. I, I, we got to do this race, and then I got to take a pee, and then we have to, like, I'm not going to make it. Okay. I'm going to burst at the seams here. Winner of this gets $420. High stakes race. High stakes race. Are you guys ready? Can I get a shuffle? Can I get a shuffle? Okay. All right, just to confirm, this is going to be fun. Oh, wait a minute here. Um, Noah Fant resigning with the Seahawks. Resigning with the Seahawks. Ready? Yeah. Here we go, and we are off to a race here. Jamarcus Russell, I thought he was going to get out to an early lead. Starting to fall back here a little bit. <laughs> Anthony Green, George Tarlart. Guys, here's the thing. I'm doing my best to spell your name as quick as possible. George, out to an early lead right now. Watch out for Isidro down there on the bottom. Robert Cameron Abbott starting to pull up to the scene here a little bit. At the very back, there. I want to say that's Mr. E.B., so Leo Jaman lock in an interesting spot. Uh, we got Amy there at the very top. Jose Corona. Watch out for Steve Barisco. Troy Maldonado. Steve OK in an interesting spot as well. 19 seconds to go. Winner gets $420. It's between Locke and Jason AB. Watch out for Danny. What? Oh, I made it. Patrick B. Is it going to be Mount Raider Moore? Patrick B. I'm not going to lie. I think that's Patrick B's first win ever. I'm not even kidding. Patrick, is that your first win ever? Honest conversation. Honest conversation. Wow. It's got to be up there. Danny went from third place to 27th. Who gets the butthole pick? Ah. Aaron, I congrats. Was, I was hoping it was Alex. Uh, she gets one regardless. <laughs> 11th place gets a butthole pick. All right. I mean, Patrick B., honestly, Patrick, when was the last time you won a race? You know it's perfect? It's even 420 for Patrick. That's why he won. Patrick B. won because it was 420. All right. Mitch is going to head out. I'm going to set up the next race. Correct. And... I got to I got to pick take a pee. Whenever Mitch gets back, we'll run it. You got it. You want it, baby, you bust a move. All right. Anybody else a $10 super chat or forever hold your pieces? I'm going to set this up. Ooh. Good number of people in this race. <laughs> Love this. All right, let me know. Oh, JC does it. Said, put me in, coach. Actually, JC, I think you're already in. JC does it. Um, Raider Girl said put me in. $10 to get in our last race. A $10 super chat to get in, and we are doing a race to see who gets a Raiders Report jersey. Chris. Grochaw.
you're in. Woo! Uh, Hello, Rare. Yes, you're in. Anybody who sent a $10 Super Chat today, you're in this next race. Anybody who sent it in. Let me know, who will be the Raiders starting quarterback in 2024? This is your last chance. Mitch just walked in. Mm -hmm. It's broken. It is, I'm pretty sure I broke the toilet. There's a hole in that urinal. I, I actually felt bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I felt, I legitimately felt bad. Marsh. Uh, we got another one, Jeremy, from II Guns. All righty. Get in. All right, so the winner of this race, just so you all know, is going to get a Raiders Report jersey. Here's how this is going to work, though, okay? You're going to have 24 hours to contact Jeremy or me. The easiest way to do this is to Venmo me $1 at MitchellRens365. That way I know what you want on your jersey and what number you want. Does that make sense? It's the easiest way to do it. It's a $1 Venmo. As soon as you send it to me, I can send it right back to you. It's the easiest way that I can get your information. All right, here we go. Winner gets a Raiders report jersey you ready did you get ii guns in mm -hmm. he did three two one run it literally oh this is there's a lot going on here <laughs> feathery mars jaron music alex gordier oh dude darth i'm still hoping for darth fat ass win i'm not gonna lie it'd be electric jc does it we got Coach Palumbo. Palumbo's already got a jersey, 72. Hello, Rare. Luis, out to an early lead. Luis is a uh, pretty good pace right now. Palumbo now with the lead, starting to fall back here a little bit. Andrew Webb, out to the lead. Who's just R? That, that was their name. Oh, their name is just R. Yeah. We also have TR. Imagine trying to track that down on YouTube. Uh, winner is R. Page, dude, if page one, that'd be electric, man. Isidro. Ten seconds. Here we go. It's going to come down to the warrior. Dude, I don't know who it is. I have absolutely no idea. I, I, I have no idea. On hell. Diaz. Or Diaz. The winner. Winner. Chicken dinner. All right, so on hell. You got 24 hours. Venmo me $1 at Mitchell Rent 365. Claim your prize. I'm going to double check. So just, just so you guys know, uh, double, triple check. And then once I get that verification, I can then reach out to you. If you're like, Mitch, I don't got Twitter. Next stop would be to give Jeremy a follow on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs. DM him, and then we'll get your information. That way we can get you a. Uh, Raiders jersey. All right, so one more time here. That was Angel Diaz. Raiders report jersey raffle a wiener. Yeah. I really would have wish I would have been able to go to this, but it is what it is. Uh, we had a wedding thing we had to go to today, but I couldn't because of free agency, so... No, not cake. There's uh, one of our wedding venues. So uh, for those of you that don't know, I was supposed to do something on Thursday with Alex, but I got rained out, unfortunately, like at the last minute. So we were supposed to check out our wedding venue today, but I told her I couldn't miss free agency, which obviously she hated. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm getting some updates today. But uh, all right, y'all. I think this is what's going to happen. We are going to get out of here. And I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in today. It was a wild, wild day. Don't get me wrong. The Gardner Minshew move was a little bit of a peculiar move to me. Josh Jacobs going to the Green Bay Packers. I'm happy for Jacobs to get his bag. I also think it was smart for the Raiders to not even try to get into that. 
contract debate. I mean, four years, 48 for a running back is a lot. But at the end of the day, we won today, right? Like, you got Christian Wilkins. You got arguably the top player in free agency. He's now a member of the Las Vegas Raiders. I mean, this makes your defense, it just takes your defense to a whole nother level. So, Telesco, Antonio Pierce, yes, there is a little bit of a head scratcher with Minshew. But the good news is I, I do feel very good the fact that we were able to get Christian Wilkins. So here's what's going to happen. If any other breaking news happens tonight, Jeremy and I will go live. When I say breaking news, I'm talking like massive, massive type of contract. If it's just like some minor news, I'll make a video at home. So you will be you guys will be able to see Chuck and I'll be showing at home. If, uh, if nothing else happens, you will see Jeremy and I tomorrow here on the Raiders Report live. Same time. Might as well go live at 11. 10 a.m. Yeah, well, uh, if nothing else happens tomorrow, let's just go live. Let's go live tomorrow at 10. We can make it happen. We're going to go live tomorrow here at 11 a.m. Eastern time here on the Raiders Report. I need some sleep. Okay, you ready? Hey, guys, peace out. Love y'all. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, shout out to today's MVP. Uh, I'm going to give it to Ira Jackson for being the MVP today. So I'm going to wear his jersey tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night. And as always, go Raiders.